Okay, let's have a look at this. We'll let this play out, adjust audio after, and then talk about it later. It looks very much like Nino Kuni 2. The map design is very similar. I think it's fairly obvious that the uh, artwork is heavily um, influenced by Studio Ghibli. I think they worked on the game, right? Holy shit. Is that the guy that sings the Ian Brew advert with the snowman? Dragon! I hope so. You set me up. Right, the audio for that was a little bit quiet for you guys, but hopefully you've heard it. As always, the fucking audio balance in games like this are awful. Like, you get- you play the, the intro and it's quiet as fuck and then it gets to the main menu and it's like Pow! So let's just, uh, let's just dive right in, guys. I've got scenes set up, as always, for, uh, hiding my webcam if I need to, so. Easy battles will be easy. Recommended for players who prefer to focus on the story. This is the not the default setting. You can enjoy, um, some challenging battles. Done. Uh, we will progress on normal mode. Absolutely, let's go. Digimon's survive is being made by Witchcraft Co. says Ebonomics. Uh, maybe level 5 worked on something else we've played in the past then. Level 5 were definitely doing something, but I can't remember what one of the games we checked out in the past, I think. I'll turn this up for you guys. Apparently it pauses. Uh, I hope it doesn't skip it. Let's... Uh, Let's turn up a little bit for the beginning. Uh, I don't know how much of a difference this will make, but uh, I want to continue. Get a move on, Ollie boy! Slow down, Mr. Drippy. But Ding Dong Dell's just on the way! Huh? Hmm? Oh. Uh oh. What do we do? Run for it! Ah! 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 Okay, no. <laughs> right. Oh. Jesus. Go in, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me. So this is your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? Oh Christ. <laughs> the fucking audio is back again. Jesus. You guys are saying level 5 is Dark Cloud. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's what it is. Okay. Nice. I, th I don't know if this is the same one. All right. Should you give me stuff? Good night. That's some good music right there. Oh! Didn't we speak to that tree in the second game? Same tree, perhaps? Different tree? 
We talked to a tree in fucking Dark Cloud as well, actually. They've got a bit of a boner for having trees in their games, don't they? Bandai Namco. I've got such a love-hate relationship with Bandai. They bring me such good games, but then they also fucking steal all my YouTube videos. With their fucking copyright bullshit. Who knows? Oh. Good morning, Miss Layla. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. Did Miss Layla rock in the 10 FPS look? Hey, Ollie. Oh, hi. Over here. I'm gonna try and move myself into the corner, guys. One second. Oh, it's it's Phil. Phil, you just chillax, my dude. Just two seconds. All right, we're gonna take this down a little smidge. Okay. Oliver and Phil. What's up, Phil? Very peaceful. This is a very cozy game for the most part. Use left analog stick to walk where to will. Phil is standing. Approach Phil and press X to speak to him. Phil, you little sexy bastard. What's up, bro? Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. Oh, I'm wondering if this game, the entire game is going to be like this, right? So let's just fucking deal with that now. Apologies for all the pausing, guys. I'm hoping that um, this is just going to be a, you know, we just do this once or twice and then we're good to go. So again, forgive me. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What, what else would it be, dum dum? Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take your first spin. Tonight. Oh, are we talking about that hot babe that lives on the end of the street or your car? What? Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. Uh, sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Oh, well, I... no, Phil! God. Cyberpunk? When are you going to accept my challenge of beating Splunky 2 in 500 deaths and I'll buy you Hades? If not, you play Ace Combat 7 till completion. That's quite the... Sounds like a lose-lose spelunkram. I might already own Hades, my guy. Okay, we'll do it tonight, but we'll have to be real quiet. You have no bargaining power here, Jacram the Grey. Sure we will. Tidy. Okay, tonight in my garage. Be there or be square. I'm telling you, Philip's trying to organize a drug deal and cover up with a Yu-Gi-Oh dueling a dual tournament gathering. Sure. Uh oh, somebody's spying on us from beyond the realm. This is the child who will save the world. Jesus. Or so says the crystal ball, your lady asks. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? Oliver, Oliver. Never before has a boy wanted drugs. The mini-map will be displayed on the top right of the screen as you travel around. The map lets you see your immediate surroundings. I want to switch to the local map shown an overview of the whole town. Lets you see where you need to go. Your first port of call is Oliver's house. Alright. Uh, Oliver's house must be in this direction. I see it. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go... Let's go down this way. What's up, bro? The weather is just swell. I might go sit in the town square and enjoy it for a while. There's no way this guy would say that to you in Scotland. He'd probably punch you in the head for even looking at him. Alright, alright, alright. This way? Thanks guys for being so patient. We should be good to go now. I'm hoping. There's always teething problems when we set up a new game. Uh, again, I'm not really happy with my webcam covering up some of the audio. I'm kind of sorry about that, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Oliver's got a beautiful home in the middle of the city. Wow, uh, okay. Nice little garden and everything. Although, I'm in the post box right next to the house is a bit... But unfair on the mailman, surely. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? No problem, oh mum. 
Is that milk actually just got milk written on it? Mom, hmm? did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Our Metallica concert. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oliver, what is this planning? Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Mm. Way to put a billboard on your plan, Oliver. Mm -hmm. Did he just eat a full egg? He just ate that in one bite. Jesus. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. Dude, our man's a god. Hello. Who who picks up a full egg and just eats it in one? Did he even chew that? Hey, Phil, you didn't get to school yet, or you didn't go to school yet? Question mark. What do you mean? Oh, wait, we're asking Phil if he's been to school. School sh school schmool. Today's a special day, kiddo. <laughs> school schmool sounds like something I would say. Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. Oh boy, I can't wait. When can I see it? Whoa there, cowboy. Not so loud. Don't forget, this is our secret. Hey, dum-dum, you didn't tell your mum about it, did you? Well, not in so many words, Phil, but she might be on to me. I kind of, you know... Fucking Tanoi announcement made the fucking call that I'm uh, might be sneaking out of doors, you know, when she's in bed. But you know, we'll see how much of a dumbass she is. No, I did not. I asked her if she was busy, and she said she had a concert practice, so she'd be in bed real early, so we can go out and smoke pot together. I mean, uh, build the car together. Perfect. Then tonight's the night. You still in, kiddo? Sure am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there. Phil's up to no good, guys. I don't know if I trust them. So beautiful, like a hug in game form. True. You gotta entice him with something else. You're not buying cyberpunk, J Cram, you idiot. She must be asleep by now. I'm not playing Spelunky 2 anytime soon, but we might. Tomorrow. N next year. I'm, I didn't mean tomorrow. Fuck. Nito, she's out like a light. Now's my chance I have to get to Phil's garage. Dude, maybe you should put on a jacket or something? If you're creeping out. Oh no. Press triangle to go into the main menu. We're presented with a range of options. Yep, that's fine. Additional options will be available to you as you progress through the game. Open the main menu and press options to save your game as well. You know, <laughs> you know, use the main menu. Cool. Uh, right, what we got here? Adjust various settings. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can adjust all the the audio from here. That's much better. Glide star sub to everything's good anyway. Text to speed is fine. Sure, we can actually adjust it. We are level uh, 135 HP, 12 mana. It is, what is that, quarter to one in the, in the morning? Jesus. Okay, here we go. Nice and quiet. You can tell by the way I walk my walk. I'm a sneaky boy. No time to talk. Straight out the front door. We're not exploring the house, guys. We ain't got time for that shit. Dun, 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 dun. This is as fast as we can go. <gasps> Don't make a sound. She won't see us. Oh, hi, dear. Fuck. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. <gasps> I'm just a bush. I'm just a bush. Covert ops. You'll never see me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're into the old town. More town. Here we go, let's let's check this out. Hey. Oh, who's that MILF? In here. What are you looking at? <laughs> wow. Phil's aggressive. What is it with that kid? Phil's a bit of a misogynist, What's isn't he? Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. Yeah. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? Right. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Okay. Just pulls it off, and it's like. <laughs> wow. Oh, is this neat? Phil, oh, this is so, so Imagine neat. it was just 20,000 cans of spam. The new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> Where's Phil's mom and dad? 
is he not is he not got responsible parents? Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. Well, this sounds like what what could go wrong with this plan? So Phil, who gets to drive first? Huh? Let me see now. Tell you what, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy, okay, wait right here. And watch for Steady Mary, will you? Steady Mary must be the girl up with it. Oh god, Steady Mary, yeah, she's just up there jacking off the whole time. Can you, Mary, can you even try and pretend like you're not <laughs> Can you even pretend like you're not watching us? Yeah. <laughs> See, there she is again. Philip, relax, man, relax. She's not going to do anything. I bet that uh, telltale has gone straight to her, uh, to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What, are you sweeting her or something? Go check out that front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. Dude, Phil's never going to let us drive. He's going to uh, he's gonna set us up for pain and misery here. Okay, we've had a camera angle switch here. Oh, game feels very smooth, which is nice. We're rocking a solid 60, so that's nice. Ta-da, ta-da. Dunna, dunna, dunna. All right, the coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. What huh? the fuck? But who are you? How do you know my name? Who's this scallywag? Oh, what's taking you so long? Oh. I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh man, who was it? Oh, uh. Just a ghost. Yikes. What are you talking about? Hmm? There's nobody there. Oh, that's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh no, couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going scurry or something. Yeah, she was hey, also just at our window, oh, mate. Oh, oh. Okay. Unless Scary Mary's got fucking Hussein Bolt legs, I don't think it could have possibly been her. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. No, evil parrot. No! Leave me alone. Oh, what, the wheel's gonna fall off? He who would save this doomed world must die. What bitch? Mom, help me! <gasps> what the fuck? Uh, sweetie. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> well, this isn't good. Yikes. Where are you? Oliver? I'm in the bathroom. Don't come in. That egg I eat in one bite's coming out and it's not it's not pretty. I'm fine. Oliver Oh no. Mum's gonna phone the police, it's gonna get real ugly real fast. Um, you're kinda busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Oliver. Uh-oh. Oliver. Oliver, Oliver. Sneaks out of bed like a ninja in the night. Jafar is looking much hotter than the last time I saw him. <clears throat>
stall? Do you fucking mind, Gijin? Oliver's about to break the fucking... the speed limit of... Oh, never mind. Yeah, we kinda need that. Oh, oh yikes. <laughs> Get fucked, Phil. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, Phil's gonna be raging. Oh. Oh, come on, Ollie. You can't swim, bro. Is your mum just casually walking by? She's... Our mum's gonna be raging, dude. Oh, he's dead. Dude, my mum would have kicked the shit out of me there. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk, I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Did it? Yes, ma'am. Jack, are you okay, Phil? I still twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? Uh, Allie, Allie. Uh, Allie? Wait, what the fuck? What's wrong? <laughs> oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Here. I'll fetch the doctor. Mom! Dude, this is a roller coaster of emotions. I can't handle this. Everybody's so understanding. Mum's so chill about oh, us. Sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! Oh. Be okay. I know you will. You're good now. For me. Wait, is her mum about to die? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Ho holy mom. crap. Uh mom. No. No. Don't leave me. Jesus. Mommy, don't leave me. Mom. Oh, that's only a mental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Hmm. Let us see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. Oh. This bitch over here looking like a cross between fucking Medusa and Saren Prime. Guess it's time to catch some of these Pokemon now. Oh no, we're gonna feel really guilty, aren't we? Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? Thanks, boss. She just closes the door. She's like, well, that's not my problem. Oh, no. Not this wanker. Don't go in, Phil. He's having one of his bad nights. Now, now. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. She's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. Oh. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Mum, you got this from the second hand shop, didn't you? Be good while Mummy's away, okay? It smells of pish. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Mommy. Is something wrong? Oh, 
anything wrong, sweetie? Hmm. Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Unless my weak heart collapses and then you're fucking on your own. Oh, rip. Witness the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you a snivelling and moaning. A proper crybaby, Bantinua. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is well, it's a new dog. What? I, uh. Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. <laughs> but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest. Anyway, stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. Oliver's very oh, understanding. Just like his mom and his friend. It's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by Earth. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you are one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, the whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by Earth in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the dark djinn is with it. <laughs> and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I... You guys keeping up with this? Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... Um... No. <laughs> Piss off. Sorry, I must have misheard you. I'm busy. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I, I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because your mom dropped dead? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. You got a photo of her? Don't hold back. Uh, Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Because your mom dropped dead? Jesus. He just fucking smashes it on the floor. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save your mom. Huh? What? What are you talking about? You ready for another year, Fall? Gone. Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mam, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia, a proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. 
When that happened, then the link between hers and you and Mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link. And who knows, it might even bring your mom back. But my mom's buried. <laughs> I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. <sighs> It'll bring your mom back. And then, like, your mom's, like, currently, like, lying, like, six feet under in a box, just peacefully sleeping. Then she comes back to life, and she's just like, wait a minute. Wait, how do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. My buddies? Now, I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. <laughs> but why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. I can't place Oliver's accent. It's so unusual. It's like half English, but then sometimes it sounds like it's got like other tinges in it. It's got like other twangs. Like sometimes he sounds American. It's really bizarre. Uh, the, the fireplace I'm guessing is downstairs. Oh. Oh. Yikes. Mum, you got any potions for us in here? Anything we should know about? What's this, a letter? Dear Oliver, whatever happens, don't fall in the river and die. My my heart is extra weak this week. Oh no, Mum, shit. I got that a bit too late, sorry. Alright. Yeah, I was just thinking how understanding everybody is. Like, your mom, see if my mum had caught me out at night in the, in the river drowning, she would take me out, save me, probably give me CPR, and then punch the shit out of me. And then have to give me CPR again. Fireplace? And the same with our, our friend as well. Phil didn't have an, an urge of... Be hidden in a place like this? There was no like remorse from Phil when you... Huh? Phil didn't even a get book? to drive his own car. But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't now, would it? Really? Aha, gotcha! <laughs> Chewy! Just a thick magic wand in Mam's room. <laughs> Jesus, this is a have some respect. She's just passed away, mate. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Oh, you obtained the wizard's companion. Perfect. Now listen up. I'm going to teach you what's what in the wizard's companion of yours. If you want to have a read press triangle, you should see it down in the bottom right. You just choose X. You can leaf through it. Take a moment or two to skim a few pages, eh? Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing you do when you get your hands on the wizard's companion is to make a pledge. Uh, don't look so flippin' worried, it's not that hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book. Uh, okay, so... Is this... Is this gonna... What do you guys think? Should I make it Oliver or should I, should I make it Jack? Like, does it matter? If I put my own name in, is it gonna rename Oliver? How, do, how does this work? Or maybe you, we play as Oliver's soulmate who could take on his own name. Does it matter? If I just call myself, like, Wolfie? Is it like lowercase? Oh no, I don't want that. Yes, Oliver, sign the death note. I don't know if it matters. Should I? Should I just call myself Oliver? I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Is that so? Um, phase XXX Pussy Slayer sixty nine four twenty. Yeah, they came out before I released and they said they have a minimum involvement, says Ebonomics. I turn two in two days, says Rin will eat your child. Rin, that might be a miscalculation. I don't think you'll turn two in two days. Either that or you're an incredibly gifted child. Are you sure you're happy with the name Wolfie? Yeah, sure. You've taken the wizard's pledge and you're now privy to the timeless wisdom of the wizard's companion. Fucking delightful. Tidy. Right, magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. 
I like how this was just heading to the fireplace. We can't go casting spells without a wand, now can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. A wand. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying my name Wolfie, though. Right, oh, time to find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden around here, like the spell book? Okay. No, it's going to be a little more difficult than that. Why don't you treat uh, this as a warm-up the Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will? Sure. Um, I'm lying. The thing is, I never brought a wand with me. I mean, look at me. I only managed to carry the flipping book, man. Anymore, and I'd have been crushed. So even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. A substitute. There can be a substitute for a magic wand. If you find some brown and something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, we might be able to muddle through. Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine. Follow me. Alright, dude. What are you looking at? Okay, we need a stick. So I'm just following him around. Hey, dude, what's up? Hey there, young child. Sorry about your mum. Mrs. Jenkins. Uh oh, that's a very pink car. This might be the proper tidy motor, eh? Might get one of these. Sorry, no time for this. Okay. Okay, look up at the top left of the main menu and you'll see your bottomless bag. I'm glad the bag's bottomless because I'm used to having storage space in most games. In there you'll find all your items nicely sorted into different categories. There's handy L1 and R1 to shift through. That's fine. Put it in my bag. Easy peasy. Hey Jamie, what's up dude? Uh, okay, so I think we have to go back the way now, right? Nice. Game feels pretty relaxing to play, I'm not gonna lie. Feels very chill. It's no use, there's nothing here that looks like a wand. Can't we just- there's literally a tree right there. You're not wrong, bunting. Alright, we'd better split up then, road in the search. I'll go and take another quick look around your house, you stand by and head up- uh, head up the outside search, okay? Sure, I guess. We're gonna run into Phil, aren't we? Brown and sticky, brown and sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's the, cre the creepy ghost girl that turned up on the night my mom died. How convenient. Oh, Nope. See you later. Bye. You've got chicken dippers? Sure. We'll see what happens here. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? <sighs> your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. So it was your fault, <laughs> die! <laughs> Why would you be sorry for that? Just beats the shit out of her there and then. I really did. Hey, j -Bub, what's up? Love the swear. Hey, where Thanks, man. Where are you? Go. Welcome, guys. Hey, where did you go? Ollie welcome, boy. welcome. Why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. Uh oh. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? I keep yawning. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't mean to be so tired. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? <laughs> Crikey, that's cold. Who do you Crikey! Mean, he says, Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was alright me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in <laughs> for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, eh? <laughs> I tell Mrs. Wolf I'm gonna trade her another time. People, you never see they <gasps> I want! Look at this! Huh? It was on the ground. Right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here then! Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle! It's a wand! You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. 
It just looks like some scratches, mate. The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one? Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? <laughs> you obtained an old stick, delightful. Thanks, ghost ghost girl. Right. Now we need a place to cast our spell. Now I can do some uh, wind guardian levioses. To cast gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. Okay. We need space to give it oomph, see? Right. Do we really need that much? In case we blow up a building by accident. Yo, Jimmy, what's up, dude? Hey, welcome, welcome, man. Long time no see. Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. Right. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. I've been up since 4 a.m. Not gonna lie, I'm struggling. So, any if you need to go to bed or that, just Take me relax. Of space. It's got to be Get some rest. Um, the town square, I guess. Okay. Let's hit it. Find an open space where you can cast your magic spell. I guess we're making our gateway portal. Is anybody gonna be mad that we're out by ourselves? Can anybody see this? Well, Fizz and young Oliver, what are you doing, dear? It's dark already. Run along home now. Yep, just gonna go and play in the river again. Avoid these creepy fuckers. Avoid that. Oh, that was Pat, the drug dealer. I saw him. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic. See? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. Do we know how to cast gateway? Okay, uh, zero MP opens up a doorway that transports the caster between worlds. Okay. That's it, man. You got it. Get it done, Ollie. Oh my God! Look at him go. That's just a symbol for ohms, that's resistance. Tidy! <laughs> Tidy! <laughs> oh, the, the dog can see it. Yes, yeah, simmer down, old yeller. Did you hear that? Like his accent sounded American there. That was that sounded so American. For the last time, it's Oliver. Cool. Yo, Eric, what's up, man? Popping it, show support. Love this game. So glad to see you playing it. Thanks, dude. Long time no see as well with you, Eric. I hope you've been well. I hope the uh, the adoption stuff's going well as well, man. I haven't had a chance to speak to you. Right. Let's get going, shall we? Huh? No, I've waited a whole year for this. All right, all right, all right. Let's just have a nosy. So this is your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? We've had our COVID oh, births now, so many C-sections. Oh, Holy eh? moly, dude. Uh huh? huh? Uh-oh, Mareep. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Him huh? <laughs> with the fireball. He's making his move. Him with the fucking pyroblast. Oh god. Watch this. All right. So here we go. Here's Oliver. I'm now covering fucking Oliver's stats. What an absolute pain in the dick. So are you telling me that the subtitles are going to be on the left hand side of the screen? 
and the HUD's going to be on the right hand side of the screen. What an absolute bastard. What an absolute bastard. We're going to have to like adjust this again. I might set up, what I'll do guys is for the combat I'll set up two scenes and then, uh, hold on, That we might be able to fix this actually. See if I just put it back in the corner, just give me a moment really quickly, I might be able to, to fix this. Uh, if I duplicate this and then put a uh, cam left right and then I'll make this come on you little fucking shithead give me one minute boys where did that go PS4 cam left Oops. Okay, so I've got no cam, cam left. What I'm going to do is put this one over on here. <clears throat> horizontal, horizontal. Just for the sake of having this nice and easy. So now I can have left and right. It's going to be a bit weird flicking around the screen like this. Uh, cam left. Gonna call this one cam right, and I'm gonna set this one up with the hotkey so that I can change this because otherwise it's gonna get real annoying, especially if there's anybody watching it who needs the subtitles. So I'll do this really quickly now. These are things that if I'd done this before the stream, I could have set up prior. So I apologize. PS, PS, PS4 cam left. So why don't we make this? Can I make this F7? Would that be too much to ask? Apply, okay. So... <sighs> um, no cam, cam. Okay, cool. So it's actually not left at all, it's actually cam right. Okay. Don't know why it changes when I change that, but... Okay, we're done. Sorry about that, guys. Continue. Uh, options. So we're fighting against rough X to attack. Uh, don't fret, Ollie boy. Let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle. <clears throat> okay. First, take a look at the green gauge by there that shows your health points. That's fine, 35. The more HP, the healthier you are. The blue gauge is your magic. That's fine. <clears throat> so there's Ruff's HP on the right. You can see lots of information about them up on the right hand side of the screen. They're useful. The red gauge shows their HP. Get that down to nothing and you've won. And these speech bubbles, which my webcam is now covering, um, down here are the commands you can use. That's enough to go with. L2 and R2 to select attack. Um, to choose, I guess. So I guess if there's multiple targets, you can change... Oh no, you can do it like that, okay. And I can also do it with left and right as well. X, attack! <clears throat> Tidy, or should I say nice? That's what I say when the enemy... F oh, that's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot. Or uh, block a big attack, see? Look at that, I've dropped, it's dropped something on the ground. You best pick it up, eh? Oh, you can actually move around. That's so weird. That's known as a glim, Ollie boy. Enemies drop uh, in the heat of battle. Green glims are that will restore your HP, and blue ones will give you MP. You can also give your uh, give your HP and MP boost as spells. Okay, okay, okay. So we can pick up boosts and recovery things as well. Got gotcha. you. Mhm. Mm Jack learned teleport. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> they do move uh, to the upper left. Okay, okay, okay. Cast nuke. That's enough. So can I? Oh, so I can actually run away. This is such a weird, weird system, isn't it? So, it's kind of like a real time. Oh, he, oh, can he hit me wherever I am? Like, I just want to figure out how this works. Can I just permanently run away? What happens if I defend? So it lasts for a certain amount of time. How do I find its weak spot? 
Is that just purely coincidental? You put your webcam in the bottom right, okay. Well, we've got set scene set up for that. We'll, we'll maybe do that in a minute. The HUD stays in the top, minus the beginning of a fight. Got it, okay. We've got our scene set up now anyway, so we could pop over there if we need to. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Alright. Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. <laughs> you might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it. But you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh. No, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder. Didn't Ding I? Dong Dell! Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. We've been there before. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shada showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken hearted. Broken hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece <laughs> Look at that guy in the right hand side. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or that's dead. That's how I felt when I woke up today. Live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. <laughs> well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! Alright. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. <laughs> Tidy! Alright. Out of the world, achievement unlocked. Cool. Coolios. We'll see what happens next. We can we can do a bit of learning as we go, guys. Beautiful Ollie boy. Oh, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If uh, one of them spots you, you'll see a big exclamation mark pop up above its head and it'll charge. If it gets within touching distance, you'll have to fight it. That's fine. Um, it works the other way around too. If the monster sneaks up on you, they'll be able to get the first hit. Here's just a little something. Consider it a gift from the Lord, uh, High Lord of Fairies. So that's going to give us food, I guess, right? Just have a munch on that when you're feeling a little ropey and you'll be right as rain in no time. But a wizard cannot live with bread alone, Ollie boy. Needs a proper wand and all, and that knobbly thing in your hand uh, is doing my flipping head in. So we have to go to the castle. But I've also got some things to collect here as well, right? What's this? A bunch of booster shots. Wow. I kind of want to do, so we have to, to, we have to head over here to the castle, right, that's pretty much self-explanatory. I kind of want to try and get the sneak attack, but I don't know if that's, if that's possible. Let's see how this works. A, a battender. Um, so yeah, what does this say? Attack, defend, runaway, and provisions, okay. Nice. So, I guess you could, like, if there was multiple people in the fight, you could change. This guy's fucking gone ham. Is there any strategy to this? Like, can I... Oh, that hits me from wherever, right? This little fucker's got moves. It's very unusual. Sure. I get 3 XP in level 2. 1 gold. Okay, we actually do get a big bunch of stats for gaining a level, so looks like these early levels will be kind of important. Um, okay, let's see if we can fight other things. Just kind of want to understand the combat, because it feels like... I don't really like when games give you the option 
Like, it's nice that they've given you the chance to... It's cool that you can kind of move around. Uh, Ouroboros. I guess you just queue up attacks and don't move. Is there any point to moving other than picking up things? You can't dodge, can you? It's like turn-based but with a, a bit of extra kind of like bells and whistles on it, right? You can run out of range for some attacks plus a uh, position to hit weak spots. How do I how do I know where the enemy's weak spot is? Is it just from the back? Watch this. Sleep a foul. That was a good hit. So you fight the god of depression in this game, I'm here for it. You need to move to the right during the battle. Oh, sorry, I got that actually. Beating depression, the game. As it is now, it's just semi turn based battles. Yes. Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Let's do like one or two more. We won't stay here for too long because these, these guys are giving us chump XP. Yeah, how would you, how would you like, uh, like, see if it does that? Could you, like, change and then... Don't know how you'd react to that. Maybe you get, like, big notice. Maybe you get good notice if it's, like, a really powerful attack, so you'd have plenty of time to swap. I guess the reason I get kind of, um, why I kind of feel a little bit caught out by systems like this because normally in a turn-based uh, battle system you would be able to in a turn-based battle system you would be able to take your time and really consider all your options and think about what you're going to do with your turns but then when it's like turn-based with quick time of it not quick time but like if it's turn-based with real-time kind of interactions going on like if you don't move the ai will just continuously kill you so it's like you're kind of baited in a false sense of security where you think okay i'm actually oh, like, I can stop and think here, but then the enemy's just continuously walloping you, which puts you under pressure, and it puts you on a timer to actually make your decisions faster, so it's like turn-based, but it's not really turn-based. It's like a weird mixture. There's other games that have done that, like, I feel like, uh, I think that was kind of like Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, perhaps. I can't remember. You'll find out as you progress right now, you don't really have much of any of the mechanics of battle system yet. We'll just keep going, guys. Here in my world, you can use uh, R to rotate your viewpoint. We're not going to do that. That's just going to confuse me. You can switch the vibration on and off there as well. Okay, there's a lot to take in, but you'll be fine. Let's just go to Ding Dong Dell. Fuck it. It's been a while since we've uh, seen this little humble abode. Are we going to get a nice cutscene for walking into the city? Let's check it out. Oh, hello. He looks like he's stoned. Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Uh oh. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless they do. So his heart was broken uh, by Keep up, will you? Shadar, in it. If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces. So Yo, cust fight. Custom it, what's up? But if he stays that way. We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Okay. Then you'd better cure him, eh, ain't it, Ollie Boy? It's time for you to mend your broken heart. Mend it, but how do I do that? You can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's got just what we need. Okay. What? The old man, ain't it? He lives in the woods north of here, proper deep in the dark. They call it the deep dark wood. Sounds like my kind of my kind of place. Let's go. Makes sense. So we're not going into Ding Dong at this point in time. Is that right? Okay. We literally can't, so let's leave. Cool. Uh, so, according to our map, we are going up to the left. Do you know what I'm going to do? I wonder if I can just... Uh, I guess you have to do it through here. Let's take the music just down a couple of smidges. Because that, I feel like the music in the game is like overpowering a lot of the other audio. I want you guys to be able to hear the dialogue and the sound effects and everything. But then when the music comes on, it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to just try and balance that as we go. 
and then maybe what I can do is I'll turn it, I'll turn the music down and then turn everything up a little bit. If we need to. A rhinosaur. Let's fuck this bitch up. So we attack and it gets three attacks in. Game looks nice, feels nice. <laughs> Yo Billy, what's up? Is this a blind playthrough? You better watch yourself, Billy boy. Young lad. You'll, uh, you'll see that we are now using the new terminology. The correct terminology. Dude, this, this fucking house is miles away, holy shit. I've got a thing chasing me. Will that actually... Oh dear. I guess it caught me. The enemy has the upper hand, so what does that mean? We just take extra damage? gets a free hit on. Okay. Fucked. Correct my butt. I'm using the uh, the modern ter terminology. Yeah, that is a uh, that is food for another discussion, though. I tell you. <clears throat> yep, yep. Let's go on. So, our boy Ollie just spiralled away to another realm. You can tell that, obviously, I think they must have used a lot of the same engines for the second game when they made this one. The game's running smoothly, but it has little glitches of pain. Maybe because this is... This came out on consoles, you guys said, right? Like, PS3 first. It feels like there's a bit of teething going on, where the game will be, like, solid 60 FPS, and then something clunky will happen in the background. Twitch Overlord approved technology or terminology, yeah, that's the one. Alright, we're basically rich at this point, Kappa. So we go up here and then we can go left or right. Let's go right and fight the bat thing. There's a little bridge over there. I don't know how you're supposed to sneak up on the enemies to get the sneak attack. Minor bird. Oof, he did. Next thing you know, Discord will remove their deafen and mute buttons. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a bit strange, guys. But hey-ho. That's the world we live in. What's up, Wolfie? Hey, white boy, how's things? You can see that there's like, there's no longer chests to collect in this game. There's just these kind of shimmering lights. I don't know. It's been so long since we played Nino Kuni 2, I actually can't remember. I'm pretty sure they had chests in the second game, right? Did they have little glimmering things as well? I don't know. I cannot remember. I don't even know if the map is somewhat similar to the first game or if they've completely overhauled everything. The deep dark wood, forest of fairy tales. That is such a nice end. That's a heal and a save machine, I believe, right? A waystone. They're ancient stones. You can store a record of your adventures. Okay. Allow me to explain a little more, touch a waystone and get your health and magic back and save the game. Okay, next up, the old man of the woods. Uh, what's the difference between these two? Are they just the one thing? Save your progress, done. Welcome to another world, let's make a second one. So what's this? Look at that, there's useful, if you're lucky you'll be able to use that one day. Okay... It's a nice area. I've got a fork in the path, left or right. He wants to go that way. Which makes me immediately want to go this way. Uh -huh. <laughs> you fucker. Game's like, uh-uh. I, I, I do love, I love environments like this. I liked it in Dragon's Quest as well. Or Dragon Quest. Oh, yikes. You silly goose. Who goes there? Oh. Jeepers. Holly <laughs> boy, meet old Father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Professor Oak. Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is is, I was wondering if you might lend us a little Okay, thanks, Tom Tom. There's, ch oh, there's glimmer spots, but chess in both. Know. Okay. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. 
Sorry, your tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it. Did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure hearted one. That's me. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to. That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> <laughs> as reckless as ever I better see. watch out you old fuck might torch you might chop you up and use you for firewood very well you shall have my aid just kidding but first we had better give the boy a familiar had we not a what oh yeah clean forgot I did he's right dolly boy it might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, isn't it? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart. See? They're called familiars. Like slaves. Where we're going, the beasties are only going to get bigger and meaner. So, you're going to need a helping hand. Or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. You don't own me. But Mr. Drippy, there's no spell named that here. What? The boy is correct. Look at the wizard's companion. It would seem that he's missed. How would old Father Oak know about my wizard's companion? You'd stay over there, tree boy, where I can see you. Knickers. So does that mean I can't cast the spell? I am not as powerless as all that, young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form Familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from you, from me to you. Wait, where the fuck did that come from? You were holding on to this that, this whole time. What else have you got in there? Have you got a uh, hyper beam, blizzard, uh, blow up enemy face? I guess I'll settle for form familiar for the time being. I like I quite like this. I like the idea of getting a wand to go in another realm and then collecting the spells. There needs to be more games like this. Thank you very much, old father oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such as life. Don't worry about that from now, man. Uh, give Form Familiar a go. Uh, sure. Summons forth a familiar with the caster's heart to fight alongside them. Zero MP. Imagine he just accidentally misfired this and blew himself up. Uh oh. Warrior from your very own heart, a familiar. This is a familiar? That's right, the fighting spirit inside you made flesh a soldier of your soul. He can really help me fight? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I get the dud one? Did he? He's not right in the head. That was mean, Triss. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. He just stabbed me in the head though and I didn't die. He can't be that strong. So this is a familiar, huh? He'll be coming with us, indeed. The more the merrier, isn't it? Here, you better give the little fellow a name. Mighty. Uh, what about like... um? Something nice and soft, because I am the pure hearted one, after all. So, something like that? What do you guys think? I expect this guy to say, no likey, no lighty. Billy, that's racist. Okay. No lighty, no likey. Classic. Uh, oh, I can have some fucking ancient Latin in here. Holy, they give you so many characters! Uh, okay. Fucking hell, dude. What, I've got some Asian characters in here as well. Smiley face! Right, hold on. We can really do some damage here. What about if we call it... What about if we call it Wee P, right? And then put in like a... I can put some dollar signs. <laughs> some dollar signs in there. Oh, dude, what about Wee Prick with a smiley face? What do you guys think of this? Wee Prick could uh, be any of us, though. Name each one after the pack. 
How many did I get? Well, we'll start off with Wee Prick and then see how we get on with there. It's Wee Prick's smiley face. I wish I had another space though. I could call him Wee Prick with, with a missing C. Would that be a bit more... What about that? What about if I called him like Wee Prick, right? Uh, Like this. <laughs> and that way it's not swearing. And we'll give him the smiley face. Brilliant! Wee Prick. <laughs> Oliver, we cannot let you set off into the wild with such an unruly name. Please change that at once. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is the restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. Fingertips alive. The super healing touch. Tidy. Okay, cuts, bruises, sprains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy. Perfect. Next, I give you the gift of the Blazing Inferno. Fireball Jutsu. Hell yeah, dude. Shoots a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant-based beasties flipping hate fire, man. Drippy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you? Golly, of course not. Fucking might, I tell you. If this tree keeps uh, talking out of line. Alright. Press square um, to open your spells menu. Where, while a spell like Healing Touch can be used at any time, Fireball is uh, meant primar primarily for use in battle. That's fine. Of course the pedo looking tree gives you the touching spell. Not appropriate, Billy. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through your magical uh, repertoire. Cool. Can I hotkey these spells to be easily accessible, or maybe I don't even need to. Maybe I just use it via the menu. Spoiling for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? What do I do? Just think what you want him to do, and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. I don't appreciate the little toad thing next to me. The little toad thing. Oh, go. Fight on my behalf, champion. Champion wee prick. Tiny bopper A. Right, Ollie boy. It's time to learn about fighting with familiars. First off, you gotta pick who's gonna fight uh, out of you and your little friend. We've gone to the trouble of making it him, so we'd best give it a go and select him, will you? Uh, sure. Wee prick. Tidy, now let's send him into the fray, shall we? Oh, yeah. See the circle at the top left, that's your familiar stamina gauge. Okay, I see it. Uh, it shows you how much longer you can fight for. The longer you keep him on the go, the shorter his stamina will get. When it's empty, it means he's going to be tired and he can't fight anymore. Okay. See the little mark, that's his sign. Oh, this is like the elemental balance, is it? So these guys are both fire. Except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. Okay. Different ones get better. Um, different ones get on better. You can use them to help you in battle. Okay, so that's not elements. That's like their synergies, I guess. So are all these guys star? Just like spells, uh, they cost MP to use. You can set them... You see the cost written next to them. 10 MP, a barrage of random slashes deal physical damage. You've got to remember that it's you and your familiars share MP and HP. You and your familiars. I don't think there's supposed to be an E in that, that year, is there? You and your familiars. So if a familiar uses a trick or takes a bit a big hit, it's your... I mean, I guess. They've done it twice. Is that how that works? Grammatically? For some... That's a bit strange. Crikey, this is a long old lesson, eh? Right, let's finish off with a top tip. Your familiar stamina is always going down. You'll need to swap him... Swap with him regularly. Okay, I'm going to stop talking before I put us both to sleep. So if I say, like, attack... Oh, I see. Yeah, he can only fight for so long, can he? Let's do cut loose then. Holy shit, get wrecked. Oh, that came out of my mana pill. He doesn't have a mana pill, does he? So, what happens if I want to swap? Is that... Oh, I can just do it like that. And do I lose HP for fighting those guys? Or is it my familiar that loses HP? Steve the pirate, hey dude. I recognise Rippy somewhere. He's in The Last Kingdom. I was watching earlier and Dave from Gavin and Stacey. Okay. Um, he doesn't have his own health or stamina. Okay, so he, he just fights on behalf of me, I guess. Oliver reached level 3. We prick has reached level two. Oh, so he's got a level as well. 
So now you know how to fight with a familiar A, Ollie boy. Be a true contender, you'll need to learn um you'll need to learn when to let your familiar loose and when to take control yourself. Oh yeah, I see the E's appearing everywhere in this guy's senses. Okay. Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found in uh taking it easy in the creature cage. In the creature cage you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. Some will improve abilities, others will teach him new tricks. Feed the little blighters enough to say uh, of what they fancy and the bonds of familiar fil familiarity between you uh, will grow. I mean, you can boost them. Careful not to stuff them with too full of sweets though, they'll only end up getting full. Adoration and moderation, that's the key. It's probably a lot uh, to get your head around, but just remember that the creature cage is where you look after your familiars. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. I feel like this is the kind of thing that we'll just learn as we go. Creature cage is now accessible. Might put uh, Drippy in the creature cage. We had something we wanted to ask you, your trunkenness. There's a guard down here in Ding Dong and he's broken hearted, see? Shader evil spreads even further, so what will be what will you be needing? That we will, your oak Here's uh there's quick there's quick you are. You still have got him, ain't you? Patience, young drippy, of course. Now let me see. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> here we go. Lost it. I don't know what it is he's lost, but we have to get it back probably. I have a favour to ask you. Did I mention we're in a hurry? Asked Drippy. Didn't I? We have got. To, we've not got any time. We have to go. We should help uh, Old Father Oak. He gave us those spells. How very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. I get the flipping message. Go on. What do you need? Okay. I'm afraid he has become rather unruly of late, and he's neglecting his duties. So we have to go and kick his ass, right? He's way stronger than your average beastie, but you've got a familiar on your side now. You'll be fine. If you're going to take down Shadar, you can't back out a bit. Um, yeah, okay, out of Light Guardian bashing well. So we're just going to beat up some punks, that's fine. Beyond the Whispering Waterfalls. That sounds like a nice place. I wish you luck. Okay. First spells, now familiars. You're turning into a proper wizard, ain't it, Ollie boy? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at your new mate? If you look at the main menu, you'll see friends and familiars. That's when you'll find all sorts of details about you and your familiar abilities. Looks a bit complicated and there are a few few options <laughs> a fair few options kicking about in there to be fair, but you'll soon get the hang of it. Jesus, there's walls and walls and walls of text, aren't there? We'll call that levelling up. You'll be able to make new mates before long and all so be sure to take a closer look at them like I showed you. Your friends and familiars are now accessible from the main menu. So what happens if I do square here? I can have three fighters, is that right? Three little familiars. Can I do another one? Or does that... What happens? Okay. Healing, touch, and fireball. And this is all my spells, right? Yeah, okay. So we don't need to heal or anything. Sweet. What about if I go on a triangle? Friends and familiars. Familiars. Let's have a look. So we're chilling. We've only got the old stick and no pieces of equipment at the moment. So that's fine. So that's five... I guess that's two physical, five magic. So our magic attack's much better than our physical at the moment. Uh, we have runaway attack, defend tactics, provisions. That's fine. Healing touch and fireball. Cool. He's got attack, cut loose tricks. Oh, there. that's when he's going to learn some other moves. Look. Can I give him these? Learned at level 5, 10, 14, 20, 50. Okay, cool. Very sweet. I wish, you wouldn't, I wish we prick wouldn't make any fucking noises, though. Uh, oh my god, that's going to get real old really quickly, I can tell already. Um, is there anything in the companion that I could read Read from the beginning? Chapter 1, Magic. Chapter 2, Alchemy. Equipment. Holy fuck, dude, there's so much shit here. What is that? Am I supposed to... Oh my god, they actually want you to read it like a fucking... <laughs> I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool idea, I guess, but holy. Interesting. So these are just random spells, I guess. So what the fuck is alchemy then? We'll figure that out later. Creature cage. Can we do anything with, uh, with wee prick? We have no treats. For the most part, I think we're okay. I'm going to turn the music down ag again. Because it's loud as fucking balls. Okay, old pishy oak tree is this way, so we don't want to go that way. Unless we can go past them, is there a path? No, it's just a dead end. 
Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Sorry for not answering, had to do something. I'm doing good, but how about you? I'm doing great, yeah. Don't worry about it, white boy. Your HP and mana is also your familiars. Yeah, you share it. From what I remember, might is actually very decent throughout the game. Cool. Uh, what happens if we go this way? <coughs> oh, hey, rewarded. What we got? Equipment? New spell. A white loaf of bread. Out here in the woods? But yeah, stinking. Where does that go? I remember Nino Kuni 2 had a lot of little secret areas for you to explore and normally you could find, you know, powerful kind of, uh, what were they called in, in that game, guys? <laughs> the Whispering Waterfalls. Oh, here we go. We were supposed to go this way, right? Isn't this where we, why, why was the marker pointing the other way? Hey, Craig. So, man. What were they, what were the hilly, uh, not hilly churls. Jigglies. Higgle, higgledy Piggledies, Tum Tum. That must be it, right? I think it was Higgledy Piggledies. Careful you don't get before you even get to the Guardian, right? I'll be fine. I've got a familiar. Don't forget, though, if you're gonna... If the going gets touch tough, don't be uh, scared to use healing touch. <laughs> Tap away. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I can push square and then heal. That's fine. Am I going the right way? All the way back here, I guess. Maybe we are going the right way. Or maybe this is just another way out. I don't know. We should be fine. Fuck it. Let's go. Hey. Get some confrontation. Higgledies. Watch this. Okay. Jabber. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, wee prick. So what's the point in fighting with this if I could just... What's the point in fighting with wee Jabber? Can he? Oh, he can move around as well. Nice. I guess what you could do is just play to your strengths then. You would just use certain certain little familiars to fight on like different enemies, I guess, and then you could just swap between them. It's kind of like just imagining them as an extension of your own magic abilities. Like one could be a water one, one could be fire, etc. Right? Uh, does this guy actually do more damage than me? He does do regular attacks, but my magic is much better. Maybe we should just try Fireball and see how we get on with that. If I can fight somebody down here. Yeah, I'm going to try Oliver now, and I'm going to try and just blast a fool. There's a chest in there to the right as well. Pretty much always better than the character. Let's put that to the test. Uh, spells. Fireball Jutsu. <laughs> Blasted. <laughs> Almost missed the HP. But that would have been a huge mana cost, right? That's not sustainable, I don't think. And even when I don't use the, the familiar, he still gets XP. That's cool. Obtained a bar of chocolate. So now, can I... Is that something I can give to him? Attack increases and heaviness. What does that do? We pricks attack has gained one point. Is that it? Oh, his growth limit goes one to ten. Okay. We pricks a little bit stronger now. I I honestly love the, I love the little environment that they've got going here. I can go right or I can go left. Ooh. Sneak attack. So did I get just a free hit on this douchebag? Uh, let's use, let's use Wee Prick then, seeing as he has more physical attacks. Wait. I felt like I didn't get like a sneak attack there. I don't know what happened. Hmm. You swapped Oliver when you want to cast a spell from what I recall anyway. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Cool. We pricks getting stronger. There's a chest along here. Yeah, what a beautiful setting. There needs to be more art styles like this for like wooden areas and get oh, sealed by magic. Ah, just like in Nino Kuni 2. We get certain chests that are just locked away. Can I jump down? No. 
Yeah, there needs to be more like, more of this, right? You know when we went to... I don't know why I'm so... Why I get, like, addicted to these kind of areas in particular. But when we played Dragon Quest XI, there was, like, an area that was, like, a wooden... It was, like, a, a shrouded kind of wooden area where there was, like, no ceiling because the tree branches were covering. And you felt like you were right in the middle of... Felt very anime, right? It felt like an adventure anime. And it feels really cozy, man. Even though they're supposed to be, you know, dark, scary woods. I feel like these kind of things are always like a great start to an adventure like this. Very old school, but it just works so well. Depends what you're into, I guess, but... I always think it's so cool. It's it's really lush forest, dense forest. It doesn't feel cold either, so you can just chill and play. It feels, it feels good. Crikey, I knew there was something I forgot to tell you about familiars. It's important, Ollie, listening. I showed you your familiar can do tricks. Well, as the little feather will get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. If you want to see what tricks your familiars have up their sleeve, friends and familiars in the main menu, blah, blah, blah. You can give them new commands. Okay. So, did he get a new spell? Oh, he's not getting equipment as well. He's just going pure dry at the minute. Okay, can I do tricks? So, when he's level 5, he's only 3 at the minute. He'll get sandblast. Cut loose costs 10 uh, MP. Feel the barrage of spells and slashes deal physical damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Everything seems fairly straightforward so far. We'll see if that maintains. Can I get this? More bread. In case you're getting absolutely smashed here, I guess. Okay. Sushi says, as great as Nino Kuni 2 is, uh, this one is just objectively better XD. I'm going to wait and see. It's been so long since I played Nino Kuni 2, but we're going to see what we uh, how we get on with this one. Yeah, see how we got on. Feels nice so far. Feels nice and relaxing. Okay, so we got a double a doubles battle here. I might actually use some MP. Uh why don't we try cut loose? I think if Oliver gets a I think if he gets a level up, we actually uh If he gets a level up we should probably um get all of our XP and money back, right? Nice. Got some mana back. Nice, Sue. Will Lil Prick Smiley Face be a permanent member? I have no idea. Some of the guys are saying that uh, he will be useful for a while, uh, if not the entire game. So I guess it depends. It's going to come down to probably team comp and whether we want him, if we if he continues to be relevant or whatever. Uh, creature Cage. I've got treats that will increase magic attack. I think this guy's going to be a physical user, so maybe I don't want to use that. Can I eat the cake? No. Oh, I can. No, I can't. Okay, well, let's not give that to him yet, in case, because I don't know if he does any... I don't know if he does any magic attacks. Hey, Corky, what's up? Low prick merch when? Let's go. That could be fun. Alright. Oh, they're using Sandblast on me. But he missed. We get anything? Nope. Might is good for the whole game, I think. Yeah, that's what Sushi was saying. Okay. The only thing is, do you know what they could have done here? I feel like the, they've got orchestra music for this, and it's, it's very powerful, and it, and it sounds good, but I feel like they needed more relaxing music for here. It's the, it's the music they're playing right now is like the, oh, hey, really tense... You're just setting out on your adventure. They're trying to give you, like, bravado and oomph. There's a chest back there, look. Did I miss that? Um, I feel like here they needed more relaxing music. Something a bit softer. A bit softer to get you going. Maybe it's because it's the, d the deep dark woods. They're trying to make you feel a bit nervous or something. I don't know. What was that a bottle of? Uh, it restores 10 MP. We're not going to waste that because we're about to heal at the save machine, but... Lil Prick She... Pardon? Let's just uh, heal here. I don't think we actually need to save, do we? I, I guess we do it anyway. Cool. Onwards. 
I do like when games give you this. I'll tell. I'll give you another example of a game that did woods like this that were quite good. Uh, although I got frustrated with them in Final Fantasy X, uh, the Macalania woods is very much like this. It's like when you look up, it's like they're they've got like I mean here look look what you've got. You've got like the blue kind of leaves in the sky. Um, like it's obviously covering up the sun so that you feel like it's dark even during the day, but there's enough of the light to make it colourful. It, it feels nice, man. It, it feels nice. I always like it when games do this. <laughs> little prick. It's a smiley face, dude. Jesse, it's little prick. The smiley. Fa it's little prick with a smiley face. Might as quit your quintessential starter. A pretty decent the entire time, but there's clearly better choices later on. Yeah, he'll do for the time being. We don't have a lot of options, so it's him, the flipping guardian. Oh, here he comes. Let's see how we can handle him. Uh oh. Okay, our fireball is going to be useful against this douchebag. Pretty cool design. If Venusaur had a big brother. Alright. Let's go ahead and open with uh, Oliver here. And we're going to use a spell. Yeah, I don't like how he, he can come towards me. While I'm selecting what I'm gonna do in the in the in the fights, I kind of wish it wasn't like that. Like I kind of wish I just had time to relax and pick my spells, but I guess that's just what type of game this is. Let's do fireball here. See, it pauses it pretty much when you're aiming, but when you're selecting, it doesn't pause, and I don't know why. So do I want to like move back here and hit him again? Like, can I actually? Yeah, I can't actually kite him. Oh, he looks like he's doing something. Knickers, this looks serious, Ollie. Boy, you best defend yourself. Okay. Nice! <laughs> nice one. Uh, okay, defending against moves like that will earn you a nice little bonus as well. So when he starts building up the nasty looking number, be sure to put up your guard. Uh, okay. Um, how do I... Oh, is that him doing his big move? Oh. I guess not. Let's see, is he gonna do it? Below. So you get, you do get... Did we defend that? I think we did, right? Oh, that's the big move. Okay. Never mind, we're okay. Ah. Chance. Oh. Look, Ollie boy, the big old lump's only gone and knackered himself. Now's your chance to give him a proper walloping. Uh, okay. Does he take extra damage when he's like this? Or is this just like a... Uh, let's swap and bring out our boy. We prick, get him. Jesus. Attack him. Right, hold on. We prick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck again? Rainbaker? Rainbaker with the 1500 bits says, Have a good day, can't stay for long. Rainbaker, are you just gonna do this every time? Provisions. Let's eat some food here. Uh, there's mana over in the corner. Rainbaker, thank you again for the 1500, dude. Did he miss? Oh, no. Defend. So he's knackered, right? So do I send him in? Rainbaker, thank you for the 1500. Welcome back again, and if you can only stay for a couple of minutes then, thank you so much, dude. That's way too kind. Rainbaker, for those that, the reason I'm pausing the game, guys, is because Rainbaker was here yesterday, and he gave us a thousand bits, and then 500 bits, and now he's given us another 1500. Rainbaker, that is insanely, insanely generous, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Dude, I can't help but feel wee prick is kind of useless against this guy. Uh, 
That golden glimmon, your little beauty, uh, that's a little beauty, restore all your HP for you. Where's that? That's not all it'll do, the miracle move that lets you... That's not only that, it's also let you do a miracle move that doesn't use any MP tidy. But they don't hang around forever, H hurry and grab it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Get it! Pick it up! Oh. Burning heart? Alright, time to fuck this guy up. Burning heart. Does he do it? Alright, we're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Oh, R.I.P. Sayonara. Okay. We got it done, but holy shit, dude. Thank you once again, Rainbaker, for the kindness. 1500 bits is way too much, man, especially after yesterday. That's a lot, a lot of support. Thank you, thank you. Hell yeah. Don't know who, but thanks to whoever uh, got me this one, says Gajin. Spirit of the Woods is our item gained. We got to level 5, which means people have new abilities. I guess... Like, if I went in for melee combat, that guy would have kicked the shit out of me. I'm pretty sure that's the only way that a lot of people do that fight, right? Maybe if I trained up my little warrior to be stronger in the background? It would have been a bit smoother, but my spells did so much more damage because of the fire nature, I think. Oliver reached level 5. We prick reached level 5. And he learned Sandblast. Now, I wonder, is that automatically added to we pricks roster or do I need to go on and put it on? You obtained the page described in the Guardian of the Woods. Great, I guess. Yeah, go on, mate. Fuck off. He was pretty cool. He kind of looked like Tyranitar, didn't he? Like a grassy Tyranitar. That was a close run thing, uh, man. The Guardian, he headed towards the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he's back to normal now? Your guess is as good as mine, but that weird look in his eye had gone at least. I reckon he'll probably take some time out uh, to get his head together and then it'll be right back to the old Guardianing. But what, all, what made him go all screwy like that? You don't think it was? It must have been Shadar. Okay. Anyway, we did what we came to do. Best get back to the old tree. Sure, let's go. The Serenity of the Guardian of the Woods. Uh, heart was unlocked, a story in the Wizard's Companion. And the new tale of wonder. The Squirrels and the Bramble, Protectors of the Forest. Okay, interesting. Hmm. You did well to calm the Guardian of the Woods. I gave him the uh, ultimate you fireball jutsu. What I was looking for. But first, a gift. You were on a roll, my airman. I entrust to you one of my closest companions. Oh, the Telling Stone. Right. His knowledge of our world rivals even my own. Rock toaster. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. Oh. And the other thing. Oh God. The locket. This is what you came here for. Baby. It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Jesus. So much, old father. Dude, is this an RPG character who just gives you everything you need immediately? What the fuck? Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. You want to give me a bonus? Unlike some. New pair of sneakers or something? Alright, alright. Ta, Barkface! Barkface. Mm, some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. See you, mate. Now, boy. You must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travel. <gasps> For freebies, right? I look forward to hearing of your progress. Is he gonna give me freebies? Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Okay. I like the idea of running around finding spells and collecting magic. That's pretty cool. Okay. What does this big stone fucker do next to me? The telling stone is now accessible from the main menu. We obtained the locket as well. Take heart spell. Give heart spell. Jesus. Let's have a look then. What does he do? Learn how to play the game and other useful information. Life lessons, creature compendium, dangerous places. Oh, right, okay, so he's like the, the tutorial kind of helper. 
Oh, there you go. It tells you all of their drop rates as well. And what they're weak to, I guess. So this guy will be weak to fire and doesn't take any damage from water because he looks like he does water. Or is it the other way around? Weak to wind, I guess. I guess the tick means that he's weak to it, right? Or does that mean he's strong against it? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, tricks, fling, flame. So he must be a fire user, I guess. I've wanted to play this game for a while now, but I've no time. Wow, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk, new Yakuza, Peppy Hands. Yo, dude, what's up? Okay, well, we'll figure out all that crap later. Let's go into the creature cage. I'm not going to give that to you. Lock it. Oh, wow. We've got the Pokemon fucking gym badges here. Uh, cool, I guess. Friends and familiar. What's up, dude? Tricks. Sandblast. A string of cloud of sand is whipped up, blinding a single enemy. I guess that would have been good against the boss if we had it. Cool. So, guys, just to clarify, does that little tick next to the to the element, does that mean that he's weak against it? Or strong against it? I wonder if I can find that out in the Telling Stone. Uh, life lessons. Save meeting monsters. The bottomless bag. Tricks and commands. Dangerous places. Uh, okay. Mastering magic training, your familiar familiar signs. Uh, it seems you want to learn about the creature signs. Well, make yourself comfortable. The sun and the moon and the planet. The two otherwise identical creatures have different signs. They will each behave differently. Reveal themselves more starkly when they interact. Each sign has a given relationship and a counterpass. The sun is stronger than the moon, but vulnerable to the star. Okay, we're going to have to learn this, I think. Sun beats the moon, but weak to the stars. Star is stronger than the sun but weak to the moon, etc. So it's like rock, paper, scissors, I guess. The planet sign is a little different, but I can see I'm in danger of losing you. The point is that it's worth bearing signs in mind during battle. Okay, what about uh, basic battles? HP and MP, that's fine. Losing consciousness, commands, that's fine. Okay. Going for glimpse? Oh, these are the heals and stuff in battle. Okay, so those are called glimpse. Familiar fighting force facing up to defeat. I guess we're going to figure it out later. Maybe the game's going to teach me in just a little while. Maybe I shouldn't try and research it before we actually get there. Uh, I did get some new spells. Uh, magic? What is my new ones? Take heart. Jesus. <laughs> As previously explained, art is made of uh, virtuous. Oh god. Right, do you know what? Let's just fucking play the game and we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out. Thank you, tree boy, man, old guy in the wood. Thank you. Look for the guardian. The guardian of the woods? What, in here? Is he likely to be back in here? Up the back, Sushi? He said, see what's next to his fire. So, do you want me to take a left and go back along to the guardian's path? Is that what you're suggesting? There are other little paths that I never explored, actually. I guess we could. Okay. I think we take a left, then. That's the way the Whispering Waterfalls, isn't it? I guess we could use... You could use some XP along the way and try out some new moves, perhaps? I don't know what our new sand move does, other than blind enemies. I don't know if that's going to be useful or not, but... There's other little areas down here I haven't fully explored, so I'm going to check that out. I can't believe Rainbaker turned up twice with all the bits. That That is so... so kind. Really, really helpful. Teeny blooper. Or bopper. Alright, let's send out Prick. Go on, mate. You're level 5 now. You should be much stronger. Nice. <laughs> okay. 6 XP. Not too much XP gained for these boys, unfortunately. But that's alright. Why do I have a sudden desire in me, guys, to start Pokemon Sword and Shield again? I don't know. I suddenly had a, a desire to want to play Sword and Shield. Maybe it's because of the woods and stuff. Going on a little adventure. Right, let's do Sandblast. Um... So I am the sun and 
This guy is the star, so based on what we've just realised, the star should beat me. Is that the star? I think it's the star, is it? I don't know. So we'll we'll freeze... We stun this guy? It missed. Well, that's fucking depressing. Oh, there we go. Blinded. Oh, there's the special thing. Hmm. So how do you get more little prick smiley faces? What do you mean, what do you mean, uh, smiley faces, Craig? Christmas sweater's looking fine, thank you. Thank you, welcome a strange place. Can I feed you some snacks? I just got a sandwich, but I guess that's only for Oliver. Restores 100 HP. So, we're gonna take a left. Because that's a dead end. We can't get to the chest. Yeah, I think I would have picked a different music track for the woods. It's, it's fine. We can do this. Kinda just exists. Here goes. So this guy should take less damage. Yeah, he does. So that's because he is of the moon. But he's blinded now. Oh! My stamina. I guess my stamina ran out. Hold on. Fireball Jutsu. Woo! Later. Jack's committing the carnal sin of grinding before the full party in a JRPG. Sorry. I, you told me to go and find the Guardian. Is the Guardian not down here? I just gotta give him a Sunday, whatever that is. Increases magical defense. Sure. There you go, buddy. His magic defense is already quite high. Oh, that didn't f actually give him the points, though. It just give it just gives him like. Okay. Stuff of the sky, eh, dude? What's up? Welcome. Have you ever played Tales of Vesperia? I haven't. No, but the chat has talked about it a lot. I'm in his page in the compendium to see what the symbol uh, for weak to fire is. All oh, right. Okay. I thought you meant like go back and find this thing. I guess I have explored all this area. I wanted to go back down there and see if there was something special, but I guess not. Uh, I guess we just make our way back out then. We got a bit of XP. Hmm. Instructions unclear, Sushi. You've been demoted. <laughs> Let's go this way. Would you highly recommend Tales of Vesperia stuff? Is it worth my time? I've always heard mixed opinions about uh, the Tales games. Some some of you guys are like, oh, Tales games, they're so amazing. And then other people are like, uh, not so great. I don't know. Wrecked. So much do we get? More cakes. Tons of cakes. See these uh, these cakes that I'm feeding to my little familiar? Are those buffs permanent or did they actually run out? Because I'm getting a lot of cakes here. Vesperia is my goat. Really, Craig? Let's go. Here go. Oh, that must have been a crit. I don't know how to hit the, the weak points of the enemies. I don't know if that's just something that happens passively. Or if it's something you can actually aim for. Like maybe certain enemies have like a weak spot on the back or something. I have no idea. Let's just heal here. You trust stuff of the sky more than me, Kappa? I already told you they god games. I know Jesse, but you also told me that Fire Emblem Three Houses was going to be a great time. And well, look how that turned out. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Fire Emblem is fine. I actually had a yearning to play Fire Emblem again recently. I don't know why these games come back to me in swings easily. I like the story of the world uh, of Tales games, but I've never been a fan of the combat. Ariza is gonna be Pogtonium. Right now I know you guys are making up words. Vesperia is widely considered to be the best Tales game. Thanks for the emote at Rainbaker, says Buckets. 
I don't know if Rainbaker's still here, but uh, I'll let him know, Buckets. And welcome to the stream, man. Fire Emblem is a great time. Oh, Gajin, you're so kawaii. It was fine. It was just fine. The Definitive Edition has some audio issues, usually due to the change in voice actors due to death or not reusing them, but as, uh, it has much more content than the OG 360 version. Uh, on then, mate. Better kill the Rhinosaur first. Oh, here's the moon. So we should destroy this thing cause we, because the sun beats the moon, so we should like one-hit it, right? Yeah, there we go. That's the big damage. Okay, what we need is a moon... We need a moon fighter so we can beat some of these weak enemies. Maybe we get a moon fighter soon. That would be cool. Alright, let's go. Back to Ding Dong Dell. Oh no. Arise, rather. The next Tales game is going to have a different battle system. Uh, so, he is a moon character, so we should aim for him first. Take him out of the combat ASAP. Or we could just one hit both. How did you end up in Frostpunk, Ash Buckets? We survived, yeah. We we got there. I've got my last uh my last um Frostpunk VOD coming out tomorrow on YouTube, guys. But we did man we managed to make it just barely. Just by the skin of our teeth. We didn't have to do any drastic measures and we managed to save most, if not all, of our villagers. We lost some people along the way, but there was no deaths at the end, which was kind of cool. That dog just ran away from us. Hmm. Hope we get more news for a rise soon. Come on. Maybe that'll be our first Tales game, guys. Uh, yeah, let's go for the the moon heroes first. <laughs> Zero HP. We just we must just be OP here. I've looked at some of the gameplay of Tails as well, guys. Like I've looked at some of the like little segments of gameplay and some of the artwork and stuff. Didn't really jump out to me as like mind blowing, but maybe if I give it some time it would be it would be good. I don't know. I don't know. Well I I you know, as long as we're on Twitch for the foreseeable future, I assume that we're going to get around to the Tales games at some point or another. Because that normally is what happens. You guys talk about a game for, like, so long, and then I'm like, right, we got, we've got we got a free spot and we got to check this out eventually, so... We'll probably get around to playing them at some occasion in time. Apparently most of the, the most wanted chart for Famitsu has Resi Village and Tales of Arise at the top ones. The As the top ones. Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right though, Ollie boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right, one of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm, how can I put it? Ah, just give it a go, you'll soon work it out, man. <laughs> First off, what that guard's missing is a drop uh, of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him, and he'll uh, be right as rain. Okay. I think he's but missing a bit more of the enthusiasm. enthusiasm. Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard by there. He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Jesus. Sure, I'll try my best. So we're going to siphon energy from one guard and give it to the other. Hello there. I wish I could... Uh, uh, could you do me a favour, he says. I wish I could, I really do, but I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Uh, we just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Well, if it's enthusiasm you're after, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Look at the pages old tree face uh, gave you in your book. And, uh, and it's the spell called Take Heart. You need to cast first. Take Heart. Go. And I guess we're going to use Give Heart as well. This man's going to be fucking destroyed. Imagine having a surplus of energy that people would literally pull it out of you. Tidy. Looks like you got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. So is this uh, the chart of Famitsu? I've, I've never heard of Famitsu. Are they, what are they, like a, like a game company or something, Gajina? Are they like a reviewer or something, like a, a channel? 
So these are the games that they're look most looking forward to. Resi Village, Tales, and Cyberpunk, and Tales is at the top. Cool. Hi there. We need to give them enthusiasm with Give Heart. Sure. So we're basically taking shit and giving it to people who need it more. Enthusiasm. There we go. Everybody's like, what the fuck? Beautiful! It worked! Neato! Uh, tidy! Looks like he's back in the land of the living! Oh? What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange. As if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. Ooh. Thank Video game magazine. Back. Okay, okay, okay. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I wasn't myself. But I'm back now and ready to work harder than ever. Okay. Well, then. These fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Nice. Indeed, we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. I guess he was the boss, was he? Thank you. I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of Merrick stamps for performing such a heroic feat. <laughs> Mate, I don't even think he understands what we did to him, but okay. You do have a Merrick stamp card, don't you? Okay. Listen to me rabbiting on. I'll get the gate open. Yes, please, sir. I guess we need to go get a Merrick stamp card from someone else. Okay. Ding Dong Dell, the Cat King's Castle. We're finally here, we're finally in Ding Dong Dell. Indeed, we are Ollie Boy, there are a few unseen snags on the way, I'll admit, but all's well, it ends well, and I'm going to take you to the same old tree face eventually anyway. Righto, on with the wand hunt, the king's in his place and knows a spell or two, let's see if he can help us, shall we? Okay. Can I go back out and siphon? Can I take more enthusiasm from this guy, and or do I just have that in my... Yeah, so I, once you use it, it's consumed. Can I take more? I guess not. Okay. What we got here? That must be the inn. Can we go in here? The stamp card. Hello. Well, oh, I'm sorry. We're not open at uh, present. Please come back. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll just steal that cake that was hiding in the vase. You're welcome. Wait. No, please. There's a chest behind there. But it's open. Where's the- oh, the door. Yeah, I knew where that was. Okay, so, where to now? Ding Dong Dell's pretty cool. I forgot that there was cats all over this place. There's the weapon shop. Well, I can only assume it's- fuck, I don't even know. So this is where we would buy armor, and then I'm guessing... Oh, for fuck's sake, you loser. I guess we have to go the long way. 15 guilders. Oh, we have to go this way because something's going to happen. Jeepers. It's so... different. <laughs> Stop staring, man, it's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Cranky, we better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. Come on, Ollie boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Very cool. I'm sorry, Ollie, but no matter how trendy you are over in Motorville, you're gonna have to get a new, a new drip, a store where I can buy a new outfit. Oh, I think there's one of those up ahead, is there not? Uh, up here on the right. What happens if I go back the way? Is he gonna flame me? What's in here? I kinda wanna check this. I don't know what this place is. Is this like the magic shop? Oh. Can't take any tasks right now. Hmm. Can I talk to the guy? Is he closed as well? 
I'm a bit of a flap at the moment. Okay. Rearranging his errand born a likely story. Okay, so I go get new clothes and then I guess we meet the king and then I'm probably all these places are gonna open up, right? I kinda wanna just explore though. Look at this. Oh one of the special ones, right? Balls. But we need to make mental notes of these and come back later, I guess. Hmm. Again, I'd love to design a city like this. That's really cool. Oh. I didn't expect that. We're going full Assassin's Creed here. Cassandra would be proud. Can I jump that way? No? What's the point of this? Maybe there's a spell we get later or something? Looks like something that's like mildly interactable. I don't know. Okay, on with the show. I'm doing enough dicking around here. Oh, hello. Cat lady. Ollie has like animals walking past him at this point. He's just totally uh, already settled in. Wow, she looks rather... <laughs> she looks very strange. Oh, another chest. Can I open this one? Damn it. Dude, where did I get the spell to open the chest? That needs to be a pronto priority. Hello. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this what? Do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? Oh, hoot, I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, man. <laughs> have you seen this boy's dress? He's flipping. He's a flipping embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. Oh, a fairy. I used to see her kind all the time. But I'll bet the children these days don't even know who you are. Kids these days, man. Disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. They won't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flipping shins. Not like you, eh, Mrs. Now, about those clothes. Yes, let me think. I, I've i come to think of it, it well, there was a traveller who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He'd bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Okay. I'll take the old second-hand stinky clothes. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing and lucky... Lucky for, I don't know what that said, something about keeping home. Hey Couch, what's up? Shit, I'd love to watch you play this, but I have to go to bed. I wish I was on Twitch earlier. That's alright, Couch. I'll upload the VODs to YouTube later on, probably tomorrow. It would uh, look huge on you, otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Thank you. Okay, so she's going to prepare us some, some get-ups. Tomorrow's flipping ages away. I'd like to go and see the king right away, but we can't go until we get your outfit sorted. Okay, the guard on the gate said something about us getting some kind of card from a place in town. Something solutions. Swift solutions? Okay, let's go. So we're going to go and get our stamp reward card. Uh, which is literally just the place we've been to, so... I wonder if the man has fixed his notice board by now. What are all these villagers doing? She's just sitting up there chilling. Just relaxing, enjoying the sun, what a legend. Look at this guy. The shop there with the swift solutions where people go and ask for help if something's um, bothering them. Okay. So far, so good. Nice and smooth. Wait! Oh yeah, you, you wear this guy. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come and watch their worries fly away. Um, and those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. Honestly, you don't know, dearie me. You really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to do their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help. You'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking on the tasks they set you. Have a look at the errand board over there. On it, you'll see a list of tasks that you can take on. At Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. These are known as bounty hunts. That's fine. Um, the journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you've got. The gatekeeper mentioned something about that. Oh! There you go, this looks pretty good. Keep this minute stamp safe, you'll need to collect it when you get a uh, task completed. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards. There was something, was it Dragon's Quest had a merit stamp system at the university, didn't it? Helping people out is part of saving the world, oh boy. But before we make a start on all those do-gooderies, uh, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now the Hootenanny... <laughs> said your outfit would be ready tomorrow, so I reckon our best plan of action is to go and get a good night's sleep down at the cat's cradle. <sighs> okay. Can I do anything with you? No. 
bounty hunts, claim bounties, okay, claim merit awards. Allows you to jump by pressing circle while running, not very useful, but a whole lot of fun. Jack Be Nimble allows you to run faster out in the hills and plains of the, uh, the wide world. Oh. What do we take, guys? Faster feet? Or jumping ability? I like the idea of faster feet, but maybe we need to be able to jump. Not really useful, but a whole lot of fun. I guess, Jack Be Nimble. Can I take these? Please choose a merit uh, reward to receive one card required. I guess I don't have it because I haven't got the stamp done. Okay. Can I take a bounty hunt? Vegetable Thief. A well-worn sword. Undertake. You have agreed to undertake the Vegetable Thief bounty hunt. The details can be found in your journal. Okay. So, how is selecting a... Oh, this is like where you can get like another job, right? New errands now available. A Grimmel can stand in near the... Can I take all of these at once? It won't let me do any of them. Uh, details of the new errands. Oh, so I don't actually take them off the board. They just get added, is that right? Talk to Philip. Your mother is waiting for you. Time to go home. Home to mother. Phil tells Oliver that she's finally finished in the... Okay, we've done all these, have we? Errands. Go and see what's wrong with the Grimmel Kim. Standing near the and Ding Dong Dell. Looks somewhat near the hootique. The hootique? The uh, Cartermaster store in Ding Dong Dell seems to be deep in thought. Do these people pop up as well? Maybe. In the Summerlands, a Grufflands keeps stealing produce from the farmer's fields. It has to be dealt with quickly. It's nearly harvest time. Okay. We'll figure these out as we go, I guess. There's a lot to kind of pick up at the moment, but... Oh, are you one of the people? Goodness, wherever have those uh, rascals run off to? Three of them are running off and not coming back. I know they're just playing. I can't help but thinking they've hurt themselves. Okay. Mother's life is neither easy. Hide and seek. Sure. So is this one of the ones we have? Or is this completely separate? And how the fuck do I know? Okay. Find the three missing children. Did I get any clues? Our three sons? Where would our, How do I know which ones... Are they hiding somewhere? Hmm. Can I jump? Oh, can I... How do I get in there? Maybe I need my jumping shoes for that? Because there's a chest there, but I don't know how to get there. Can I... How do I get in there? I guess that's... Maybe I should take the jumping shoes? I don't know. I kind of want to find these missing kids. Oh, are you one of them? You're not a boy though. Aren't they three boys? Hmm. We're supposed to go into there. And we've got a task outside the city as well. Oh, are you one of the kids? You look like a little boy. No? Oh wait, they might be... Okay... So this is a separate, a separate one. Holy fuck, there's a lot of writing going on. Oh wait, are you... Wait, who are you? You're flashing. Red eating. It's one of these pots you see around town inside one of the pots. Leave it to me. If I go up high to that garden, there's got to be one of the kids up here, right? Surely. 
Let's have a look. Oh, there. He must be one of them. He's crying. Are you okay? Healing touch. Okay. There you go, buddy. You're alright. Listen, thanks for making me better. Is that it? Wow. Does that do anything? Today's a fine day for mouse whacking. That's purple now. I'm confused. Hmm. I have not even seen any of the kids so far. I was kind of hoping healing that guy would count as one, but... Maybe I don't actually send them home. Oh, what's this? New area? The game looks nice. Hey, are you... Oh, fucking hell. There's a pot. Maybe this is where I can find the earring. If I'm lucky. Nope. Got a poison cure, though. That will most likely come in handy at some point or another. Come on, you little bastards. Where is that? Another pot in the corner. Maybe I'm not supposed to do this right now. There's the red earring, that's good. So I can go back and deliver that to the woman. Do you count, little cat? I'm guessing the, 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 the kids are humans though because the woman was a human. I don't think. Hmm. Can I go that way? Someone shiny in here. Okay. Heal this guy as well. Maybe these are the three sons. Maybe it, once I heal all three, that's it done. I don't know. Oh yeah, your mother's word sick about you run along home like a good lad. So these are the kids, but they don't actually leave when you tell them to go home, which is a bit strange. Oh, a slice of pie. Is there a kid around the back of this? Yeah. Oh, who are you? Drippy, what's up with you, man? You look a bit pale. Oh, he's a ghost. Spirit medium. Describing the spirit medium spell. Fancy that? It's a page from the Wizard's Companion, that is. That, what's this little squirt doing with it? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, says Oliver. Do you think he can't speak? Now nah, that's not it. It's not very much, uh, if I'm not, if I'm very much not mistaken, this must be it. The spell he gave you, give it a try. Uh, spirit medium. Thank goodness it worked. Jeepers creepers, you can talk. Of course. So what does that do? You mean you tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of wizard are you? We're learning, mate. We're new here. The jump has literally zero utility. Okay, thanks. I guess let's just take the fast the fast shoes then. Spirit medium lets you speak to the spooky spirits and the dead like me. Of course. But thanks to that idiot at Dark Gin, there aren't too many wizards left. Of course. Hang on. Jesus, there's so much right. I can't read all this. It's garbage. Right. Spend the night of the cat's cradle. That's what we're supposed to do. Well, we got a new spell. I guess that will allow us to interact with spirits and maybe get some advice whenever we need it. It's one of these spells that a lot of people might think, oh, this doesn't have an immediate effect and therefore it's useless. But maybe actually we'll get good tips later on. I don't know how many spirits can give us that spell. Maybe he's the only one in the game. Maybe we can get it from any of the spirits we find. I don't know. Right, I've got two two kids out of three so far, and there's the earring cat here as well, so I'm hoping... Oh, earring cat's right here. Come here. I've got it, there you go. A leafy mantle and 50 guilders. And there's two stamps as well. Okay, so can I claim these immediately from my... View stamp card. Can I just take these faster out in the hills and plains of the wide world? Do I have to claim it? 
Oh, maybe I only get it when I get to the very end and do all the stamps. Like, if I get to 10, I get one point. Or... Minute stamp cards collected. Oh, yeah, so you fill it to 10, then you get a point which you can exchange. I get it. Seems like you have to do a lot of jobs to get one fucking prize, though. That's a bit, of, a bit painful. I was kind of hoping it was going to be, like, constant a constant stream of prizes, but then I guess that's not exactly how the... Uh, the merit stamp system would normally work. Hey. Oh. Two. Oh, there's only two. I thought there was three. Wait, did that, did that work? Thank you so much. You don't know what this means to me. You find the two... I'll go find the last missing child. Oh yeah, there is. Sorry. So there's one more child missing. I have no idea where though. Oh, they might actually be in that building because there's a glowing white light in there. Yeah, I think it must be, right? Yeah, it must be. Inside the actual building. I could also go and take the job outside, perhaps. Maybe the soldier will stamp my card as well. Uh, is she flashing because she's who we need to speak to? Oh, where's the last kid then? There must be one more child that I can find. Okay, we'll stay at the end. Okay. You've obtained a new Regions of the World page. Okay. The next text the, and the text skipping begins. It has to for my sonny. Oliver. Oh, mum. Oliver. Huh? Mom. Mom. You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. Mom. Is this a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him, to face him, and when you do, you'll learn the truth. <gasps> Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very important to both of us. Oh, I wonder who, who it could be. He? And where do I have to go? <sighs> it's all right, sweetie. Dude. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. Oh, here we go. Oh, Mom, you're... Mom, you're flying. Mom, Mom, come back. Mom! Yikes. Dude, and before your dad's the evil wizard of the kingdom. Morning, young man, and what a perfect fine morning is it too. I hope you slept well. My mom. Sure, we'll save our progress. Let's make a new slot. Okay, so out we go. Where is this little missing wanker then? Oh, that's not the door. Hmm. So, we can go back there. He must have been uh, in another part of the castle. What happens if I go up here and through the gate? Can I even do that? There's maybe one last area of the ca of the castle, or sorry, of the village I haven't explored yet. What happens if I go this way? Oh, maybe I can't go through here. The sewers. Is it locked? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the sewers at Ding Dong Dale existed in the second one, didn't it? I remember. Yeah, yeah, we came down a path that was very much like this in the second game. The city looked a lot different, but I'm pretty sure the sewers was like a common theme. Because isn't that where all the cat people were living? They had been like chased out, right? So there's a, a glowing light inside the store, but where is this last child? This is like, totally not even an important objective, but like... Not an important objective at all, but it's bothered me that I can't find him. Is he here? I have no idea where he is. Maybe he's inside the castle or something? We'll give up for now. Don't want to pursue it too much. 
We'll follow the main story and then do side quests after because as Sushi was saying earlier, I don't want to like go places and get XP and then pick up party members afterwards who have missed out on said XP. So, hey Diesel, just got here. What's going on? I've lost a child. Uh, hello. I'm also getting some new, uh, new clothes. Um, Jack's hunting a child kappa. Diesel said, since when do you have 200 people watching? I don't know what you mean by 200 people. I don't know if there's 200 people watching the stream, Diesel Kid. Best try them on, hey, Ollie boy. Sure. I'll just pop and get them for you, my dear. Wait, I, uh, I shan't be a moment. What are you talking about, 200 people? Oh, hey! Trendy. You look proper sharp, Ollie boy. Dude, that's like the that's like the outfit from uh, from Nino Kini One. Isn't it a little goofy? I mean, a cape. Don't be silly, dear. It, ho it hoots you down to the ground. Thank you very much, ma'am. How much do we owe you? Those old things don't be silly. Okay. Grand. Gimme, gimme. I'll take them. Set of traveler's clothes. Do they actually give me perks like uh, equipment buffs? Time to meet the king. I'm kind of nervous. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go, lads? Let's get out of here. It looks like the red cape is very much like, uh, what was his name in, in uh, Nino Kuri 2? Was it Ethan or something? Alright, onwards. Onwards with the show, guys. How are you doing tonight, Diesel? What's new, man? Jack hunting a child Kappa. I'm not hunting a child. Well, I, I kind of am, but... It's for the benefit of the mother, although I did go to sleep before finding the kid, so he might already be dead. I hope the mother doesn't hold me responsible for that. At least we did the earring quest and got some stamps that, that way. Oh, here we go. Apologies, says the palace guard, but everyone in the palace is busy trying to find the king's red herring. So, can I go in? Or... Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You are travellers, I take it. <laughs> you must be in those clothes. Yes, we've always had these clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, you're you you're after an audience with the king, Tom. Is that his name, Tom? Like a Tom cat? Is he a cat? Well, I'd be more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid that's just not possible. Oh God, let me guess. You want me to do something for you? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his uh, meow just to, oh, so he is a cat. Beloved pet fish to escape into the palace moat. <laughs> The red herring is the king's pride and joy, and a highly and a highly endangered species to boot. I doubt his meow estate would be able to replace this one if he were to lose it. What uh, was his aid thinking? Mate, I don't even fucking know. I reckon it's possible. Yeah, why don't we have a look in the few ponds just in case? Uh, okay. Fuck me. Right, we're going back. Let's do. Not much, just trying to get a couple of things done for work that I thought were already done, says Diesel. What kind of things, Diesel? Do we get to know the the specifics and the logistics? We're, uh... <clears throat> we're just chilling. But so far, I'm just kind of easing into the game. I feel like... I feel like with games like this these days, I'm more inclined to be patient and, uh... and give the game time because of how I've reacted to games like this in the past where I think, hey... This game is very slow, this game isn't really grabbing my attention. But then after day two or three, when I settle into it and I have like a party and I start going to new places and I start enjoying it more, it does actually become a bit more kind of free flowing. So we're just relaxed at the moment. See that red thing over by there? You better go and take a closer look. So this will be why there was posts here earlier. Here we go. I'll be the king's fish, is it? How are we gonna catch this without a net? Knickers, he got away. He's a lively one, alright. I think he went towards the palace. After him. Okay. Feels very satisfying to jump across those, I don't know why. Round we go. In general, my COVID is going through my wife's family. Okay. But we have to interact with them working on the farm, so we're basically staying home other than with her family. I understand. I'm sorry to hear that, Diesel. That sounds really bad, man. I hope everybody's kind of safe and, you know, barred in the COVID. I hope that they're fairly healthy and I wish them a speedy, speedy recovery. Sorry, not my COVID. Yeah, I was going to say, I was kind of confused. You just mean COVID in general, right? That would make a bit more sense. I got you. I got you. 
Well, I hope they get better soon, man. Hey. We got it. Remember when we killed the big fish in Sekiro and it turns up next to the apes, the apes den? That was such a wicked fucking easter egg, dude. I'm so glad you guys showed me that. That was really, really cool. When you killed the big fish, you poison it, right? And then it turns up, like, down the river. Anyways, we got the red hair in. Now we can go and talk to the king. We can bring him a gift. Maybe we should give the fish some water? Is he just gonna follow? <laughs> He's just gonna follow me while holding the fish. Right, well, that's not fucked up in any sense of the word. I mean... My guy, couldn't we just put it in like a gla like a bowl of water or like... Oh god. Hi there, you won't believe this, but you know the, the fish? This is definitely not it, so don't panic. I'm afraid we still haven't laid located the pet. We came to deliver the fish, goodness. Is that the re- Oh, it's the regal scarlet tones of the king's beloved red herring. Anywhere, that'll be it. Okay, right, we've got the fish. Let us in, motherfucker. Before I kick you right in the balls. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been in uh, indolence personified and it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. As in laziness? I'm afraid so. Perhaps being reunited with his beloved red herring will give him the boost he needs. In you go. Tidy. We're off to see the king. Come on, Ollie boy. Roger that. I guess we... Oh! Hell yeah. A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Augusty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? Oh god. And you wish for a prize. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Go on, man. Ask him. Come now, don't be shy. Well, you're me out just see. I would like a PS5, please. Out with it now. We need your wand. <sighs> One's wand. Man. Huh? What did you say? Uh oh. Crikey! <laughs> Crikey! I haven't That's washed in now. days. Could it be? Yep. That's right, you will be out, Christy. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... It's not one's concern. Oh, bro. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. The fuck? Is no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. What a pussy. <laughs> Literally. <sighs> Fine then. Asshole. I guess I'll just eat your fish. I mean, what? So how do we get the wand now? Yeah, what's the plan? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is, or I'm broken headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? The guard outside was short on enthusiasm too, huh? Indeed he was. I reckon the king's broken heartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. But the other guard has some enthusiasm to help his friend. Maybe we should go ask him for more. No, don't go doing that. That's a very important rule about boring pieces of people's hearts, that is. You can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice. One little scoop is to... One little scoop off the top is all that's safe to borrow. Okay. We'll troll through the town for someone else with the get up and go aplenty in it. It's a sleepy old place and there's bound to be somewhere new somewhere. Where? Ding Dong Dale's not exactly village sized after all. You might even say it's proper massive. Oh. Flippin' it, man. The telling stone. You seem perplexed, says the telling stone. I, I wish this guy had a voice, man. My young friends, I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. <laughs> That's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Elementary, my dear Oliver, in times like these, just look to your locket. Not only can it carry pieces, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they are nearby. 
Okay. Allow you to tell a little more about the look of yours. You will see that it has the habit of glowing brightly from time to time. This is how it reacts to in the presence of those who possess one heart's virtues in abundance. Or one of the heart's virtues in abundance. Incidentally, those with the piece of heart will spare also... Uh, of heart to spare will also glow a verdant green in the mini map on the top right. That's really handy. Thank gods. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tellingstone, sir. Back in the pocket. Is he just going to pop up whenever I need his help? That's pretty convenient. Let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare, shall we? Okay. So well, apparently there's someone green on the map. Well, if I open the map, will that help? Guess we're going south. I still haven't found this child, and I'm kind of nervous that he might actually be turbo dead. I, I don't I don't really know. I can't see him anywhere. There's no shining dots to indicate that he's close, and uh That cat just said something about purring and I don't know what it was. Yeah, this mom is like still legit waiting on me to bring back our, our third child and I have no idea. Could the child be up here? Because we healed that one. The other one disappeared. Mm. Okay. Fuck it. We're going to ignore it some more. We're taking a left. Do we get any clues? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the, the background murmurings of the people. This woman's missing three children, two of which I've returned, and she says, when I speak to her, she's like, oh, I really need to buy a new dress. And then from the distant rafters, I hear this guy's moan, and he's like, this is the best place in the world. I think he was getting his lay on. Don't know what was happening up in that window from where that voice came. Diesel, I'll get your message in a second, my guy. I've only just caught it, sorry. The locket is glowing. No, uh, so far no one has died. Um, they really haven't taken. They haven't really taken it seriously from the beginning, which has been annoying. So I've known it was coming, but there's only so much you can do to convince those stuck in their mindset. Yeah, there's only so much you can do, Diesel. You gotta just try and prepare them, and then, you know, you can't. You can only take a horse to the water, so to speak. You can't force them to do it. You can only show them the ropes, and if they choose to take it seriously or not, it's on their. It's it's their decision. Now you could, you could argue that if they don't take it seriously, then they're um, you know, their decision is going to go on and affect others potentially, depending on who they're mixing with, but again, there's only so much of that is within your control, my guy, so again, I hope they get better hope you guys stay safe too, oh hello why are you wearing a pot on your head? I'm never using that to make mashed potatoes anyway, that's the uh, the only person around here is him, and look at his uh, look at him man, he can barely stand still, he's so eager jackpot you think he's got some enthusiasm? Let's go. So I'm just going to drain the life force out of this small child. Okay. Do we have to ask his permission or do we just literally just fucking... Right, I'm just going to go ahead and borrow some of your energy, small child. Don't go swimming in the pond later because if you fall asleep it's going to be your death on my conscience. Okay. Perfect, so now I can stick this into the king's butt and he'll be fine. Maybe the last child is outside the city gates, wouldn't that be so fucking weird? What is it she needs as well? Two Plainsworth flowers and two bottles of spring water. The southeast of town. Oh, Plainsworth blooms in the hills to the southeast of town and beside rivers and lakes. Okay, remember that, guys. Southeast. We cannot forget. It is our only hope. <laughs> Swerve. Wait, this is the way, yeah. Alright, we're back to see the king already. I'm surprised the guards are going to allow me to just constantly walk in and out the, the castle like this. I thought they'd put a stop to some of this, but maybe they're just chill with it. I don't know. All right. I wonder if he's gonna get rage. I was kind of hoping the king would be a nice guy, but they always seem to be evil. Is there anything going on up here that I should know about? No, that's just a wall. 
I tell you, the, th the throne room is pretty spectacular here. Literally got waterfalls running through it. Probably chilly in the winter though. You again. This is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. Just let me cast a spell on you, your majesty. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Take some of this, bruh. Maybe you'll not be a little useless bastard now. <sighs> that was a good stretch. So, do you think it works? Fucking hope Let's so. See, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow just please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah. Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. Oof. But one feels different somehow. <laughs> This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Majesty, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Mm hmm Yes, your Majesty. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Mm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. Yep. So, about that console. What would you claim as your prize? Hmm. I need the I need the wand, bro. I need the I need the wand. I don't know why I need the wand, but I need it. Okay. One would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Return later on, and one shall present it to you. What does that mean? I have to go and find it, and then you're gonna give me it after I have found it. A shiny new apprentice wizard who does exactly who doesn't exactly know much magic yet. Him. Okay. The Springlock spell. Oh fuck yeah! Does that mean I can open chests now? Rejuvenate spell as well. Um. Okay. We're just getting spells all over the place. This is great. The Cattermaster store down in the town. You can be given permission to shop there. Okay. Weapons and equipment for your familiars. Thanks. Okay. So can I literally? Where is it in the fucking companion? The companion always seems really slow to respond. And I don't know why. So what did I just get here? Uh, is it this one? Rejuvenate. What does it fucking say? Turn back the clocks and return an object to its former glory. Uh, okay. What is this? Spirit medium. Where's the clock? Uh, the lock one. Is it this? Fireball jutsu. Take heart, give heart, spring lock. There it is there. Why is it? Is that like a double page? Forces open otherwise impregnable locks. Be sure to try it when you encounter a locked door or chest. Let's go do it now. There's a chest in the city we can actually activate. Maybe it'll have something decent in it. Maybe some money for spending at the store. Okay, so the weaponsmith I think is down here. We have to go down into the left, I think. Let's find out. The noise the little fairy guy makes when he's walking is pretty funny. Again, it's very faint, so y'all might not even be able to hear it, but it's like... <laughs> oh, that woman's just standing there waiting on me to find her kids. Why doesn't she go out and actually make herself fucking useful like our mum? Then again, our mom died, so maybe that's... Uh, spring lock. Oliver's wand is not powerful enough to open this chest. What the fuck are you talking about? God damn it, dude. So I've got the spell, but I don't have a powerful wand. Jesus. This is trash. Still don't know how I get down to this as well, look. How the fuck did I get down there? Maybe there's like a... An ability that like blasts things open, like this. Ch Maybe this moves later on. I don't. I don't know. Can. Okay. One thing I really want to do is we're supposed to go and buy armor. Fuck it. Let's just go get it. We'll stick to the main plan for the time being, and then figure out all the silly things later. Maybe the kid will be in here. I don't know. Don't forget about the chest in the woods. Oh my god. You've been here this whole time, you little shithead. Can I just, uh, can I just heal you? 
Oh my god, did I need to talk to you first? There we go. That's the third child. He was in here this whole time. You little bastard. Okay, that's three stamps. Easy mode, baby. Oh, hey, and uh, don't mind me, sir. Look away. Is that a bird? Oh, wow. I'm just going to borrow this. Yep, that, that'll, that'll do, donkey. Right, bro. Your majesty informed me that you would be coming. And he's instructed me to sell you some jazz. To ensure your familiars don't get uh, caught short. Because he's a bird, he says caught. Brilliant. You can give them a boost by equipping them with certain items. I don't want to crow, but you'll find plenty of items uh, for your familiar... For, for your familiars in my wares. Yeah, okay, we get the point, mate. Right. So, does this guy just give weapons to my familiars, but not to me, right? Return to the palace and collect your wand. Sell. Maybe we can sell some of this stuff. A hundred gold! Jesus. Sweet milky drink with gentle coffee flavour. It's so mild that even children can enjoy it. Only gives you 10 MP back. Leafy mantle. A cloak made from soft green leaves. Oh. I could have put that on someone. And I've got all these as well. Booster shoots. Let's buy. We don't have that much. Um, so this wooden sword will be good for thingy joke. But aren't we going to get a sword for doing some of the quests around here? Maybe these are a waste of time. This animal horn uh, makes a distinctive spiral shape. Can't give it to anyone though. What about armor? That's maybe a better idea. Oh, I can give him a shield that will give him three defense. A basic wooden shield. How much is it? 80! A bone tooth. A giant's tooth. A, <laughs> a tooth taken from a giant. It's fearsome appearance prompts panic in enemies. I can actually give that to a uh, thingy. Should we buy the giant's tooth? Make them panic. Fuck it, dude. That does not seem like a good purchase. But uh, it's happening. I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to buy a shield for Jimmy. I've got this, but it doesn't go on anyone, apparently. Congrats. And these swords that I probably need, that would give me a lot more damage. Not even fucking worried about it, dude. With these prices, you must be raving mad. Brilliant. Alright, thanks for that, Birdmaster. Let's go back and get our wand, shall we? And maybe with the new wand, we can actually open the chest. Uh, yeah, I can access Oliver in here as well, right? But he can't put on the... Uh... Cool. We'll figure it out later. I'm sure that gold will be flowing aplenty soon enough. That uh, milk item that we had sold for a lot of money though the 10 mp that we get from it i don't know does that is that like a permanent maybe that was like a permanent ad i don't know i don't know why it's sold for so much money i think it was just like a, a, a mana potion maybe those are just hard to come by not entirely sure but oh i should have spoke to the woman as well i forgot to speak to the woman oh this isn't going to throw me into the sewers is it or anything weird no you wouldn't Dude, if this kicks me out of the kingdom and I can't get back to get my stamps for that, that woman, I'm going to be raging. Oh, what? What's happening here? There's a man holding a staff looking anxious and I don't see the king. Do I want to go and do the woman's stamp thing now? No, we'll trust, we'll trust, we'll trust. A part of me thinks I should go back to the woman first, but we'll just talk to this guy and see what happens. No, oh, shoot, thank goodness something terrible has happened. Don't tell me old king has gone and... Got his heart broken again. No, his majesty's heart is in good working order as far as I know. After he restored it, he's missing and uh, restored the missing enthusiasm. He was determined to find his old wand so that he could give it to you. So determined, in fact, that he would go and look for it himself. Then he disappeared. Great. A spot of investigating, eh? Righto, helmet face. You and your mates keep an eye on the castle. We're going to look for clues. Go back and get the stamps, says Diesel Kid. Where are we going, Mr. Drippy, and what's that? Uh, what's this about somewhere I know real well? Clever Clogs Motorville. What? You got to remember the whole soulmate thing, innit? 
we uh, what we see here in this world ain't always the whole picture. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are you here in our world, eh? To save my mum. Exactly. Your mum is the great sage Alicia's soulmate, right? And we're trying to free Alicia from the soul snare over by here so we can help your mum back over there. Sure. And I wasn't fibbing, so people in your world and my world are connected, not just Alicia and your mum. All people. Exactly. There's someone over in your world who's connected to King Tom over by here. So we have to go and find the cat man of our world, I guess. Shopkeeper's cat and King, Dong, uh, and King of Dong, Ding Dong Dell ain't exactly similar status-wise. Oh, the shopkeeper's the woman who came to look after us when our mum passed, and there was a cat, wasn't there? Flippin' it, man. It's like pulling teeth. Okay. Yeah, okay, Timmy Tundrum. So the cat, the shopkeeper's cat in our world is also the king of this realm. We need to do the gateway spell. So before I go, will the game let me go back to the... We'll grab this quickly. Hey, Dumpster, what's up, bro? Welcome, welcome. So we're not getting our special wand yet, but we should be able to get this at the moment. I could also go and do some other things out in the world, or we could just follow the main stuff, I don't know. Three slices of sweet pie and 50 guilders. And here's our three stamps as well. Bargarino. So if I were to go into here, this one's underway. Vegetable thief. We could go get the sword. Um, I kind of want to go and try that. Before we do the gateway thing. I don't know if I can do the gateway whatever as well. I think you might have to be in a certain place to do that. What does... Is, do I have like a main... Does my main quest... Does that... The Missing King search Morville for Timmy the Cat. Yeah, I don't know if I can just do the gateway spell wherever I want. Does this guy give me my stamps? Nope. Okay, let's see if we can go and get a sword quickly. And just do this before we go and do the gate and then that way I can kind of get an idea of how this thing works. So... Vegetable Thief. Stealing produce from the farmer's fields outside of town. It has to be dealt with quickly. It's nearly harvest time. So how do I know where that is? Is it literally outside the town? I don't see any fields. There's nothing identifiable as like... Hmm... I don't really want to get caught up in like tons of fights at the minute. Uh, can I do gateway here? Maybe we'll just go back to Morville. Hmm. Yeah, I got no directions for where to go there. I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Hello. I'm the fucking wizard of the realm, bitch. You better fucking stop. <laughs> Don't you follow me down the road, I swear. Hi. It fucking moves you a little bit as well. Go on, try and drive past, I dare you. Ha! I'm the king of the realm. Alright, you can go. Just kidding. On you go. Just kidding. Okay, right, sorry. Let's focus. I had 100k channel points, so glad that they are worth something, Kappa. You can kindly stuff those delightfully up your rear passage, Diesel Kid. Actually, there's something you can do for me right now. I need the cat. Where's the cat? Yeah, yeah, track down Timmy, blah, 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 find the cat. Okay, cool. We don't have to listen to all this, do we? Jesus. Did I tell you these fucking RPGs, man? I feel like the I feel like they could deliver some of this information to you in like much shorter text of dialogue than than the game kind of does. Like on one hand, it's kind of nice because it's realistic, right? If you were to have a conversation with the shopkeeper about our cat, she would probably be, uh, you know, pretty helpful. She'd want to know why you're looking for it. She'd want to know how you're doing and how you're doing now that your mum's dead and stuff. But in terms of like the video game world, it's like 10, 10 lines to tell me to go find the cat outside is like, bruh. Hmm. Because the thing is, if they didn't write enough, it would be weird. But then if they do too much, I complain anyway, so I don't know. It's not really complaining, it's more like... 
an observation. We haven't looked in your house yet, uh, have we, Ellie boy? I'll run over and check out now, uh, Mr. Drippy. Oh, he couldn't see the ghost, maybe. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry we're all alone, or you're all alone. Your mum? How do you know about that? When my mum died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would be all alone. But now, now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. I wanted to ask you, the wand and the one I found, did you leave it for me? Without it, I could never have gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if it hadn't been for the wand, I'd still be all alone. Really, really? Really, really? Hope, uh, hooray, I hope I can, I hope you can help you save your mum. Thanks, but who are, who, are, who are you and how do you know my name? What was the colour of our mum's hair? Was our mum's hair green as well? Hmm, I wonder who she is. Maybe she's our mum from the past, from the future. Her name is P. Hi, P. I've always known you. Your name is P, huh? Can I call you Piss for short? Uh, his name is Timmy Toldrum. He's got stripes all over and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty, I know him. I'll take you to him, Oliver. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? Ollie boy, no sounds of fa the fatty the old mog. I might just know where to find them. Follow me. I'm going to follow Casper. Also known as Piss Stain. Also known as P. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming, Vial of Urine. <laughs> Sorry. I had 100k channel points. So glad there was something. Oh, you guys are... Oh, you guys are both 100k? Or are you just winding me up, dumpster? Wolfie just doesn't want to read. No, I do. I just don't want to read massive quantities of absolute drivel trust me i'll read the important stuff but i mean if we're doing a side quest here to find a fucking cat so that i can talk to the king so i can get the wand that's like bro when i meet the ninth character down the chain of npc dialogue quests i've got a little bit less patience i'm sure p here is a little bit more important than the cat but oh bro you can tell what kind of character p is she's the clueless nice character that is obviously important but mysterious She's just going to say a bunch of weird shit. Okay. Hi. This is my piss den. Shh. What's that? Squeak, squeak. Uh-oh. The mouse. Is there someone... Something through there? Is there? Kitty cat attack. Incoming. Oh my god, the mouse has kicked the shit out of the cat. Pull yourself together, man. Looks like we better take him back to Leela, ain't it? Thank you for showing us piss. Oh, she's gone. Jack, if there's only if there's one thing any of us know, you'll never be happy, XD. No, well, you're in the chat anyway, Sushi. That's for sure. No, I'm not. I don't. I don't feel like I've got high standards, guys. I just. I don't know. If the game was really good, I talk about how it's really good. And if there's something that bothers me, I mention it. That's just how it goes. We're just critiquing as we go. I give you my thoughts. Sometimes I'm a little bit impatient. I will give you that, but. We're just getting started, and this is obviously a game that's... I feel like this game is in the tay when it was released. It's mostly aimed at kids, or for adults to play with kids, or for adults who like this kind of fantasy setting, I guess. I am the one who knocks. Um, I feel like there's a lot of clicking going on. Just classic JRPG dialogue. Bog standard. Walls and walls of people talking shit. Okay. Hi. There's uh, Timmy. There he is. Oh, goodness. Mr. Timmy Toldrum. Whatever happened to you? Don't worry. He's still alive. Barely. Thank you, Dee Dee. You brought him all the way back here to Mum. Wasn't he heavy? No, not really. Is he okay? Don't worry about Timmy, Oliver. It's nothing serious. He's just a little tired, aren't you, Timmy, dear? It doesn't take much to tire out a big old boy like you, does it? Smookums? Smoochums? Is that all? I was worried flipping sick about him. But what was Timmy doing all the way down at the garage? Who fucking cares, mate? We got the cat. Now give me the goddamn wand. She said that Rusty's garage is crawling with mice. Yeah, we saw, yeah. And dear Timmy Toldrum just loves to chase the little devils. <laughs> Timmy chased mice, but he's so fu Thank you so much, Oliver, dear. Now I know where he's disappeared to. I can't stop worrying about him. He was getting a little exercise, weren't you, my Timmy Toldrum? I guess I could have learned a thing or two from you, huh? Too flipping right. Wow, was that a... F Jesus Christ. When I actually stopped to read the dialogue, I'm seeing how brutal it is. She just said he was down there getting exercise and then she said, I guess I could learn a thing or two from you. And then <laughs> the guy, the fairy guy, whatever his fucking name is, he was like, yeah, damn right you could. He basically just called her a fat bitch. What the hell? 
Holy fuck, there's no there's no chill here. And you, Didi, just let me know if there's anything you need now, won't you? So that was like, what, ten lines to say, here's your cat back. You've worked it out, I expect, ain't it, Ollie boy? Come on, man, Timmy disappeared because he ran off chasing a mouse, didn't he? So the mouse is the clue, ain't it? Got it. Exactly what has to do with mice in the hole is a whole nother question, though. I'm sure I've heard someone saying something about mice over in our world. We should go back to Ding Dong to investigate. So because the cat in our world was uh, chasing mice, then obviously the cat, the king cat, has been affected by mice in some way. Maybe even chasing mice themselves. Can I do my gateway spell? I don't actually have to... Okay. I can just cast it whenever I don't actually have to go to the plaza area. <laughs> Drippy has zero chili, apparently. Okay, we're back. So now we have to go in. I don't know where this is, guys. We've got this, the vegetable thief. A gruffian keeps stealing produce from the farmer's fields outside of town. It has to be dealt with quickly. I don't know where that is. Is it up on the right-hand side, up on the cliff? Is there anything up there? I don't see any... Oh, there's something up on the mountains. I'm going to try and avoid all these douchebags. <laughs> hey, Sama, what's up? What's this? Plains warped flower. Oh, that's some, that's something I was supposed to get as well, right? Uh, plains worth, fetch two plains worth flowers and two bottles of spring water. Well, we got one of our flowers, coincidentally. And it did say it was southeast, so... That's cool, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's send in wee prick. Sure. Should have probably killed. Yeah, the bird is weak to us, so that's pretty strong. I mean, one of his first lines is, what, just because your mum dropped dead? Yeah, that's true. That is a bit savage. Wee prick's almost overtaken us in level, dude. The student has become the master. <gasps> could this be another one of those flowers? Or could this be spring water? Oh, bottle of spring water indeed. Okay, so I got one of those. Is there? Is it worth me going up onto the cliffside here? Is there anything up there? I guess we just do a little tour and see if we come across some other items along the way. Maybe I'm looking for spe a specific enemy to defeat. I don't know. Is he going to catch me? Oh, mother of god. I guess you have to just whip round and fight them then. Oh, both of them are involved. Are they both going to attack me? Oh, you guys suck. They just get, like, free hit chance, do they? Oh, and you don't get an opportunity to... Oh, yeah, they just go straight for you as well, okay. You don't, when you're getting ambushed, you don't start with your guy out either. You start with yourself. Okay. Okay, cool. Down we go, I guess. <laughs> you got in the way, dude. Oi, Sama. I think for the quest you have to just kill one of the doggos. Okay, okay. I'll keep an eye out for one of those. Heals? Nice. Okay, okay. Nice, that's what I like to hear, man. Feels good. Um. Okay, so I guess we just... Oh, is there someone in here? Hidden by the bushes. Oh, here's a dog here. A rough. Pew, pew, pew. We're really strong now. Sweet. I can't imagine what easy mode is like. Maybe on easy mode you just take like zero damage. Does that count? Uh, oh. Oh no, it's this one. It's a Gruffian. I don't know. I'll try and keep an eye out for a Gruffian. No, uh, leave me alone. Fuck it. We'll turn into it. Watch this. Pew, pew, pew. 
Oh. He just tried to fucking put me to sleep, the little shithead. Okay. Here's another item up here. Is that going to be more of those weed things? Bunch of booster shots. Is that is that it out there, perhaps? Or is that one of the dino? No, maybe not, actually. I said the items I need were going to be southeast, but maybe I'll have to reset the area. Maybe I just go in and out until they appear. If I was to go into the kingdom and come back, I wonder if it would spawn up in the rocks again. Let's have a quick glance. Oh, is that the dog there? Up on the top right? I don't know what that thing is. Please don't annoy me. Oh my god. The enemies are so fast, you just can't outrun them. But then I guess when we get the new boot the new boots. We can do this. Alright, I'll have to take some hits here, unfortunately. Alright. Fuck off, mate. Grab that. We did it! Sometimes I see Drippy in the background of the combat and I'm like, oh no, there's another enemy, but it's just him. Tender beef. Is this could this count as the enemy I need to these surely these don't count as the enemy I need to fight. Oh I got a back attack. What? Did he run away? That's an infant. Always oh, goes back to us. Hmm. Interesting. Nito. Neo, Neo must have been a thing that was cool at one point that just never caught on. I've never heard that ever being used ever. I've heard about Neat, obviously. Hey, that's Neat. But Neo is like an extension of that. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say Neo in my life. Neato! Might adopt that in my, uh, my terminology for life. I'm gonna use that tomorrow with Mrs. Wolfie and see if she gets annoyed. I'll just keep using it over and over again. Okay, so now that that's all done, uh, do I need to hand in, see these completed tasks? I just get the stamps immediately, right? So I don't even need to. Southeast of Ding Dong Dale in the Summerlands. Oh, maybe, uh, do I have a map? I guess not. Okay, we've been playing this for a long time. We haven't really made a shit ton of progress. Where are we going? Oh, to the sewers. Yeah. Okay. We got some of the bits and bobs. Just gonna wander past all these... Uh... Oh, hello. Oh, do I need you again? Yeah. The mice and the, and the cats don't get along, you see. If King Tom's been kidnapped. Oh. Incoming Lost Boys? Question mark. Look at that, a flipping familiar. Well, I never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods and he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. Fighting with familiars is flipping hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard like Ollie. Okay, Oliver, you can have him. Oh, he's got a name. Lamal. <laughs> Did I even need to change that? It sounds like Lamal. Lamal. Okay. Lamal. Indeed. Uh, LMA. Lamal. Hey, Lamal. We'd better head down there, huh? So we've got wee prick in Lamal. Perfect. Uh, you can get like the new familiar of yours to psych up. What does that mean? It means you can build up sort of strength for a bit. So you can give baddies a proper whacking like. Okay. Give them a whack when you're getting ready to try one. Blah, blah, blah. Psych up can't defend for toffee. It just ain't in the nature of the feisty little blighters. 
Okay, I have no idea what he just said to me, but let's have a look and see. Uh, he's a Thumblemer. Tricks with his Psychup actually do. Uh, sharpener. Secret incantation boosts the attack of a single ally. Yeah, can I... Pebble Pill. How do I... Why won't it let me see Psych Up? Why, why is it stuck to Sharpener? I want to see, like... I want to see Psych Up as, a, as an option, but it, it literally won't let me... Fuck, dude. I don't know. I was trying to see. I guess it just boosts you. He's just finished telling me, but, like, there was so much... Yammerings of Pish going on. Okay, we'll give this guy the leafy mano. What is he anyway? What kind of type is he? Uh, oh, I wish that would not make that noise. Blamal, you're getting put in straight in the bin. Oh yeah, so he's a star. So he beats he beats the sun, right? And Moon would beat the star. Okay. All right, fuck it. We'll figure it out as we go. Hey, a monkey cat. Nino. Yeah, monkey cat indeed. Looks like the gate's locked, but the king's down here. We don't have the key. Uh oh. Do we spring lock? Here we go. Aloha Mora. You can probably use it during a fight. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, for sure. You can use that spell and lock chest as well, by the way. If you find any blue chest lying around, you can cast Spring Lot and plunder away to your heart's content. Okay, got it. Unfortunately, I don't have a good wand yet, but that will allow me to open green chests, I think. Or purple chests. We can only open up to blue at the minute. Ding Dong Well, where a pussycat once fell. This place looks cool. Crikey, it's damp as anything down here. My lantern uh, goes all mouldy if I don't... Uh, it will go all mouldy if I don't watch out. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Are you just coming up to fight me? Look lively, Ollie boy. There's a monster coming your way. Let's deal with it quickly and go for the king. Neato, he shouts as we run into battle. So let's see. How long do I get to choose... Uh, so I've got a... Uh, let's try our new guy. So he should be good on the rabbit. Or the rabbit. At least double familiars, double the fun. And double the possibilities. To swap between your familiars, just push L1. And pick them with L2. And uh, uh, L2 and R2. Yeah, already done that, mate. Simple enough. Even you can get it. Tidy. So the rabbit should be weak to this guy. Wait, did I get that wrong? We're doing like no damage. A secret incantation that boosts the attack of a single ally. If we are the star, shouldn't we do a lot of damage to the- Oh, maybe because it's level 1? Uh, maybe we don't want Rabbit Boy in the, in the fray. Uh, let's swap you back out because I think if he dies, we die, so... I guess the enemies down here are just really, uh... Wait, how do I... I'm gonna die here, I don't know how to use... I don't know how to use uh, potions. We're gonna die here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use potions! My little shit rabbit got us fucked up! Well, that's, a, that's upsetting. We almost got it! We almost got it. I could have made him run to get health, but I tried at the last second and we were kind of fucked. Damn it. So where does that put me back to? You will lose 10% of your money. Oh, okay. I quite like that. I like that there's like a penalty for... Jesus Christ. So you get this, you get this new fucking douchebag, but he's like level 1? So I guess you just have to use this one until he... until he improves, I guess. How, how was I able to... Can I only use medicine when I am using Ollie? Is that how it works? So I'm sending out you, and you're going to attack... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, let's kill you first. Because the sun beats the moon. Or at least it should, anyway. Okay, how do I... Uh... Can I do it like this? Oh yeah, so I can use provisions if I'm like... Okay. Let's just fireball the whole ship. I don't think I can send the monkey in. I think it will just die. I think we have to get him some levels. We'll get him some levels and then use him later, I guess. Oh, there was health on the floor and I never picked up. Oops. There we go. Now we're going full Pokemon. Lamau. You're going to have to win back some respect, my guy. I didn't realise I couldn't heal with... Uh... I didn't realise I couldn't heal with Oliver. And that's the that's the thing I'm talking about with games like this. Like, w like some of this is turn-based in the sense that it stops here, right? And then sometimes... Sometimes it's not. Like, when I was in trouble there, I was panicking because you can push it at one to swap, but when you're in the attack menu down here, it feels like they just attack... Yeah, they, they attack you. Now, I've got the, the moment of opportunity here, so they don't attack me back immediately, but... Get the health. Can we get the health? Nice. Hmm. Maybe I can use provisions when the film is out, but I don't think so. I would need to swap back to Ollie. Um, what I think I need to do then is before we go into certain fights, we just tough to use items, right? What we got here? 100 HP. We don't quite need that much. 30 HP. That's better. Uh, what else have we got here? That is equipped, right? What we got here? Ice cream evasion increase. Can I... Does any of this get used on Ollie? These are all treats for the for the, for the familiars, right? This guy's got attack and reg he's still regular attack over magic. There's not really any magic users. His evasion is 24. It's hard to com compare though, because I think his, this guy's special abilities will become more apparent when we get him the same level as uh, Lil Prick. I really wish it never made that noise. I wish I could turn that off. It's so fucking annoying. Um, okay, can I? Magic defense. Accuracy, accuracy times two. Ice cream for invasion. I probably want to give these to some of my guys, but I just don't know why I won't. Let's give a uh, sweet pie to this guy at the minute. His accuracy is already pretty good, but what does that do for me? Okay, one point. Let's give him one more, just to get him um, bolstered, I guess. Nice. Is that fullness bar permanent, I guess? Hmm. Magic defense, I could give him this. To try and get him full. Is that gonna reach? It does. Okay. We're probably gonna be using that guy to fight most of the time anyway. Can I get a back hit on this guy? Nope. Hey, I return with food, nice Jess. I think I've fed myself, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's send out you. My monkey will be good enough here if I can get it some levels. It'll, it'll be special effective against these enemies. Oh, we're poisoned. This is a good, uh... This is a good moment to see if our poison will continue after we leave a fight. I need to be I need to, like... Program my brain to, like, run and pick up gear. And money drops and stuff, health drops after the fight is over, because I keep forgetting about that. So there's nothing here, just the dead end with an enemy. Dead end there. Sure. 
Yeah, I keep forgetting I can move in the fight because I'm standing still all the time. Maybe that's my mistake. What did you get to eat, Jesse? Nigel. Let's do it. Here go. Jesse, are you eating Tim Hortons again? Oh, we kicked the shit out of him. Nito! Nito! What was it that we said in Nino Kuni 2 when we won a fight? There was something that our character would shout. I can't remember what it was. We occasionally shouted Leander and the like. Okay. What we got? A bottle of iced coffee. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, the MP region and stuff, right? And this enemy respawns as a... Dude, is that how responsive the enemies are to respawning? You just go off the screen and then they come back? That could get a bit annoying. I wonder if it's time to get Monkey Boy out. Maybe we got one more level. Meatballs and broccoli was tempted to get tea or coffee from Tim's, but I haven't quit yet, or I haven't quit yet. Nice. Okay. Lamal reached level four. That's what I like to hear. So let's have another bit of bread. Keep us, keep us going here. We gotta be careful. We will end up dying if we're. Do I even have to fight this thing? I don't, but I do get an advantage. So if this is a... Oh, there's two in the fight, is there? Watch this. So, hold on. Uh, against the moon, I probably want Tadley Wink first. Here we'll kill Tadley. Kill this guy. And then we're going to swap and we're going to send out the monkey. Lamal, come on, you got this. Oh, his attacks are fast. Sharpener. Psych up, what does that do? Go wild. I missed what Sharpener does. We did it. I think it just like powers them up but then means they can't defend. So it's like a trade-off. I guess you just let them go crazy and then... Yeah. Okay. Onwards. It's a very pleasant and mysterious area to be in, it's pretty cool. Just keep fighting. Only had about three hours of sleep, so I'm dying. Why were you up so late, Jesse? What were you up to? Uh, so if I go to Oliver, I should be able to... Holy fuck, dude. I'm getting blasted here. You really have to kind of, you kind of have to like, think ahead on like what you're doing. Like so here, I need to change back and I think I have to like use another heal. So is, does Go Wild mean that I can't control it? But if I run about, I can. Okay. I think that's what it means. Hey, Sentinel Cron, what a wolfie in chat. How we all doing? Hey, Sentinel, what's up, man? Welcome. Uh, the reason I only had three hours sleep is Jesse. Well, first I was playing games till like two. Then I still wasn't tired, so I worked on some art that in, which distracted me to half five. And by that point, I just said, fuck it, and finished the art, leading me up till about eight. <laughs> oh, I kind of know where you're coming from, Jesse. I couldn't sleep last night either. I've been having that weird kind of, um, like I'm in this weird spot right now with my streams where I will wake up and as soon as I wake up, I will have food. And as, uh, as soon as I've eaten the food, I will jump on stream. And then we stream for like, you know, six to eight hours, depending on how we're doing. Sometimes we do less. Like yesterday, we had a really short stream. Then by that point, it gets to like, you know, 10, 11 p.m., sometimes later. I'll manage to catch some of my mates in Discord for like an hour, then they all go to their bed like normal humans because they have lives. And then I'm just sitting there at 1am thinking, 
What the fuck did I do with myself? Mrs. Wolfie's asleep. The house is freezing cold. It's pitch black outside. And I'm like, hmm. So the last couple of nights I've been doing stuff like I went out a walk once. I've been doing some workouts. I tried last night to get my editing software to work. I then did a bunch of research trying to find good music that is like copyright free. So I was making like a playlist. I listened to Spotify for a long time. I listened to a new album by Abstract as well. I was kind of sitting listening to that in my bed. But I was, uh, yeah, it gets to like 7am and Mrs. Wolfie's waking up. And when she wakes up fully, she wants to talk to me, but that's when I'm just about to go to sleep. So we're just literally like ships in the night missing each other every time. But uh, yeah. Took a nap and here's hoping I can sleep tonight. Sounds familiar, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know guys, it's really, uh, it's really strange. It's a weird spot to be in. I like getting up and starting the stream around about like 4pm because I feel like that's when a lot of you guys are around, which is nice. But uh, finishing the stream at like 1am and having like nobody to hang out with is kind of miserable. I'm normally quite good at like chilling on my own. I'm not someone who, I don't know, I like to think that I, like I'm quite, I'm someone who's always been quite comfortable by themselves, I feel, because I've got a lot of things to keep me busy. There's a lot of things that I can do in my own time that like I'm fairly chill with, but if you do it for like many, many days, many, many weeks, it does start to get a bit like, this is kind of miserable. I don't know if the lack of vitamin D and things like that also affect me too, because obviously there is no chance I'm getting any sunlight. In Scotland right now, by about 8am, 9am, it's, you know, it's kind of light outside, and then the sun is gone by like 4pm, it's, it's getting dark by 5pm, pitch black after that. So there's really not a lot of sunlight available and I'm sleeping through most of it, so I wonder if that's kind of knackering me a little bit as well. On the bright side, HGTV airs some of the best shows around 4 till 6 a.m. I don't know what HGTV is, Jesse, but I'm guessing that must be like a Canadian thing. What is that like for anime or something? Be careful with the schedule, mate. Your relationship with Mrs. Wolfie is more important than we are. It is important to try to match schedules when you can. Thanks, Diesel. I appreciate you saying that. No, Mrs. Mrs. Wolfie's totally fine with it. Um, as far as I'm aware. She likes having peace and quiet. She likes having the bed to herself as well. So if I was like, if I was there during the day, I'd probably just annoy her all the time. But she would let me know if she was unhappy about it, trust me. But thank you. I saw the sun this morning. It was a nice change because you were up doing art stuff, Jesse. Is that right? I saw you doing commission stuff for your friends, Jesse, that was like, not even commissions, I guess, because you were doing, you said you do artwork for them for free. I think I saw you talking on Twitter about it. That's cool, man. It's good of you to do that. Talking about sleep, I should get some sleep, says Fractin. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Fractin, for being here. Much love, my guy. Take it easy. I feel like in the next... Oh, guys, like, the month of December shouldn't really be... <coughs> the month of December shouldn't be that stressful, but I feel like it is. I feel like there's so much stuff that I... I've convinced myself I should do. And... There, it's things like that will benefit me in the long run, like make videos, uh, videos for myself, videos for you guys, make videos to put on YouTube, stream Digimon at Christmas Eve and things like that. I don't know, I still don't know what I'm going to do with, with Digimon at Christmas Eve. I'm, I'm tempted to start a brand new Digimon playthrough uh, from the beginning and then start building that moving forward because I'm missing some of the VODs for the beginning of the playthrough. So for those that don't know, on Christmas Eve, uh, for the past like three years, past two three years we've played some Digimon World 1 and uh, it's normally quite fun we started it one year and then the next year we continued on with the slot like literally 365 days later I never touched the save file but we started it again one year later and it's a nice thing to do if I had all the footage to that I would have this lovely archive of videos you know one year at a time a year apart these these short VODs where it's like Christmas Eve Christmas Eve Christmas Eve and we could play through the Digimon game, but I'm pretty sure I have lost... I am pretty sure I've lost one of the files. I think I think it's either the first year or the second one. I think I had a bunch of trouble with, uh, with copyright on some of the sound alerts. And so it just deleted the video entirely. Or if it didn't delete the video, it muted the video. And I just deleted it. And I'm kind of sad that I lost that. Because I would love to like put those up on YouTube. Um, 
as like a recurring theme. So I was thinking about maybe what we do is we start again this year and then start building them up again. And then maybe in like five years time, we'll have like five years of Christmas Digimon time. I also don't know if I want to start that either. Like we could do something else on Christmas Eve as well. I don't know. Something I was thinking about. Hey, Sir Henny, welcome back. Um, I fell asleep. How's it going? You all right? Start a new tradition. Community games. Community games could be okay. There's a lot of effort involved in community games, though, that I, I don't know if you guys realise. Like, community games are a nice idea, but I would need to find new ones every year. I would need to, like, get you guys in to the calls, which is okay and not impossible, and I would be up for it, but... It gets a bit messy when there's lots of people wanting to get in or no one wanting to get in. If we if we try and if we say we're gonna do that and then nobody's there, it's a bit weird. Whereas if I just say, okay, here's the plan, we're gonna do Digimon, you guys can be there if you want. It's it's just easier for me. I know it sounds a bit like I'm not willing to make an effort, but it's like I'm already doing the stream, if that makes sense. And it's kind of nice sometimes just being like, okay, I'm driving the car, you guys are here if you want to be, that's just the dealio. I don't know. If I did more, maybe what I need to do is in the future, maybe we could do more community game days or evenings or something. And once I get comfortable doing that, then we can open it up to doing like, I don't know, like Christmas evening or Christmas Eve like community games or something. We've done we've done community games in the past, like it's not like I'm I'm not... It's not that I'm not against it's not that I'm against doing them because we played some tabletop simulator on stream with J Bob, Roxas, Lawless and Co. That was pretty fun. Um again, like Roxas and J Bob are from my D D group, so I I already like and I and I know Lawless from real life, so those guys are all kind of like already like um like disclosure checked if you like. Like these are the people like I trust bringing on the stream. But if we start bringing you guys on one at a time, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's a nice idea, but... Oh, you mean the absolute horror that was my misunderstanding of my friend requests, uh, yet it's the Christmas gift this year because I'm poor. What do you mean by the absolute horror of that was my misunderstanding of my friend's request? Jesse, I don't understand what you mean there. You're going to have to explain that from, this, from the beginning. I didn't catch all of it. I just saw that you guys were talking about art and you said that you were doing art for people as like a... A thing for you said I'm poor and so I'm gonna give away like tradition oh, I'm gonna give away commissions as like a, a gift. <laughs> Serenity says and again he shoots down another fabulous idea by SJ. No no I get it. It's not uh, if it's not Arams you're not interested. It's uh I don't know. I feel like that like communi some community games might require a lot of effort. And I would be down for doing it at some point, but it is it has been tradition for the past two years that we do Digimon World and that is where we kind of started our channel. So it's a nice kind of throwback. It's not exactly for everyone, but it is um it's a nice relaxing, like kind of chill out time. Which is what I think Christmas Eve should be. But Sentinel Cron, you said likewise, Wilfie. I've always preferred going solo, it's lonesome and against social protocol, but some people are just fuck. You, uh, fuck knows, I like my own company. The missus has always understood that too, which is great. Yeah. It just depends who you are as a person, Sentinel, and if, if... And this goes to everybody else who's in this discussion, I guess. It just depends what you're used to, and if you have a relationship with someone who understands that about you, and maybe you are even well-suited, maybe the person likes their own space as well. That's how me and Mrs. Wolfie roll for the most part. Like, Mrs. Wolfie loves her own space. And sometimes she wants to, you know, sometimes she wants to hang out. She'll be like, yo, I've not seen you in like two days. Let's watch a movie tonight. Uh, and then sometimes I'll be like, hey, can I, can, do you want to go out a walk? And she'll be like, no, leave me alone. I'm enjoying my Saturday morning playing The Sims. Just leave me. And I'm like, okay, sure. That's, that's cool, boss. But, uh, yeah. It's just, it just depends. Like some people have different, different relationships and stuff. And if you're, you know, if you're with someone who understands that, then you're in a good relationship, I think. But, yeah. Jesse says, okay, so here we go. <laughs> Serenity says, pfft, waste, did you want question mark? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing, Serenity. Like, I know some of these games sound really miserable to you, and I get that. And I'm sorry that, like, you know, unfortunately we can't, like, appease everyone. Um, but we did build, like, a lot of our 
channel and our community is built upon Digimon content. Um, and although you're not really into that and you haven't seen much Digimon content, that's kind of predominantly what I started doing on, on YouTube and that's how we started streaming. And then we transitioned across to Twitch. So Digimon plays a big part of like our community, even though we haven't played a Digimon game in quite some time. It's just the way it goes. Jessie says, okay, so about two weeks ago she finally told me what she wanted for the artwork and then a bit later said also if the idea doesn't work uh, if that idea doesn't work also if that idea doesn't work can I think of something else? I had read this message and my brain skipped the word if so I thought she didn't want that anymore. Oh, so she said okay do this and if it doesn't work out just do something else but you didn't see the if so you just were like oh fuck it I'll do my own thing. When it came up, I scrolled up to find the message and read it again twice, and every time I've missed the word if, the whole time I thought she wanted something else. So Jesse, have you have you been designing something, Jesse, for someone that's not what they originally asked for? But surely surely she wouldn't mind about that, Jesse, right? Like if you just said there's been a misunderstanding, I didn't see your message properly, and I've given you this instead, and they drew you some art. Like if someone said that to me, like Hey, I've done this for you, it's not what you asked, but like, this is, I, I misunderstood, here's this. Unless it was like for a business transaction, like if it was just a gift, Jesse, I don't think your friend's going to be in a position to complain about that, surely. Right? Digimon playthrough on YouTube is how I found you, it's quite nostalgic for me, Digimon. It's quite nostalgic for me, Digimon loved it as a kid, yeah. Me too, Senano. I feel kind of, like, it's kind of weeby and it's weird and it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do feel like that is like our... I do feel like that is like our uh, kind of hallmark showcase. That's why I'm excited for like newer Digimon stuff in the in the future. It's kind of cool. But no, no, I was waiting for a. Uh, I was waiting. A letting. I was waiting to let her figure out something she wanted. But this whole time, I could have been working on it. Oh, so it was the opposite, Jesse. You hadn't been doing. You hadn't been making any progress. So it was about breakdown of communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude, there's nothing worse. I feel like I give too much information sometimes when I'm talking to people about things. Like, I feel like I give them walls of text. Like, Jesse, you can maybe vouch for this, I don't know. I don't know how bad I was when I was asking you to do stuff, but I felt like I was giving you... Sometimes you can just say, like, if you're requesting something from someone or you're giving them a job, you can just do it in, like, one line. If you're not detailed enough, they're gonna botch it or it's not gonna be as, like, clear as what you want. But then sometimes if you write too much, it's got the same effect where it's like, you give someone like 10 tips and they don't read any of it. I don't know. <laughs> it happens though, it happens, Jesse. I'm sure your friend will be okay with it though. Especially again, as I said, you're doing it as like a gift, right? We Prick has reached level 7. Congrats, we Prick. Serenity, if you're wanting a, a, a welcome back to where we are in the game, we're in the sewers of Ding Dong Dell. We're supposed to go to the right, I believe, but I might take a left here. See if there's any items along at the end of this pathway. Let's do it. We're kind of getting blasted here as well. Like, some of these enemies are, like, kicking our ass. Naja. The reason I'm killing this first is because it... In fact, let's just do, uh... Let's do, let's do cut loose here. Okay. Let's get monkey boy out. Does that take time? Go wild. Okay. Kitty cat cat. You called it wee prick? Yeah. Do you like it? I've got wee prick and the other one's called Lamau. Or LMAO, which means laughing my ass off. Because his name was like Lemur Cat or something. My son is just about to turn two and I have him watching old school Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon shit I loved as a kid. <laughs> I always thought I would do that as a, as a dad as well, if I ever was to become a dad. I feel bad for my child in advance, but I always told myself I'd be like, yeah, dude, as soon as they're, as soon as they're ready to identify what TV is, I'm going to blast that fucking, get them right on the Inuyasha hype train. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, dude, please don't be two people in this fight. Okay, it's just one. That's fine. Watch this. You didn't think, say, Bob or something would have been better? What's wrong with, what's wrong with Wee Prick? Wee Prick is great. Alright, psych up. 
Go wild. Okay, that missed, thank god. We did it. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about being here. Although the XP we're getting here is pretty pish. Healing touch. Fingertip alive. Superhuman touch. I do that with my friends, never mind if I had a kid. <laughs> Thing is, if you have a little child, you can kind of, can kind of control it. You'll be like, "Listen, Daddy says you have to watch this. Get it fucking consumed now." It must be quite good. Like the thing is, like some people might think, some people might think it's silly, but I know that there's there's probably a lot of kids out there that would love their dad to sit down and watch TV shows with them, or at least take an interest and say, "Hey, I'm sure there's a lot of." Kids out there that are like, oh no, dad, listen, I don't want to watch this again, please. Don't make me watch that one with the Pokemon again. Those monsters and the red balls. <laughs> but then there's probably a lot of kids out there that are like, dad, please come and watch this with me. Please take an interest in me. So it's awesome, Sentinel, that you have that bond with your with your kid. I know your kid will appreciate it in later life, for sure. Right, well, Jack's not allowed to have kids confirmed. We Wait. I wouldn't call my kid wee prick. Just my, uh, just my familiars. Go on, mate. Psych up. Go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Lemur boy's alright. I think he needs a couple more levels, though. He takes a lot of punishment in the beginning. He takes too long to ramp the psych up move. These stats could be really helpful. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen in here, but assuming that we're not fully through the dungeon yet. Oh my god, that is a giant cat. Statue. Oh, we encountered this before, didn't we? This exact same statue is in Nino Kuni 2. Don't you have to like fill it up with water? Might be worth trying to light these. It's hella damp in here though, the flames won't last long. Oh, I think I remember this. Is the fire through here? No. Um. Can I do fireball? Oh, here we go. What happens if you don't have the mana to do this? Like, what would you do there if you just don't have the MP? There's no healing thing here, is there? Well, you think that, but my attempts at steering the child towards Buffy have been an absolute failure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> here, Heather, watch Buffy. Mum, no, please. Not again. I've never actually seen much Buffy, but Mrs. Wolfie always talks about watching it at some point. Maybe that'll be a future endeavour. We prick with cut loose is all you'll ever need. I'm worried about, like, the fact that I can't heal we Prick when I'm in familiar mode. Like, the fact I can't heal my familiars is... Like, I can send out we Prick, right? And I can do Cutlass. But how do I get my MP back? Get that. There we go. Well done, Lamal. Look at him. We did it. It's awesome, Wolfie. He loves it. Uh, he loves it a lot. Uh, it misses. Hold on. The missus isn't the biggest fan, but uh, you know, I'm creating a mini version of myself, and I have to be honest. It's great. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Sentinel. Good shit, man. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Like the thing is, as well, guys. This is weird, but some of the some of the moments in my childhood where my dad actually decided to do something out of the blue with me are things that I remember the most. So I know that, like, young people, even though you don't think they're paying attention or that they're dumb or whatever because they're younger, right, I know that sounds harsh, but let's be honest, like, small children are pretty stupid. Um, 
sometimes they remember these things. Like, I, I, I know that Sen and all, I don't think, you know, your kid's going to be able to remember all of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the early stages, but later on in life, he'll remember certain instances, I'm sure. And that's pretty cool. Go wild. I need that HP, please. I'm desperate. I guess I've got some items for, like, mana regen and shit. I'm kind of getting clapped down here, though, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping I'd get a chest. All the enemies are, like, turbo respawning as well, which is kind of fucking annoying. Wait, is that chest respawned? Didn't I just open that? Or did I miss it? I actually don't know. Uh... Well, I have items, I guess. I'll eat one of these. Do I want a nice coffee? It's only 10 MP. It's kind of shit. You need to grab the glimpse as soon as they appear. Yeah, maybe. Come on. I've tend to just let my guys go on autopilot, though. Maybe that's a mistake. Okay, you should attack the moon fucker first, because you kicked the shit out of him. Okay. How much damage do we do to the rabbit? Maybe we should just leave the... <gasps> nice. Sat through hours of Pokemon, she'd better remember that. She probably does. She probably does. This is a quite a tough area when you start out. Even easy games have challenging areas. Yeah. I uh, I died a minute ago, certainly, before you came back, actually. Ooh. I think I can open this now, right? Yeah. A spiral horn. Can I give that to... Can I give that to Lamal? Yes. Lamal has got plus five attack. He's going to be insane now. Come here, you little shithead. Bunny rabbit douchebag. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to ruin this thing. Wait, you see this. Right, the, the, the toad dies first, right? We send out big, strong Lil Prick. We kill him. Oh, mana, mana, mana. Okay, we got it. Right, watch this. You guys want to see fucking power in the workplace? Here we go, psych up. Wait, you see this? Oh, there's the damage that we needed. That fucking one item has made such a difference. We are, we're, we're killing it. There's some more stats as well. What's he going up to now? He's getting three attack. Lamau learned Pebble Pelt. The fuck is that? Oh, does he only have three spots? Oh, he only has thing. Okay, okay. Boost the attack of a single ally. No. Pebble Pelt. A well-aimed Pebble Pelt deals physical damage to a single enemy. Fuck it. He's only got one slot for you, I've just realised. Uh, am I supposed to... Oh, this is where we're on a timer, aren't we? We're gonna... Oh, we're going to set fire to this and then run round and try and make it just like in Nino Kuni 2, right? And that's going to op well, open the gate, maybe? And then we jump back through and hop down, right? Is that how this works? Danny, hi! Danny Bear says, I should be asleep! Danny, you should be asleep, young man. What are you doing here? It's just, it's just literally struck midnight. Your pumpkin will be, uh, or your carriage will be turning back into a pumpkin, mate. Big RPG fan. Myself never played any Nino Kuni. Might have to try. It looks fun, says Sentinel. It's pretty good so far. And it looks really clean because it's been remastered and stuff. So it looks good. I don't know enough about this game to compare it to the second one. But I really did enjoy the second Nino Kuni game. It was pretty good. My uh, cousin used to watch Pokemon with me. I do wonder if he remembers. Bunny Rabbit Douchebag. This is the best Pokemon game. Yup, work out your route first. Do you think so? 
The thing is, the enemies keep respawning. There's a little, yeah, there's a little hop, a little hop spot here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's like multiple. And then background to there. Yeah. And then what, we jump back down. Ease, peas, lemon, squeeze. Oh yeah, the enemies respawning is a bit annoying, but that's okay. Right, fireball, 4 MP. I've got 12, yeah, I've got mana to spare, just barely. I still don't know what the game expects you to do here if you just don't have the MP for this. Like, if you don't have any items, are you just fucked? You'd have to, like, leave and then come back in, right? These fireballs cost a lot of mana. I'm pretty much mana-less at this point. Did that work? Oh, this one's went back out. Shit. Does that work? There we go. Saved. I wasn't supposed to do the first one. You were meant to do that last. Whoop, whoop. I've been lurking, says Danny. Um, that should be the last to be like, yeah, you're right, you're right. Using Jack's soothing voice to whisper you to sleep, question mark? Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, this is where we're going, right? Yeah, I've been lurking but wanted to let you know I'm still alive and kicking. I'm glad, Danny, I'm glad. How have you been? There's a snake up my ass, I've just realised. I'll fight you. You think I won't? You've got an iced coffee if you run out of mana. I do, but like, that's an item I found. What what happens if I didn't have one of those? Right, like, as a player, I, I often think to myself, like, what would the player do if they didn't have any MP here? Go wild. Fuck this little shithead. <gasps> mana, 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 mana. Like, if you got to that and you didn't have any MP, would you have to leave the, the, the dungeon and come back in? Seems a bit strange. I gotta go outside in the cold to go to bed, but being busy with work and trying to blitz AC Valhalla before Cyberpunk. Oh, okay, okay. Hope you've been enjoying that, Danny, my dude. You are a hero, my guy. We miss you, but we hope that you've been well. You'd have to leave the dungeon, go rest at the end and come back, yeah. Oh, here's a dangler fish. Uh, what do I do here? You can kill... Oh no, you're not good against any of these guys, actually. Uh, I guess we kill the dangler f Oh no, dude, I don't know. Maybe we just swap, actually. I don't know what's going to happen here. Psych up. Go wild against... This guy, because he is a star. So, no, actually, he beats this danglerfish. There's big hits. Nice. So now it's just a 1v1. But we have big damage with Lamal. Lamal is insane. Well done, Lamal. You started as a small pebble, but you're growing. We'll make a fucking Charizard out of you yet. I'm so tired that I literally thought there was an IRL snake going up your ass. No, you didn't, Jesse. You didn't. Jesse, you're not that tired, okay? No one's ever been that tired. Stop it. Where do I want to go here? Is this the way I came? That's the way I came. So that's a dead end. I just imagine Jesse trying to panic. Jesse's like mind starts whirling. He's like going through all the motions. He's like, right. And in, in the case of the emergency snake in the ass, what did Jack tell us to do? Ha oh, ha! I know he's prepared us for this. Jesse, hello. These guys always turn round when I'm trying to sneak up on them. What's the deal with that? Watch this. Unfortunately for this guy, Lamal was king. Absolute fucking king, dude. I psych this little bastard up. We go wild. We watch the magic happen. Oh, Lamal, you're insane. 
Yeah, all good here. Take care and I will hopefully catch you soon. Yeah, you too, Danny. Take it easy, man. I hope work's been going well for you, man. We'll talk to you at some point, hopefully soon. It was a genuine thought I had. Jesse, stop it. Listen. Snakes in the butt is not normally a common problem here in Scotland. There's a couple of problems, but snakes being in your butt is not normally one of them. Although it can happen from time to time, I've heard. Right. Do I want to go this way? I'm looking for like a chest. Oh! Wait a minute. That's pretty good. That looks like a boss arena or something. That's where I'm supposed to go. We're gonna heal here and we're gonna save our game. Uh, let's save that. Perfect. So now what I want to do is, before I leave, explore properly. So I'm gonna double back. I need to get my tokens to get my fast shoes. Although, admittedly, I don't think the fast shoes actually benefit you down in the sewers. Hey, Dixie, what's up? How's the pack? Yeah, doing all right. How's you? How's you, Dickaroon? I've never called you that before, but I just made that up in the spot. I hope you're cool with that. Psych up. Go wild. What's new? See you later, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Do, 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 do. We can do this. Hey Wolfie, is this like your preferred stream time? Because I know it used to be earlier. I like this time though, I have someone to watch. Um So it's normally like it depends what I want, right? Like it's like if I want the stream to have more people in it, this is a probably a better time to stream, right? Because a lot of the American and Canadian and some of you guys for who are more further west, uh, it's a better time for some of you guys that are at work and stuff. Um, if it was up to me, I would like to wake up early in the morning and start streaming at about 10, but it's just not really... It can happen sometimes and be fine. Now, we did that for the longest of time, actually. Um... That's the that's the schedule I would like to hold as a person, but it's not normally the best idea. So now we're on the kind of late schedule. So it just it just depends, it just depends. But it's good to have you here. I am gonna select. Yeah, we'll just get one mile out. Fuck it. I'm not used. Uh... Oh, did I cancel that? I don't know if I cancelled my attack there or not. Oh, there we go. Did that that attack, that weapon that we got, really is making this so much better. You did remember, yeah. I remember morning streams. I miss them. Yeah, I know. It's hard, guys. It's hard. I can't, I can't, unfortunately, pick a time that's, like, suitable for every single person because everybody, all of you guys are all on different time clocks. But we, we do flip-flop fairly often, so... Uh, wait, what? Oliver's current wand is not powerful. Didn't we open a blue chest there? Oh, is that a purple one? Oh, boo. Is this one locked as well? That looks like red. You obtained a sandwich from an old smelly chest in the sewers. Yeah, really nutritious. Okay, perfect. So we're taking a left and then we are exploring a couple of areas before we go out. Yeah, I'm awake for these streams. I like them even when my schedule is doomed. Guys, there's some chicken pakora in my fridge and I really want to eat it. I think I might eat it soon. I'm hungry. Psych. Okay. The good news, the good news about the early morning streams is I feel like there's a lot more to my day, and I can fit other things into my day that I really want to do. So, if I was to stream early, I start streaming. I end up having lunch pretty early, which is a bit of a problem. So that's another negative of the morning streams, uh, I guess, is that I 
pretty much as soon as I start streaming, I immediately have to have food after about two hours, which gets a bit annoying, and it's not really a good idea to, like, start a show, start a stream, if you want to call it a show, and then immediately go and make food, like, after two hours. It just seems like a bad idea. It's a bit inconvenient. But, um... I can stream through the day when it's sunny. I get to speak to Mrs. Wolfie when I'm going backward and forward. She can fill me in on stuff that's going on. And then I can finish at a good time, have my dinner, and then there's still daylight left in the day. And if I want to play games at night time, a lot of my friends are on. So... There is a lot of perks to the, the morning streams, but again, like, I could... There's a chest there. I don't know how to get to that. Like, as a streamer, it depends what I want to... I've been talking a lot about the business side of Twitch recently, so I hope you guys don't mind that, but now that we're on the topic and seeing as you asked, like, I could stream from 10 a.m. till, like, 6 p.m. every day for, like, a year and maybe see, like, half the amount of growth as I would streaming uh, in the evening times. Just because Twitch is really quiet for, like, almost every game. If you were to go onto the Twitch graphs, there's, there's websites out there that show you when Twitch is most busy. And I don't like to revolve like all of my all of my decisions around like the numbers game because it's not really that healthy, but you have to be somewhat efficient and you have to be sensible, because if not then you're only expelling energy when you maybe don't have to. So there's there's pros and cons, but uh sometimes I'm just on a schedule that is destined to be early, and then sometimes I'm on a schedule where I'm just waking up late and so we do late streams. I wish I was a bit more consistent, but I'm not. It's you two. Look, one has retrieved one's wand. Huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. Uh oh. The crook struck one. Wrecked. Oh, nice shot up the cat's ass there, brilliant. That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you! I think we have a boss. Hickory Doc. King Hickory. That is one huge rodent! You squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we, we are... Too slow! Fight night. I wonder if my, uh... What is this guy? Does he have, like, a weakness? How do I play to my strengths here? Let's send in Lamal. And we're gonna do Psych Up. Go wild. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, he hurt himself. The furry fool only gone and tripped himself up. Now's your chance to give him a good uh, hiding, Ollie boy. I'm working on it. Go on, Lamal. Fuck him up. Oof. Pebble pill? What does that do? Oh, his stamina's about to run out. Okay. This is recharging. I think I have to swap to you, and I think I have to... Oh, no. Is that gonna hit me? Oh, no. Come on, man, pull yourself together. Need to watch out for the tailspin attack. I guess I have to defend for that. Mind you, uh, he, is, he isn't the sort to get confused. I reckon this might be his time to shine. He's on cooldown at the minute. Drippy, you're not paying attention, you fucking douchebag. Uh, let's do a healing touch on ourselves here. Just gonna casually touch yourself in the midst of battle. Mouse fire. Oh. Fucking send her right back, bitch. You think I won't? Uh, let's have some white bread. And then change to... Oh, there's mana. Brilliant. Psych up. Go wild. So we're not affected by his, like, attacks or something? Got like a crit on him. Oh, now he's recharging. 
Okay, so now what I want to do is go like this. Probably send out this little guy. I don't know what mouse fire is. That took a that did a lot of damage. Go on, wee prick. You got this, dude. No effect. Okay. Let's go spells. Heal. Send in the mouse. I think that's undead. Are we thrown here? This feels like a throw jack. Oh. I think if you hit me once more, I might have actually died. Probably closer than it should have been. I don't know how he, like, he tried to attack me with something and it tripped him up. And then I got a free attack on him, but that never happened again for the rest of the fight and I don't know why. I don't know what I did. He did his power-up move and it doesn't affect the lemur, I guess I get that, but like, I don't know if I had to do anything or if it was like an automatic, like... I'm not sure, but... Uh, Serenity says, I watched the stream at wh whatever time, no skin off my nose. It was nice waking up, having a little potter, then switching on the stream. Yeah. That's cool, Serenity, I appreciate that. I'm fine, yeah, finally feeling pretty good today, which is nice, been having trouble eating lately, but I'm hungry right now, which is a great sign. How did I not notice the sweater? That looks... <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this is my Christmas jumper. It's, uh... <laughs> it keeps me warm at least, which is good. I've only got one or two though. So you'll probably see this being worn a couple of times, unfortunately. I wish I had a whole collection of them, but I don't really have that many. I think I've got like two or three Christmas sweaters. This is one of them. I think Mrs. Wolfie got me this, like, last year. So, it's really good. But thank you, thank you. I'm sorry to hear that you've been having trouble eating. Uh, and you said you're feeling good today, which is good. You gotta have some. You gotta have some food, Dixie. I. It took me a long time as an as an adult to realize that. Like I. Uh, sometimes I would go days, and it wasn't like a conscious choice. Like it's not like I would just decide, okay, today I don't want to eat. It's not like I was like, oh hey, I. Uh, I don't want to eat today because I don't know. I'm watching my weight, or hey, I. I, I don't want to eat because, fuck it, that's too much effort. I just like wouldn't eat enough during the day. Like I'd miss like two or three meals. Probably again to, to do with the dodgy schedule that we've just been talking about. When you wake up at like, when you wake up at 8 a.m., you have breakfast, and then at 12, 1 in the afternoon, you know to yourself, oh, it's lunchtime. And then when it gets to 5, 6, uh, for some people even later, because I know some of my friends have their dinner at like 7, 8, which is a bit strange, but um, you, you kind of have a, a template for the day that you've been drilled into you, that you, you've had it drilled into you your whole life. But then when you wake up at like, three in the afternoon it's like well how what happens now <laughs> okay so i have food when i wake up and then what at like midnight i have something to eat for lunch or something or sooner much sooner than that i guess it would be and then it's like three in the morning and you're like okay so i should be having like fish and chips now but it doesn't really feel like a good idea to make fish and chips at three in the morning but you have to you have to have food you have to eat properly or you're gonna feel like, not only are you going to feel tired all the time because you've not got enough energy, but your body's going to start to misbehave. You're going to start to get sick more often because you don't have the resources to, like, protect yourself and things like that. So, get your fireballs out. No, we got them. We got it. We we set Lamal in amongst the the little bitch and we, we barely managed it. I think if you hit me once more, I would have died, though. That was really close. If Lamal had missed its last attack, that may have been a bit dicey. Hickory Dock, you dirty rats. I'll get you next time. Knickers, he got, he got away and he got another stupid catchphrase in before he left and all. Never mind that, Mr. Drippy Wobbit, King Tom. You're right, better see how he's doing. Your meow just there, you alright? Oh, it's you. Come on, King Face, pull yourself together. One's wand, one retrieved it from the villain who purloined it. Your Majesty? Knickers, knickers, knickers. I think he's dead, boys. But now if I get the new wand, I should be able to open more chests and get new items. Seems like we were maybe a little bit under leveled for that fight. I don't know. I thank you all for attending. Uh oh. Very well. I hereby call the council to order. Oh wow. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. We are here to discuss the elimination of the pure-hearted one. That's me. Come before us, 
dark gin. Oh, hello. You summoned me, White Witch. The so-called savior from the other world. He must be destroyed. Shadar, it is time that you proved yourself worthy of the title of executor. On one condition. Ha! The insolence! Uh -oh. He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task to me and me alone. Who wants all the glory? Hear me, members of the council. I have no need of your aid. Oof. He thinks himself our equal. What gives him the right? He is either very brave or... To presume to give us orders. Babbling fools. Oof. Silence! Very well. You will have your wish, Shadar. I entrust the task entirely to you. Shadar. Teach those who speak of a saviour. The futility of their hope. It shall be done. Oh, he's got a good voice. This Oliver, this saviour, I will taint his heart with the blackness. Of despair. No mercy. Don't do it, old man. All right. He, if uh, if one thanks you once, one thanks you a thousand times. You save one's life back there. Looks like you're feeling a bit better now, eh, Your Majesty? Yeah, but you weren't kidnapped after all. There's funny. Um, there's funny. My reasoning was a bit off. You don't think I'm losing my touch, do you, Ollie boy? Right. Listen. Don't really give a fuck about all this pish. He managed to purloin one's greatest treasure. It's unforgivable. But the one's back in one's possession now, and it's yours. I hope. Bring forth the wand. Thanks, bro. This is one's magic wand. Is that gonna power me up? When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Right. Here, it is yours now. Arigato gozaimasu. Does it have any cool tricks, or? Thank you very much. You're Does it yes. get many of the, like, the VIP lounges in the clubs? Or? If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. Oh, the Dark Lord, yeah. The Dark Jinn, I won't tell him. Oof. When you say you know who, you mean Shadar, don't you? <laughs> don't say his name. There's no need to say it out loud, is there? But yes, that is who one means. Your Majesty. You've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, your majesty. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. Pog. You obtained the magic wand. Is that automatically equipped? Now, for coming to one's aid in one's hour of need, let one present you with a new magic. Oh. Frostbite. Cool. Fireball frostbite. That's full on World of Warcraft right now. Really, very eager, aren't we? In that case, go to the forest south of the kingdom, known as the Golden Grove, and beyond it lies a vast desert. In the midst of that desert is the city of Al Mamun. You must travel there next. Its ruler is somewhat... Never mind that. Rashad, one of the great four sages, once dwelled there and still does, one presumes. Alicia, if you expand your magical knowledge, one is sure that the aid of the sages will provide invaluable. Fantastic. Al Mamun, here we come. So, do I need to... Oh, the magic wand's already been added. Oh, look at the state of my HP. I'm absolutely crippled. <laughs> I've got 7 HP left. <laughs> and I think that's from a level up. I think I would even less than that. Okay, brilliant. So now we've done all of that crap. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. When you say you know who, you mean Voldemort, right? No, wrong franchise. Oh wait, there's green people. What do they mean? What do the green people mean? Are these like uh, stamp stuff? Borrow it, okay. Well, oh, this guy's giving me enthusiasm, is he? Oh, that was nice. Get up and go. Cool. So, what else have I got down here? 
this guy. Another fine day and she'll not be off to work. There's so much talking, dude. Of course, thank you. You can't hog all yourself, go and share the bit you've got and come back. Oh, okay. So I can't stockpile it, apparently. I don't know who needs it, but... Interesting. I know I can use that guy now, which is kind of cool. Will the person in need maybe flash green? Maybe? Right, a couple of things we have to do here. There's somebody green up ahead, I don't know what that means. But I can also get the chest that's up in that balcony, I think. I could theoretically go back down into the sewers if I wanted to and get the chest down there as well, but it's like, oh bro, can I be asked on all the way back there? Is it worth it? Probably, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Can I open this? Oliver's wand is not powerful enough. Fuck my life. The music has gone crazy again. We'll do and eat and very hungry right now. Funny how stress can impact the body, says Dixie. Just being nauseous, unable to eat in peace when my mind spins, my stomach does too. But as I said, feeling good today and about to have some enchiladas. Nice, 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 nice. That's what I like to hear. What's happening here? Do you need... Oh, do you need... Hold on. Oh, is everything okay? She's a busy bee. She wants to do is sleep. It's so tiring. Would you listen to her? What happened? Okay. Yes, undertake the ta- Wait, restore the woman's missing enthusiasm. Easy peasy, dude. I got it. I got it already. Uh, give. Oh my god, do I have to listen to your garbage? Time to cast give heart, I reckon. Hello? Is this thing on? Dude, your donations aren't working, says Sereni. They should be. Um. Hello? Uh, the donation should be on, unless there's a problem, but I don't... Oh, there's a chest over there. I don't know if my donations are broken. I don't... Uh, I can log in and check, but... Error incomplete. Uh, let me, let me check one second, Sereni. It's maybe a problem on my end. Hold on. Uh, I haven't done anything to change them. Oh, this guy needs something as well. Does he need energy as well? Okay, enthusiasm. Uh, okay, cool. Let me have a look. Uh, let me just check my PayPal and see. Hopefully everything's alright, but... I get nervous when you guys say that things like this don't work when they should. Let me have a wee, a wee peek. I'll have a wee scanner, Rooney. Uh, oh, uh, great. I need authentication. Brilliant. Fucking jeez. Come on then, PayPal. Text me. Uh, let's have a look. I hope there's not any problems. If I have any problems with my account, it should tell me in notifications. PayPal for me, for some reason, takes a long time to log in these days. I don't know why. It takes a long time to log in and then it takes a long time to load the page. And I, I, I don't know why it's so slow. Uh... I don't have any notifications telling me my account is not working, so I don't know what's wrong, Sereni. Uh, I don't have any things telling me my account is locked or any of that stuff. So if my donations aren't working, I don't know what's going on there. I guess I could check it through my Twitch page. But uh, for the most part, it should be okay. Um, I don't see anything that's problematic. I don't know, actually. If there's something wrong, I don't know uh, what the problem is. Doesn't look like everything's... I don't think there's any problems in my end, but I don't know. I tried two different payment methods and it wouldn't let me. Uh, 
I there's no way for me to check if my donations are working without donating to myself, and I don't even know if I can do that. Um Bucket Spudge. Out of nowhere. With the bits, the 50 bits. Thank you, Buckets. I appreciate that. Back, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, Ser I think Serenity was trying to donate, which was very kind of her. But she seems to be having issues, and I don't know if it's on my end or not. Hey, dude, can I... Uh... Oh my god, do I have to talk to all these guys to get the thing? It'd be so nice if I could just sap it without asking, but I guess that would teach kids to steal without asking permission, which might be a problem. Okay, perfect. Do I need to watch this animation every time I do this, though? It would be nice if I didn't have to see that every single time. The PayPal panel flashes and then disappears. I... I'm not sure. Oh, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about in terms of donations on PayPal. Um, Ron. There's probably a logical explanation. Hey, buddy. Ground Zero 1105. Uh, welcome to the Wolfpack, my guy. Serenity's got your back. Thank you, SJ, for the double gifted subs. That was really kind. Can I give this? Oh, you piece of shit. Uh... Uh, if I borrowed some of your enthusiasm. Hang on it. Wait, does this guy want some? This fine fellow's got some enthusiasm. Oh, so I can get enthusiasm from him. My music is absurdly loud again. Hmm. Love your name, dude. Had to celebrate the gold paw somehow. I really appreciate that, SJ. Thank you. Thank you for the kindness. I'm sorry the donos aren't working. It seems like one of these silly things. I say, dear boy, but the cut of your jip, I'd hazard a guess at your being a travelling man, what? And a jolly fine occupation it is too. Here, dash it all. He's lost his diary. A man visiting Ding Ding Dong Dell is rather flustered after misplacing his diary. Don't worry, we'll help you find it. Uh, where did you last see it? The river northwest of here to compose a little vignette. I don't know what the fuck that means. Couple of trees. Um, there's people all over that are requiring things and I don't know if these are just a bunch of quests or not. Hey, sir. Is everything okay? Uh, yep. He's lost all of his enthusiasm. Perfect. Uh, give. There we go. Oh no. Oh, not this dick. Wait. Are you talking about the guy that wants the diary? Don't say that. Is he a sneaky sneaky, is he? There you go, buddy. Take that. Put that in your pipe. Okay. Three loaves of white bread and 30 guilders. Most importantly, we get some stamps. We're very close to getting to our 10 stamp point. I'm going to go and take my enthusiasm from this other guy back here. 15 guilders. Yeah, he's a forgetful prick. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I guess we'll get uh we'll be able to make pals with him soon enough, I'm sure. Alright, bounty hunter man, can I uh I wish I, I wish I could just go up and take it. I, I, the fact I have to click through this was at four, five, six. So we take it and then what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's an extra fucking five seconds of animation. Seven clicks. It's not so bad. Okay, onwards. I am really low at the moment. I think I might go to the inn and recover before we leave. I think that might be the way. I don't know if I can save on the on the world and heal or if I need to do it this way, but we'll go in and recover because we're kind of beat up. 
I could also go and buy some new items from the... That's a pretty good bargain. I could go and buy some items from the shop if I wanted, but I don't think I can be bothered. There's also other shops around town that I could probably go in and have a look at, but... I think we... I think I'm gonna have a snack break, guys. Like, in real life. I feel like I'm gonna make food. Maybe some crisps. And I can have a peek at the, the, the PayPal situation. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it's just a PayPal problem and it will resume and fix itself ASAP, but... Better shops in the next area, okay. Right, let's, uh... This, guy, this guy's journal looks like it might be up there. There's two things I needed. Here we go, Ollie. Our adventure can really begin. Right, shut your face. There is a item up on this, this cliff that I think... Oh, that enemy's running away from me now. Maybe because we're too strong. Plainsworth flower is good. We needed that. And there's also water over here that I think we can grab really quickly. I am not going to lie. I thought when you were fighting in this game, you could send out like multiple fighters at we once. If we can some brown sugar. Okay. Wanyan donated a fiver. Wanyan. Okay, it's good to know the donations are actually working for some people. Serenity and Jesse, if it's not working for you guys, I'm hoping that it's just a temperamental uh, issue. That makes me feel so much better that Wanyan's dono came through because I was panicking thinking my, my account was broken or something. Wanyan, thank you for the fiver, man. That was very kind. You didn't have to donate so much, especially just to test that you're a hero. And with no message as well, just the, the baller £5 dono. Wanyan, thank you so much, man. Much appreciate it. I don't know how I can... I wonder if I can refund my own dono later on. I don't know. Anyways, okay, it looks like the PayPal's are working for some people, but not for everyone. It must just be one of these uh, these weird moments. Maybe because it's the time of night or something. I don't know. What, what day is it? Tuesday and Wednesday at midnight. Maybe PayPal goes down for maintenance in certain places. So maybe like the US Netflix is open. <laughs> The US Netflix. The US PayPal is maybe open, but maybe the Canadian and British ones are like... I don't know, because my paper, my one worked and Serenity's didn't. I don't know, guys. Twitch, why do you hate us? Yeah, wanted to make sure it was working. Thank you, Wanyan. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the fiver. Buckets Pouch says, maybe try cleaning the cash on your devices, Buckets. Um, It's when you guys said you tried to click the button and then it disappeared, right? Very weird. Uh, do I have... Uh, underway, Plainsworth Flowers. Where is this person? Is Are they... Through the tunnel here, I think, right? Uh, where is it? I think we have everything we need. I think. Hi. These are the things you need. Nice. I got a wooden shield as well. An item that I've already purchased from the town store. Great. Okay, we got a merit stamp. So can I, from here, view stamp card. Can I claim these shoes? Allows you to run a little faster out in the hills in the world in the wide plains. How do I... Do I have to cash this in at the store? What? Don't you think you're worth three quid, you tight git? Wait, pardon? If not, my go-to is to restart, lol. It's very bizarre that it's not working for two people from different countries, that's what's... That's what's strange. It's probably just a, a glitch with PayPal, I think. Can I... Claim merit rewards? Yeah, dude. Can I have this faster feet? Yeah. Check me nimble. Nice. Are these automatically applied to me? I haven't managed to do the bounty hunt yet. North of the grove, a winged beast, sure. Alright. Thanks, bro. Let's go uh, make some snacks, guys. I feel like I'll feel better. Maybe, do I want to have, do I want to make, I can make, I can make bread and crisps. And yogurts and little chicken bites. Or I could go and make myself some soup. 
What do you guys think we should have? I could have chicken noodle soup, but maybe I should keep that for later on. Chicken noodle soup would be a nice hot thing to keep us warm. But it would take three minutes to make in the micro. Hmm. Don't know what I want to do. I think the snacks would probably give me more bits and bobs, but... I have no immediate plans to play Among Us, guys. I've been asked countless times by my mates over the past two months to play it. It's It, it, it looks like a fun game, but like, I don't know, man. It's not exactly... I see these blue dots on the map. I think these must be like... Uh, these must be like fucking quests, I guess. Let's take a right. I'm going to talk as we play because it's going to take us a while to travel. And honestly, if we don't get moving, we're going to beat ourselves up for it. But um, I feel like Among Us looks like a lot of fun, but like, I don't know, guys. Like, I've. I'm going to kind of repeat myself because you guys have asked me about this a couple of times. So if you've heard me say this before, again, I do apologize. I feel like Among Us is like one of these games where, like, once you play it once or twice, once you play like one version or one, like, one style of those kind of games, I feel like you've. Oh no. Oh, I thought my game crashed there. I feel like once you've played one, you've played them all. And uh, sometimes they can be really fun, but sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. Feels like a lot of energy. It's not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, take on the Grumpy Phil. I hope we don't die of this. Wolfpack Mungus? Come on! Right, I'm going to try and not die here, and then I'm going to come back to the chat in a minute. Uh, you guys are both Moon and One. F okay, we got. We're going to let you go ham salad here. Uh, psycho. I don't know if we can defeat these things, but I'm gonna try. I'm a, I'm getting absolutely wrecked here. Can we? That's it. Just kill one. There we go. Right, kill the other one. I gotta give myself time to heal here. I tell you what. Let's just grab that. Uh, I probably don't need to heal here, but maybe I can just use Frostbite. Oh, nice. Big damage. We won! Isn't it free? I don't think I'm, I don't think Among Us is free, but it's very cheap. PC cost money, mobile is free. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, if you, but it's, even then on PC, I think it's like really, really cheap. Better, console, uh, better controls on PC. I wish Werewolves uh, Within got a rebirth. That was so fun. Valkyrie says exactly. Among Us doesn't really have much content to play. Three maps and you've kind of played it all. But the content is the people you play with. Yeah, for sure. Like, I know with the right crowd it could be a laugh. And playing it with you guys would probably be fun. But then you would just vote me off all the time. <laughs> if I'm being honest, right? If we're really looking at the facts. Yeah, we could, we could. you guys would probably just end up voting me off 24-7. You'd be like, well, who's the common enemy here? Let's get Jack off. He's a prick. And then if I if I was the if I was the killer or the the suspect, you guys would be like, "Oh, look at us, we're genius." And then if if I wasn't, if I was innocent, you guys would be like, "Oh well, fuck you, Jack." And then I'd be like, "Guys, can you stop doing this, please?" But yeah, yeah. It was only three quid on Steam, and he never came to play with the lads once. What a shitter! I <laughs> just couldn't be arsed. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not even just Among Us, guys. It's not like it was that one game. It's not like I just picked that one game and thought, fuck that game, I'm not gonna play it. Because normally I try a lot of things, but it was the same with Fall Guys. Uh, it was actually J Cram that bought me Fall Guys. I think. J Cram bought me Fall Guys, it was him. And uh, I, I played it like. Guys, I must have played like an hour of Fall Guys tops. I just. I, I just wasn't that bothered. Like. There's some games that I really like playing, and some games that I'm just like... I don't know. I know I sound like a Scrooge McDuck, but if you can't be arsed, you just can't be arsed. Instead, I wind up playing with Toxic Strangers Online. Ah, <laughs> oh, now I know why you guys are desperate to play with the Wolfpack. Because you are just playing with all the salty people you meet. I didn't even know there was matchmaking in Among Us. Oh, there, there, is, a, there is like matchmaking, obviously, but like there's no voice comms or something, right? Come here, you little fucking shithead. Uh, 
Uh, okay, Gajim, we can try it out over Xmas if you're around. I'm sure a couple of people in the Discord. Yeah, that's the thing, guys. Like, you, you guys can do Among Us with the Wolfpack in the Discord if you can rally a, a team. I know it's it's probably harder to rally, like, everybody on at the same time across the time zones and connection and all that stuff, but if you guys are looking, you should probably get a crew together. I think Corky and that might... I think Corky and that wanted to play, did they not? Am I making that up? Uh, psych up. Go wild on this guy. There you go, leper kid. Oh no. Oh, that only did five damage. That looked way more terrifying. That looked way more terrifying than it was. Oops. That would be fun, always a good bond. Always good to bond with the pack, says Valkyrie. I think only Jcram and maybe some others on a bad day would vote you off. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> only Jcram and some others. Gajin, Serenity. Myself included. No, I uh, I get it, guys. It's fine. I, I would be down for that, even if it was, you know, even if it was for the memes. It'd be chill, but... I wanted to play... Never had people to play with, though. Can I play on phone with people on PC? I don't know. I may need a tutorial or two. Yeah, Jack Dixie. Oh, this, there you go. It's got cross-platform, yeah. Never got into Fall Guys at all, but when the lads are getting a group together, you commit to Jack. Fall in line. <clears throat> I mean... Like, normally I'm down, but sometimes I'm like, nah, dude, nah. It's okay. You guys had fun without me. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure whether I was there or not didn't really matter. You guys would have been grand. Might have been better without me as well. <clears throat> Fall Guys gave me the rage. Did you play a lot of Fall Guys, Serenity? I would only vote for you if you were being sus, says acting kind of sus. Thanks, Gajin. Sus just due to being the streamer, lol. <laughs> it would be funny. It would be fun. I know it would be funny. Well, you guys would have fun. I'd have a shit time. Guys, I watched a video last night. And uh, it's this guy's YouTube channel. His, his channel must be popping off. His videos were really funny. It was a music guy. I don't know what the... The, the YouTube channel is the guy's name. And he was doing videos like, it's all it's all to do with like him and music, so it's like him and a piano. And it's him dressed up as like himself playing the piano and the guy as the teacher. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And he's like, uh, he's like playing the piano and he's trying to invent new music, but every time he tries to invent new music, he ends up playing like classic hits. So he plays like Bohemian Rhapsody and then he plays like Hotel California by the Eagles and things like that. It's actually quite good. I wonder if you guys could find it. It was actually really funny. Uh, and some of the faces this guy was pulling made me laugh so hard. I watched a couple of his videos. He did another one where it's like when the teacher and the the the, the tutor, or I guess the tutor and the and the, the student, when they swap roles, when the teacher becomes the master. It's pretty funny. Claim bounties. Thanks. Right, okay, stamps. Salted ice cream. Easy peasy. Okay, cool. Do I have those weapons added straight to my character? Okay. Here we go. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Maybe I need to give him the giant's tooth. Because I'm not using Oliver that much. Get rid of that. Congratulations, you're getting upgraded. Because I am using him fairly often. I wonder if I'm going to spend 10 of my gold resting at the end again. Or if I just heal myself up. I'm just going to heal myself up, fuck it. Um, Wolfie, uh, what about League One Day, though, once I get J-Bob into it? Yeah, for sure. You guys might, I mean... You guys have EU West accounts, right? I don't have any accounts. And I guess I could make one. Um, but yeah, we could do that for sure. I I, I don't know if the uh, 
I mean, we play League sometimes on stream, but I don't know how many of you guys are fussed about it. I played for about an hour uh, of Fall Guys, that was enough. <laughs> it's quite hard as well. I feel like Fall Guys is like one of these games that, <clears throat> you know when you fall behind the curve of the player base? It gets quite hard. Because in the beginning, nobody knows the maps. Nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody knows the strats, the metas, the techniques, right? It's all just pure carnage. But then as soon as you come into it like six months later, when everybody knows roughly what to do, if somebody's got like 10 hours, they're going to be much better than you at the game, right? So you're going to see a lot less success. And if you're a person who's playing it just for the funsies, and you're relaxed when you play, it's not going to be an issue. But if you're trying to win, <laughs> it's going to be hard. <clears throat> So I feel like some of these games, like Fall Guys and stuff, you definitely benefit from like being there in the beginning. Can I not go up this path? How do I get... How do I get up to the mountains? Can I climb this? Uh, I'm supposed to... Oh! You don't actually go into the mountains, you just walk along the, the base. <coughs> Sorry. Seth Everman, the bald guy? No, not a bald guy, quite a young guy. Lots of curly hair on top of his head. Maybe not curly, but lots of hair on his head. Daniel Thrasher, that's the one. Daniel Thrasher, is it? Yeah. I know you're talking about, can't think of the name. He's just been recommended on my YouTube lots. I think his channel must be blowing up. But the, the two videos I watched of his were really funny, so I can understand why. Let's go into the Golden Grove here. Daniel Thrasher is his name, yeah. Might have to let them try a few rounds of the free play things. It's good, Gene. Fall Guys Rage was the funniest part. <laughs> so that nobody dies and they can get acquainted with the game better. <clears throat> We're playing EU. Could be off stream. Yeah, for sure. I'm pretty... Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I would be down. I've got my little baby account as well, which should be... Uh, maybe better suited to playing with like people like J-Bob and stuff when they're learning because then hopefully the matchmaking will be a bit more uh, gentle, if you like. Again, speaking of like games being out for a long time, League's been out for 10 years, so if you try and play it now on like 100 ping, 200 ping, it's probably going to be a nightmare. So yeah, I've got my, my baby bear account. It's called Stepmama Bear. I think I have you guys on that actually. I usually sit here and listen when we have league streams. Yeah, I know. I, th I know a lot of you guys do that. Uh, I'm just gonna blow my nose one second, guys. <laughs> hey, Drolfig, what's up, dude? Late night, Wilfie. How's everyone? Hey, Drolfig. I'm doing wonderful, mate. We're just chilling, playing some Nino Kuni and talking about the biggest load of snash possible. It's good. What have you? What are you talking about? Says Dixie. I've just started and I'm a pro. Yeah, I remember seeing your Caitlyn in action. I remember seeing Caitlyn go. It was pretty stellar, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I I swear I'm getting worse at League, man. Every time I play it, I just perform worse and worse, and it's getting really depressing. Jeepers Creepers, just look at the giant mushrooms. It's so different from the deep dark wood. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. It's another type of woodland altogether. This is, no offence to the old tree face, but the soil here is just better. Okay. Forest of Plenty. It's been a while since I dropped by. There's nostalgic. Full of fairies, this old place is. Shall I give you boys a shout? Ooh, how do you boys? Anyone about me? It's drippy. Blah, blah, blah. We have to go deeper into the forest. Fine. Let's go. Hey, this place looks chill. <gasps> There's some mushrooms here for Ant and draw. You didn't add me? I have pl I'm pretty sure when I've played with you and Snowbar Dixie, I was playing on the, uh, the Step Mama Bear account. I'm pretty sure that's the account I played on with you guys. I think it was. I should have you. I think. If I didn't add you as a friend, it would have been just a mistake. I do that a lot. I don't really... I never really thought about that, honestly. <clears throat> my B, my B. Okay, Pom Pom's getting it. Go on, little prick. Okay, grab that. Fuck him up. Oh my god, dude. That guy just fucking walked me. I got two of my friends to play Dragon's Quest uh, 11. I got two of my friends to play through Dragon's Quest 11. Do I tell them about the bakery or wait for the moment for the hilarious suffering? Oh, Valkyrie, no, you wouldn't. 
are they really your friends, Valkyrie, if you're trying to throw them into Dragon's Quest XI and not let them know about the bakery? <clears throat> Honestly, I feel like the bakery is not really that much of a problem. It's just became a meme. I think a lot of people probably find the bakery without any difficulty or they just don't do the quest. But that pissed me off so much. <laughs> that quest actually violated me. It was awful. I hated it. That whole, I, I think that, that stream, I had just gotten to that, like, kind of seaport area. And I had to do the little quest for douchebag with no voice, placebo or whatever his fucking name is. Let's go. And then I had to find the bakery and all this other trash, and I was just, like, not having any of it. It was a miserable time. Let's do, let's do cut loose here, actually. It should be really good value. Oof. Oh my god, these guys are insane. Ow. I've just been powered down. A bunch of dicks. We did it. JK, we aren't friends on there and I also didn't send a request. Don't know if it was okay. Didn't know if it was okay? <laughs> what, do you, <laughs> what do you mean you didn't know if it was okay to send a friend request? Dixie, come on now. What, would, what do you think I would have done? I mean, like, oh, here's a friend request coming in. Block. Would you think I was gonna bite you? Didn't know if it was okay. God bless. <laughs> well, I think Wolfie was the only one who had a problem with the bakery at Valkyrie. The rest of us found it fine. Lol. Don't say that. That just makes me feel much worse. I said it about myself too, but I'm allowed to. Don't rein don't reinforce my own thoughts, because then I'll feel bad. True Serenity, Dragon's Quest XI is such a god tier game. Listen, Dragon's Quest XI was long, and it was pretty. It was pretty good. Maybe if you guys had a lot of fun with it, you would call it god tier. I would not personally call it god tier myself, <clears throat> but it did make for a good time, and there's a shit ton of content there. If that is your cup of tea. It pissed me off a lot though, at times. And it was okay. The best pa the best part about it was definitely Jade. I was actually thinking of replaying it, then I remembered the misery. <laughs> I like it, <a> Valk. <laughs> there is the contrast between our chat right there. <clears throat> That's like the different the different opinions. Valkyrie's like, I love this game, got two of my friends to play it, it's god tier, and Serenity's like, yeah. But I was so unhappy playing it. <laughs> Question. I have never played a Persona before, but I like the look of it. Persona 5 is free on PS5 right now, should I get it? Do you have a PS5, Dixie? You got a PS5? You kept that quiet. Holy moly. I love the voice acting and the funny character, says Valkyrie. True. I mean, the thing is, guys, there was a lot packed into Dragon's Quest, and if you think about, like, setting out to design an RPG, it must take fucking hours and hours and hours and hours, like, years of development. It must take so long to envision it, to, cr to write the story, to write the characters, to design the areas, and then translate that from artist sketch work to, you know, digital investments. So you'd have to, like, put it into the computer, draw it online, integrate it, connect it all, Make sure your story runs through it. Make sure everything makes sense. Make sure it's challenging enough for different people of different levels. And then make sure it's bugless. That that would take so long. So I, I fully understand and appreciate all the effort that goes into that. I feel like the thing that was missing for Dragon's Quest, it was such a again, it's like it's like Nino Kuni, it's like a cozy game. It takes you on a little journey, but I, I, there was something missing from it for me. I don't know if it was like the challenge. I don't know if it was like the... I don't know. Maybe maybe I like darker, kind of more realistic stories as opposed to like the kind of light-hearted, hate, like, airy fairy kind of video games. I don't know. But it was, it was good. I just didn't love it as much as some of you guys did. Um, so I don't need to play the other ones to... I don't need to play the other Persona games to understand 5. No, Dixie, you can play it completely as a standalone. Persona 5 was my first ever entry to the Persona series. It's got a really long, slow as fuck, boring start, right? Really long-winded and slow, boring beginning. 
and I'm not talking about t five, ten minutes. I mean like three hours worth, right? There's like two or three hours where you just don't do any gameplay in Persona 5. You have to be patient. It took me a couple of goes, and when I've sat down with my mates to play it as well, I had to like usher them through it. Like I've got a mate playing Persona 5 right now, and I told him, I was like, dude, the beginning is really long. And he's like, oh, I think I'm past that. And I'm like, where are you at? And he's like, oh, I'm going back to the, the palace with Rigi for the first time. I'm like, Jesus, dude, you don't even know the half of it, mate. The game only opens up after you defeat the first palace, in my opinion. But uh, it's a really good game as well, if you can get into it. But you have a PS5, nice. Yeah, one of my mates got a PS5, Dave. You guys know him as the Prophet of Ra. I always say that. And uh, he's been playing through Persona 5. It's it's really good, Dixie, but it takes time to get into. There's there's so much mumbo jumbo at the at the beginning where basically the reason I think Persona 5 is slow in the beginning is because they're setting up for an epic story. It's an epic story, Persona 5. It's long. It's got uh uh it's one of these games where the the ending just never seems to happen. You think you're at the end, and then there's like a hundred hours of gameplay behind it. You think you're at the end, you think you're you're at the final boss, and then there's another boss, and another boss, and another boss, and it keeps on going, and it's magical. It really is. But the start is is literally for a lot of people just picking it up. They're not gonna they're not gonna understand. You don't understand until you've finished it. It's like imagine you read a long book that's phenomenal, like one of the best books you've ever read, but the start is like the first like three four hundred pages is just like pure build-up filler <clears throat> not even filler but like pure build-up so a lot of people just won't get over that initial hump and therefore they just won't see any of the goodness and therefore they don't appreciate it but i don't know i feel i personally feel like the start of persona 5 could be much better streamlined they could have cut out so much crap but they're trying to really set the scene and i appreciate that as well like when i play persona 6 i want it to be a long-winded adventure I want it to go on for ages and ages and ages. I want to be taken on a journey as Persona 4 and Persona 5 has done for me. Both times, both of these games, they really know what they're doing in terms of like storytelling most of the time. <laughs> if you buy into the world and you buy into the, the, the friendships and the group and what's happening, it's great. But if you don't, if it doesn't appeal to you, it's going to be really boring for you. Try and push to the beginning. Got Cyberpunk ready, excited to see that. Nice, that would be amazing, yeah. On PS5, ah, oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I Platinum Dragon's Quest XI, says Jesse, so I guess I liked it, XD. I think it went on forever, so it may have been, uh, it may have been definite. Definitely has the orchestra soundtrack, which is much better as well. Hold on, let me scroll up, what did I miss here? You playing regular or definitive, says Gajin. Oh, so that's what Serenity was talking about, yeah. Definitive regular soundtrack is so bad. I don't know what version we played. Did we play the Definitive Edition, guys? I don't know. But uh, if it wasn't free, I'd say... Even if it wasn't free, I'd say get it, says Jesse. But Persona 5 is good. You just have to get into it. Uh, and you need a lot of time. So if, you, if you've if you got time over Christmas to to give it a good go, Dixie, it can be really good. But it, 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 it's so hard because it's not until you get into like the... the Again, it's like after you beat the first palace when all the mechanics start to open up and you start to realise, okay, I know how I want to play this game. I know which team I want to build. I know which characters I like. And it's only once you're a good chunk in that you can actually start to kind of play it properly. For the first, like, beginning of the game, you're really, realistically, you're on rails for the longest of time. Uh, I think the necessity of the grind of people, of talking to people, and silly quests is what threw you off it, says Diesel. The necessity of the grind of talking to people says Diesel. Yeah, maybe. Are you talking about uh talking up you're talking about um Dragon's Quest, right, Diesel? Yeah, um again, like there's a there's a trade-off, guys, between what people want in a video game sometimes, and these RPG games, um Dragon's Quest, Persona, uh Nino Kuni to a certain extent. These these games are building worlds for people to relax in. They're building long adventures, right? Journeys. They're building journeys. And if you try and rush some of that and make it go too fast, people don't feel like they're on a journey, it's going to feel short and people are going to feel disappointed. And when you have a franchise of these games, like these type of games, people grow to expect a long journey. Like I fully expect Persona 6 to be a long sprawling adventure, which I'm really excited for. Um, If it was really short and I got through it really fast, I'd be like, what the fuck, dude, this doesn't feel like Persona 6. Nino Kuni is the same, <clears throat> and Dragon's Quest to a certain degree. <clears throat> They're trying to build worlds, and the, the only way they can make a world vibrant is by packing it full of effort and lore, 
and a lot of that comes from dialogue. Dialogue is cheap to write, I would, I would imagine, compared to like, you know, CGI cutscenes and things like that. So they pack these RPGs, these Japanese RPGs, pack themselves full of dialogue. And sometimes it can get a bit, um... Again, if you don't enjoy the coziness, if you don't enjoy talking to a baker for 10 lines about his missing cat, you're not really... You're gonna get frustrated quite easily. I feel like Dragon's Quest, again, maybe it's because they're trying to cater to too many age groups. Sometimes I feel like these games are too child-friendly. But then that's just the genre. So that's not the game's fault, that's my fault for trying to buy it and enjoy it, if that makes sense. Certain games do a really good job of streamlining their games. And some games uh, just want to give you the full-on, hey, we've built a world here, we're going to give you like 10 side quests of like collecting tea leaves and finding people's lost dogs and saving the child from the fucking basement or whatever you're going to be doing. They're going to be, they're going to throw all these at you. And if you enjoy it, if you enjoy the, like the, the routine of that, that leave is so pixelated. Anyways, <clears throat> then you're going to be comfy, but... Hates reading dialogue, loves Persona. I felt like the reason why Persona was good is because a lot of the dialogue in Persona between your main cast of characters is relevant to their development and their growth. And sometimes in the classroom, the, the dialogue, like the lessons, is important because you are going to be rewarded if you get the answers right later. Some games, dialogue will go on and on and on for 40 lines with someone and it's totally irrelevant to the plot. It is sheerly... It's sheerly world building, it's sheerly lore, it's sheerly scene setting and when I feel like I'm reading something, I'm wasting time doing it. If there's like no return on it, I feel like I'm kind of burning time for no reason and I'm a bit impatient with that, I will admit, but if I, if I didn't skip a lot of stuff, the stream would be a lot more boring in certain regards. A persona, when the characters are talking, there's little indications. Most of the time. Sometimes not, right? Sometimes you go out on a date with uh, Yusuke, right? He, you go out to the museum with Yusuke. And you'll get a tiny glimpse into Yusuke's history and his past and what he's doing and what he's about and why he's sad or why he's getting better or something like that. But a lot of, the, a lot of it will just be Yusuke's character. <laughs> now, if you like Yusuke, then that's great. And if you don't like him, then you're going to be like, oh, fuck, we've got to click through this, right? But... It's still, like, Yusuke's a part of the cast if you choose to invest in him, right? So, there's a difference, I feel. If you're talking to Morgana at night, there's, like, little nods towards the plot when you talk to Morgana. When you're talking to Igor in the in the prison, right? These aren't spoilers, by the way, Dixie. These are characters you meet in Persona 5 early on. These are all... There's little indications of the plot. If you don't know what you're doing or what's going on, as a player, if you're really paying attention, you're trying to piece together things. Like, who is the villain in the, in the palaces? Is Akechi a good guy or is he a bad guy? Is Sai trying to help you or is she trying to, like, stab you in the back and get you arrested? Like, is, in the beginning, I wasn't sure if Sojiro was a good guy. I was like, is Sojiro a bad guy? Is he a villain? Like, what's his plan? And when you pay attention to the stuff, like, Persona's got a lot of, like, well-thought-out dialogue. Some of it is definitely cuttable. There's definitely stuff of... There's bits of Persona in the beginning, especially where I think they could have just cut segments out. The bit when you have to... The bit I always bring up as an example with Persona 5 that I think they could have removed is when you have to travel to school for the first day. When Sojiro takes you to school to meet the teacher and meet the principal and you get to talk to the principal. Arguably, you could cut that out as well, but let's assume we're keeping that in. When you then go back to the coffee shop and then the next day you have to walk to the school because Sojiro doesn't want to drive you, he hates the traffic, he's like, you're going to have to go to school by yourself. You have to then navigate through Tokyo to get to your school. And I don't know why they put it in. On one hand, I think they've put it in because they want to really give you the... They want to really give you the idea of what it feels like to be a, a student living in Japan. That's what they want to try and sell to the, to, the, to the fans. It's like, you need to feel like you are in this character's shoes for a year. You're here for a year. You're gonna feel what you're gonna experience what it feels like to walk to the school, just like if you were getting lost on your first day moving to Tokyo, right? But then I also think to myself, the beginning of Persona 5 is also super long, so I think they could have just cut that out completely and nobody would have batted an eyelid. Like nobody would have actually cared. Because you're already going to the school and then you come back. And then you go to the school and you go to the palace with Rigi, and then you go to school, then you go back into the palace, and then you go back into the palace, and that's where the game kind of starts. There's a lot of like needless kind of hopping around and I think they could have definitely streamlined that a little bit 
maybe they've expanded it in Persona 5 Royal, by the way. I haven't played Royal, so maybe they've made it a bit more... Maybe they've filled it out with more meaningful stuff or something. I don't know, but... Yeah, I don't know. You think about how long something like Persona 5 probably took to make. They probably didn't have enough time to, like, go back through and cut out hours of work that they'd done. They probably just thought, we're going to leave it in. We've made an effort. It's, it's staying. But, yeah. I don't know. Long, uh, Long-winded discussion there, guys. Sorry. Let me just scroll up. Did I miss anything here? Um... Persona 5 is and will always be my favourite game since Serenity. I think the big thing that Persona 5 makes more tol- or sorry, the thing that makes Persona 5 more tolerable for some of for some is the presentation and the music that goes with it. Even the basic menus are so fun and satisfying to navigate, yeah. Presentation and interface design is god tier for P5, yep. True, true. Every time I hear the music it makes me want to play it again. Somehow actually made menus entertaining. Yep, yep, yep. You played regular Jack. Okay, regular um regular Dragon's Quest, yeah. Thanks. Regular had the really tacky MIDI music. Oh shit, I don't know. I prefer the original to Royal, Cicerini. New Persona game finally coming New Persona game finally coming in February. Oh, you're talking about Scramble, yeah. Guarantee I'll have played it at least three times by March. For some, uh, for dark stories, they have to build up the edge part of the character. Otherwise, I just get exhausted to a character's endless whining and just ignore them. Yeah. Some some, uh, some characters need the time and the effort. And then sometimes, again, when you meet... When I go to do a quest in something like Nino Kuni, if I meet the fucking herbologist on the street corner and she's like, My dear, I've got eight quests for you to do. And it's like, oh, Christ, okay, eight quests, that's great, that sounds great. Have we got some good prizes? No, they're all shit, but do them anyway. And it's like, okay, cool. So I sign up for these eight quests. Let's talk about quest number one. Okay, so when I was a lad back in the day when I grew vegetables in my grand's garden out in the countryside behind the mountains down by the stream and under the waterfall, it's like, mate, where do I find the plant? Oh, yes, 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 the plant. So, um, if you take a right and then you go left and then over the mountains, and did I mention that I used to be a farmer and I also enjoyed ballet when I was younger? And it's like, mate, you are a nobody character. I'm here for the XP and the reward. Just tell me where to go. So, yeah, there's a trade-off. It depends what you want as a person, as a player, what you expect from a franchise and from a genre. If if I went up to the quest the the quest keeper and he said, "Boy, go find me my axis in the woods. You'll find it by the stump." And then I'm like, "Wait, is that it?" He's like, "Go get my axe now. Bring it back. I'll give you some gold. See ya." If he did that, I would probably be like, "Wow, this guy's kind of short and to the point. Not a lot of lore building there." And I would probably critique the game for not having it. So there's a there's a fine balance between like, as I said, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but you just, you just get the point. Sometimes RPGs need dialogue, and sometimes they can overdo it. So, <laughs> Drillfig says, Oh no, I have to kill a Dusk Skull, but none of my mons can do damage to it. Oh no. Character's got to be more than just, I hate this, I hate that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Speaking of, Oliver needs to progress here, so let me just... Did these actually explode? Pass through the Golden Grove. I can take a left or a right. I love getting lost at Shibuya Station. I hated that when I was... Okay, not to just uh, sound like I'm... I got really frustrated, and the first time I played Persona 5, I wasn't with you guys. <clears throat> I was sitting in the shed with my mates, and uh, I didn't know where to go. And some people will like getting lost. I was like, right, okay, listen, I'm giving this game a chance, not because I want to play it, but because I've heard it's good and it's worth my time. So when I get lost in Shibuya Station, I'm like, Christ. Although it's nice to kind of feel the, you know, you have to listen to what the character's saying and use your brain. But the thing is, the reason why I said that that content is cuttable, again, if you if you set aside the, okay, we have to pretend that we're a real student living in Japan and there's that kind of simulation immersion going on, if, let's pretend that that's not there. You never ever walk about in Tokyo in that substation ever again for the rest of the game. You, to a certain degree, go down into the under levels and there's the mall and then there's the area where you can buy the smoothies from that Yusuke somehow, for whatever reason, hangs out in by himself all the time. There's like these areas that the game kind of subtly introduces to you, but the whole like running about and like taking the right gate and going in the right direction and stuff, that is never used again in the rest of the game. So if you're, you know, you have to choose like, is, is it worth keeping that in or not? Sometimes I think, hey, it's really... You know, sometimes I think, hey, it's really valuable, it's important for the, the build-up. And then other times I'm like, 
I don't know. You haven't, at that point in the game, maybe two returning players who have finished the game and then want to return and play it, they're like, oh, they get a kick of nostalgia. They're like, oh, look, this is me. I'm a young fawn. I've got no personas, no friends. This is me. I'm just beginning my journey. Let's get lost in Shibuya again. Hell yeah. But then see to the people who don't know and are not fond of the game yet because they've never played it that are on their first try. I think a lot of people are going to think, Jesus Christ, is this what this game is? Do I have to walk to school like this every day? Do I need to remember directions? I don't know if I can be bothered with this. I don't know if I've got the time for this. And then a lot of people will just turn off the game and be like, nah, I tried that game, it was weird, man. They, they tried to make me go to school and there was this hairy guy who was talking about coffee and hated me and I, I don't know, I never even got to see anything. There was a weird pink palace and there was a guy in underpants and yeah, I just I, I couldn't be arsed with it. A lot of people will genuinely be like that, unfortunately. I think Persona 5 is lucky because Persona as a whole seems to have a good reputation. Persona 4 and 3 at least three and four you guys always talk about how two and one are, are the forgotten children i only played four and five both games were phenomenal i think luckily persona has a good reputation so a lot of people will push through in the beginning especially the hardcore fans and then they'll get to the real meat and potatoes and they'll think damn this game is so good but it's getting through that initial hurdle for me was like a bit of a challenge i enjoy it in the story of rpgs for the plot lengthy length of the rain isn't an issue for me personally says ebonomics yeah Everybody's different, guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you aren't having fun playing a game with, like, mountains of text, right? Because I don't know what you're like. Maybe you do get a kick out of that, right? Um, I can only give you guys my thoughts on, like, what I personally think. That looks like a little path up there, actually. Um, yeah. I'm totally lost. This place is fucking huge. A part of me thinks I should have explored up the way back there. Oh yeah, cause okay, or hold hold the phone, hold the phone. Let's go back, cause I think the way I'm going right there on that path may actually be the real way to go. Can I not climb these? Yeah, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. What the hell is this? What? Is this relevant? Is there like a mini boss here or something? Proper wound up I am. Come on, let's do something. Maybe there's a spell I can use here? That looks like it's interactable, this mushroom here. I don't know what the fuck that is. NPC hate from the wolf search shame. I mostly don't mind though. I usually like to joke around with games or laugh along with the game. Admittedly, I'm pretty impish with how I approach games, which often kills the story, but I turn the story into something funny. That's also a, a talent in and of itself as well, Valkyrie. If you're playing like, this is the way I always see it, is it? If you are like playing a single player game, you're not really affecting anyone by like doing what you want. If you skip, if you're playing by yourself and you skip a mountain of dialogue and that's what makes you happy, then nobody cares, right? It's just you having a win. So if you like change the story to make it funny then that's whatever works for you right that's cool i appreciate that they tried to make me go to high school and i said no 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 starting persona reminds me of starting one piece yeah like i said it's like a it's like a journey and uh maybe part of this journey atmosphere is building up with nonsense or not nonsense but like a long-winded kind of beginning Get wrecked, spider bitch. What are you? NC. Come on. Uh NC is the moon, so we're gonna send you in. Fuck NC up. I'm the kind to a person to teabag and spin during a serious cutscene. Hell yeah. Neo! Some epic anime goodness, but it's gonna take a while, says so Rofig. Maybe I should start one. Is One Piece on Netflix, guys? I think, oh no, I asked this question the other day and you guys were saying it's on like, I think it's on the American Netflix or something, right? I don't know. Sama keeps talking to me about Demon Slayer as well and I've heard Demon Slayer is really good. If Demon Slayer is really short, I would probably try and bang that out. For what is that? Dude, that looks a lot like a big spider, bro. Do I want to fight that? Holy boy, it's a blinking robot. Looks like it's been lying here a while. Well, it's not going to uh, help us get through the forest. Best to just leave it for now. 
We're just going to leave it because it can't help us. Seems a bit, a bit ruthless. Set of beast fangs. Uh, what does that do? Uh, okay, so I can give that to this one, right? Nice. Which means I can now give you nothing, but you can take the... Okay. <laughs> FPS games, I ruined the story so much. I feel like some, uh, some, sometimes these games that... The thing is, Valkyrie, like, sometimes these games that uh, have a serious plot, they take themselves seriously because they're trying to set the tone right. It's like, if you watch a play and it doesn't take itself seriously, how can you be expected to take it, take it seriously yourself, right? But then sometimes, in doing so, when they are trying to set a serious tone, or a story or whatever, they can try too hard, and if it's not convincing, it makes it even more funny to make fun of it, right? There's a lot of repeated words in there in different contexts, but you just get it, right? It's like, you know when you're getting around from someone when you're younger and like if your friend looks at you from across the room behind the teacher's back and they pull like a really distorted face, you, you try not to laugh because the, the teacher's trying to impress that it's serious and you're doing the opposite, right? Sometimes shooter games are uh, really easy to mock because they're trying to be like, oh, the world's almost at an end here, we have to prevent the war by stopping the nuke. I guess it just depends. Alright, let's go. Lamau just got a buff here. I'm actually going to pick up this health here. Pick up, pick up. You come back to it. Just keep heading south. I'm trying to explore the forest for like missing stuff that I might bypass. Uh, I could go right or left. Uh, let's go down the way again. I think I'm going to take a left and go this way. This seems more fun. A journey which you will start having grey hairs by the time you get around to finishing it, just like One Piece. Yeah. I think it's on Netflix and NA, but it's all different per region, yeah. I remember, guys, there used to be... There used to be little extensions on Google that would allow you to swap your region of Netflix. I don't know how legal they were or what the deal was with them, if they were allowable. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that they weren't, but those used to exist. And uh, not that I would know anything about them, but I've heard that they were pretty convenient. <laughs> That's end game content, okay. Fruit basket is also an option. I, I need to, like, pick, when I'm picking animes, guys, um, I normally go to recommendations from you folks. But then the second, like, way that I deal with the flowchart of am I going to watch this is, is it available to me and how hard is it for me to watch? So if a game is like, or sorry, if a, an anime is like available on Netflix, or if it's on Twitch Prime or something like that, Amazon Prime, I'm going to prioritise that because of how convenient it is. Now if an anime or a show is really really good and you guys tell me it's amazing, I will make an effort to watch it elsewhere, but it's, it's a bit more convenient with Netflix because it remembers your place and everything. I could get Crunchyroll, but I don't watch enough anime to justify that subscription at the, at, at the moment anyway. I just can't justify like paying money to watch anime every month when I can watch other shows on anime or anime shows on Netflix that I'm already paying for. Fruit Baskets is also an option. Very true, Jack. Gaming wants people to be themselves for immersion, so I just like being a cheeky asshole, yeah. And sometimes that's that's funny as well, Valkyrie. Like, sometimes that's what makes it fun, right? Like, when we were having a rough time with Assassin's Creed in the beginning and we started fucking around with the Spartan camps, that was actually... I didn't think that would give me so much entertainment, but it actually felt really good to cut loose and like not play the game seriously. It felt really funny to like fuck around with the, the Spartans. VPNs are great, yeah. We prick such a god to your name. It's we prick with a smiley face, did you see that? I've also got Lamal. I got a sandwich. I came all this way for a sandwich. Uh, okay. Cool. What I think we should do is heal and touch him. Furuba? What, what does Furuba mean, Jesse? Is that a website or is that an anime? Yeah, I use a VPN. Netflix got a bit shitty with people doing that. It's probably to do with, uh, maybe Netflix has to uphold laws as well. Like, the thing is, guys, if you are Netflix and you are, like, 
if you are buying content from someone, let's say that you have a, a TV show and I am Netflix and I'm buying it, I'm renting it from you, I'm leasing it, right? I'm saying, hey, you give me your product, I'm going to make money off it, I'm going to pay you a portion uh, and I'm only going to be able to afford to, I can't buy it and show it globally because that would cost me more money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to Europe only. Now, if all these people in Netflix or on that are subscribed to Netflix from like Australia start watching their European Netflix via VPNs, I think legally Netflix maybe, I mean, maybe they're just doing it for their own self-interest and it's to do purely with greed and money. But I would assume there's a bit of like legal problems in there where, you know, if you're not paying for it in your country, then maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe Netflix has to be shown, have to, they have to come in as the big bad adult and be like, hey, we can't let you do this because it's illegal. Because if they don't, then they get in trouble for not taking action. Maybe. It's just a guess, though. Go Lamal, fuck him up. Fuck you. Sadly, Fruit Baskets is only on Hulu, Crunchyroll and Funimation. Netflix can be shitty as they want. They can't stop me, XXD. Such a rebel, Jesse. Yeah, I don't watch an anime as much as I... I don't watch anime as much as I used to, but I still use Crunchy, because when I'm in the mid for anime, I don't want to be super bothered with the Crunchy. I can just watch whatever, yeah. We prick learn smash it. Smash mouth. Hey, now you're a rock star. I remember killing Marines just because I wanted more easy ammo. Brilliant. Did you ever get around to Castlevania, Ask you No, but I did. I added Castlevania to... I added Castlevania to my uh, list on Netflix. And I think one of my mates, Ian, watched it, maybe. Yeah, I think my mate watched it and he said it was good. I've heard good things about it. Somebody wants <laughs> don't 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 start it guys don't start it. It's so it's so funny. I remember this one time, uh God bless man. We had a party in our garden, this was like years ago, and my cousin came round. My cousin's uh younger and she's very much into memes and you know the modern culture and things like that. And so whenever people were re requesting songs, right, she kept as a joke shouting play Smash Mouth All Star, right? She kept saying like Play All Star by Smash Mouth as a joke, right? But then her mum, my auntie, got more and more drunk with, as the night went on. She had more and more wine, and my cousin was like sitting there just chilling. And then my auntie kept saying to to like whoever was in charge of the music kept saying, "Play, play Smash Mouth, play Smash Mouth by All Star." You know, Gemma wants to hear it. And my cousin was just like here sitting there, like, "Mum, you didn't get the joke. Mum, please stop." Mum, please stop. And Manny kept going, she kept like shouting over everyone. She was like, can we put on Smash Mouth, please, for Gemma? And Gemma's like, Jesus Christ, this has backfired colossally. It was very entertaining. It was brilliant. I enjoyed it. And I think we eventually did eventually get some Smash Mouth, which was a win, so. Let's go. But yeah, crunchy ads, man. Yeah, the crunchy roll ads are pretty full on. The Crunchyroll ads, if anybody's never used Crunchyroll, you can watch anime for free. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have said or seen it at some point or another. Um, Crunchyroll actually sponsors a lot of streamers, which I think is amazing, dude. Like, I would love that. Like, if I could get, like, if I could get a Crunchyroll sponsorship, I'd be all over that. But um, if you're using the free version of Crunchyroll and you don't subscribe to pay the monthly thing, uh, it, the ads in Crunchyroll are pretty full on. No ads if you're subbed. Says Jesse. That is true. I just don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of people, like some people, might love anime and watch it all the time, and so it's like justifiable to them. But I think a lot of people, like, that don't really watch anime that often, might hear about shows and think, "Oh, I'm gonna try this." But do they want to pay seven pounds a month to try it? I don't know how much Crunchyroll is, by the way. I just made that number up, but. You know, some people will maybe want to check out, like, Dragon Ball Z, for example, or maybe they want to check out a couple of episodes of Pokemon to see if it's what they remember, but they're not down for, like, paying whatever, however much money it is. I'm going to sneeze. Let's go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, Jesse, I did not get that. Blame it on the boomer. 
The Christmas jumper already? Oh shit, it's already December. Indeed, Dumpster, welcome back, man. Yeah, the, the Christmas jumper is on. I, I wanted to put on the Christmas jumper sooner. But, uh... I was going to put it on, like, last week. Because it's really warm. But then I, uh... I was like, nah, we, we'll be we better leave it. We better, we better leave it, like, another week or so. It's like putting up the Christmas tree. You could put it up on December 1st if you want, but that's a bit try hard. When did, when did you guys put up your Christmas trees? Just out of curiosity. My mum was always of the culture, like, the... My mum would always put the tree up, like, the first kind of week of December, but not, like, immediately. She, she, she had a really, really firm ground rule that it would not go up before the 1st of December. Some people have their trees up at the end of November and stuff like that. My mum was not about that life. She was, like, absolutely not. Can I jump up here? Climb. Oh, are these not extended? So I can. Oh, I can only maybe come down those and not go up them. Somebody, 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 somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Okay, I can go that way or I can go this way. I don't know if it matters, but... Don't... Touch me. These fuckers are so fast. What the fuck? Worker bumbler. Dude, I swear, if these things kill me, I'm gonna be fucking raging. Oh no. Uh, do you mind? Okay. Can we deal with these rats, please? Crunchyroll is pretty cheap, but Funimation is a whole different streaming service, and I like some of those as well. Okay. $8 for Crunchyroll, or they have a thing that gets you some other channels too for like $10. Or like a, a, like a kind of TV package, uh, Gajin. They have things like that here in the UK, kind of. You can get like Sky packages where you'll get like sports and movies together for like a discounted price or something. I think my dad usually sets things like that up, but... Um, we don't even have Sky at the moment in our flat, me and Mrs. Wolfie. We struggle to get TV signal where we are. Which is a bit of a bummer. So we don't often, uh... We don't look at a lot of that stuff. We normally just have, like, Netflix and Amazon Prime and stuff. I'm doing a very bad job of, like, combing this place efficiently. But we're getting there. Is this just a dead end with a pig at the end? Gives things like boomerang. Yeah, plus you can always uh, just sub for a month and then be like, I'm outie. I'm gonna use a uh, cut loose here. A show comes out you want and then rent and, and it's just like renting a whole series. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty sure that pig made a really weird noise there. Haven't yet. I need to buy a tree. I've ignored Xmas for years. <laughs> Me and Mrs. Wilfie are kind of doing that right now, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't feel really good, because I feel like once you do it once, Serenity, like you're saying, like, once you dodge uh, an event once, I feel like it just becomes natural to just ignore it further, like, further forward. Me and Mrs. Wilfie are very lazy individuals. And uh, we're kind of like, oh, we're kind of just avoiding it. Uh, this this year because honestly nobody's gonna see our tree and i need to i need to ask myself the question okay is setting up the christmas tree taking it out of the cupboard like taking the tree out of the cupboard and uh taking all the decorations out plugging in the 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 cable taking all the decorations out of the box and then putting it all over the tree is it actually worth Having this fucking thing sitting in the corner burning electricity. It's kind of nice. For the first, like, week or so. It's like, ah, oh, look at the Christmas tree. Christmas tree's so nice. But then after that, I'm like, hmm. If we aren't getting guests around, is it really that important to me? Because the thing is, once December's fucking finished, guess which motherfucker's gonna have to tidy it back up? This guy. Stuff it back in its box, take it apart, fold up all the fucking arms on it. Because we have like a, a, you know, not like a, we've got like one of the fake ones. 
put all the baubles and shit back away. It's like, bro, can I be arsed? The only major thing... Hold on. The only major thing on funny is I was watching Tokyo Ghoul. I just borrowed my friends till I was done. Nice. Tokyo Ghoul has just appeared on my Netflix. Is it worth a watch or will it horrify me? My friend John watched Tokyo Ghoul. That's the only thing I know about it. Honestly, don't think it's something you'd like seeing your reaction to the boys. I think I watched an AMV for Tokyo Ghoul once as well. Probably not for you, SJ. <laughs> I like how the chat's just like... Normally the chat's quite positive and like recommending stuff. Like if you've seen something, normally people are like, oh, even if they think it was like a B, a B minus show, they'll be like, oh yeah, I watched that. It was great. Watch it. Because they want common ground to talk to someone about it. But I like how the chat just now is like, nah, SJ, you'll probably hate it. Don't bother. <laughs> just totally honest. Probably not for you, SJ. Get rid of it. You're ignoring Christmas minus the sweater, says Diesel. True. It. I'm not ignoring Christmas, guys, because I'm still going to see my... Uh, I'll still go and see my family and Mrs. Wolfie's family, and I will still buy gifts for people. Um, however, I... Uh, it's just the tree and stuff. It's kind of hard with COVID as well. It's not like you can be going in, in like it's not like you can be going to like Christmas parties or anything. Tokyo Ghoul is great but very dark. I put up about three K lights this year on the outside of the house. Is Diesel, but Diesel, you were talking about before how you have like family and stuff, right? Like if you have kids in the house, then it's it's maybe you, you gotta make it kind of special for the kids, right? Whereas me and Mrs. Wolfie, we don't have anybody close. We have a couple of friends in the city, but with COVID and stuff, they're probably not going to come around. So, and even if it wasn't COVID, I don't know if they'd be coming around for like Christmas drinks or anything. So, I need to like ask myself, is it worth for me? The kids are under two. I put them up for the wife. <laughs> Still, right? There's like, <laughs> well, I guess. In that, in that point, Diesel, I guess it's not too... Uh, you're not too much of a different scenario for me, I guess. But, um... What, uh, what weapon did I just get? Magic wand, new... Who can, can anybody use that harpoon? No. Mm. It's really not worth it. Get yourself some sparkly lights for Xmas Eve and leave it at that. I, uh, I, I'm, it's a shame, guys, because realis realistically, like, when I was younger, I was a kid who, like, I know a lot of kids love Christmas, so it's not like I'm an, an, an anomaly or anything, but, um, I used to love Christmas when I was younger. I really did. I would go to, like, I'm, like, I used to go to the Christmas services with my mum as well. Like, my mum was into, she does still, to a certain degree, go to church sometimes. Um, my mum used to really be into a lot of things Christmas. Like, I would have... The night before Christmas, I would go and go to the Christmas service with my mum because she wanted me to do that and, you know, I kind of enjoyed the atmosphere as well, if I'm being honest. And then we would have, like, food and then my sister would want to watch, like, The Grinch, the, you know, the Christmas movie with the Jim Carrey. And then on Christmas morning, we'd get up and I'd be really excited. We'd get presents, we'd have Christmas breakfast, we'd have, like, lunch. Our grandmother, our, our gran and grandpa would come over on Christmas Day to see us. They would always do that. So we get presents from them as well, which was awesome. And then I'd go outside if I was lucky and maybe play with some of my friends in the street. And then we would have like Christmas dinner. And then on Boxing Day, we would go over and visit like my other grandma on my mum's side of the family and see all those relatives. And it was genuinely like a really good time. Like I loved it. I loved the Christmas lights. I loved if it snowed. Like I loved the whole Christmas season. But as an adult, like I just, I don't know, especially this year, maybe next year will be different. But COVID, I feel like COVID's just removing the year from existence almost which it doesn't have to be you can take control of that and be like nah i refuse to make this a piss year i'm gonna make i'm gonna make an effort that's on me not covid but am i gonna have to fight a boss here i have nothing that can give me back my mana other than this i guess i'll take one just in case i don't know if this is a boss fight or not let's find out what is that Tidy, it's a familiar egg. Familiar egg, but you didn't didn't you tell me these familiars come from people's hearts? They do, my lad, but not only this isn't the only one here. Fam or something else, sorry, I don't know what I said there. Familiars can be born um wherever there's plenty of what you might call life force, see. The sky, the sea, the forest, the field, it doesn't matter. 
where it is, when enough life force spills up, out they pop. Okay. Life force sounds sure sounds powerful, so this egg is made from life force building up here in the forest, huh? There's a there's quick you are. Okay. The very same, and the only way to teach it not to go around attacking people is to fight back. Don't look worried. Okay. Wonder what kind of creature will come out of this egg. Can't wait to see it hatch. It's gonna be a uh, Dratini. Okay. It's right there in your hand. All you have to do is cast a spell that can unwither the uh, the bits. A spell that can restore the withered branches to how they used to be. We have that spell. It's the time one. Uh, I think it's... Uh, let me see. Rejuvenate? Let's see what happens here. You guys are talking about Magi. Is it Magi? Tidy look, Ollie boy. It's hatching. Jeepers Creepers. Oh! Neo, it hatched. We did it, Mr. Drippy. Let me see here. I would also recommend Assassination Classroom, Siskijin. I watched episode 1 and 2 of Assassination Classroom because I heard it was really good. But I never got much further than it. I might go back and try it again. Xace told me Assassination Classroom was pretty dank. But I uh, I didn't get too far into it. I uh, It was one of these ones where I was struggling to find a good site to watch on and it was a bit, bit of a pain in the ass. More trouble than it was worth, really. But I've heard it's good. Um, the first season is on Netflix. Added to my list, chaps. Sinbad. The characters are so good. Magi is underrated. Also, of course, we're going to tell SJ probably not a good idea. It's a show about eating people. Fuck that. <laughs> I never got why people wait for a new year to make a change. It's nice milestone, but it can always be done at any time. Are you talking about New Year's resolutions, Valkyrie? Yeah. I don't know. I think people like the idea. There's maybe even a bit of camaraderie. Or, you know, comradeship about it as well. Like, making changes together. Like, if you and your mates tell each other, okay, when the new year starts, I'm going to start a, a diet. Let's go to the gym together. And then, you know, January 1st, everybody's at the gym. It's always the same. It's a bit of a cult classic. But um, also, the thing is, I think some people don't start dieting and stuff before new year is because, well, what do people do between December 25th and... New Year, they eat lots of food, don't they? And they get they drink they drink lots of alcohol and get drunk and eat chocolate. So to start a diet before Christmas and New Year, you'd kind of knacker yourself before. What to a lot of people will be the best time of the year, like the best parties. It's like a it's like a part a universal party where everybody's going to be off. Everybody's off from their work. Everybody's taking time off to see their family and get drunk and stuff. So I think if people started dieting before, it would be really shit because you'd go to all these parties and be like, "Nah, I can't drink. Sorry, I'm trying to." tone down the wine. <laughs> it's my new diet. It'd be kind of shite, wouldn't it? You'd be a, a right damp cloth. But I know what you're talking about. I should have waited, then I could have had pie at Christmas. Sinbad from Magis uh, is my YouTube profile picture. Oh, when you were warring God, dumpster player. That little Egyptian guy. I always thought that was a Yu-Gi-Oh character, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was like Seto Kaiba's long lost brother or something. You told me before it was something from Sinbad, though. Uh, make it through past the Golden Grove and make your way to the, the moon. So, is this guy coming with me? I didn't read anything of what he said. Uh, I, I, I didn't even pay attention to any of that. Can I interact with this tree, or...? I was too busy clicking and I didn't read anything. I guess we're leaving. Yeah, maybe end of year is just a nice payoff before a new milestone. Yeah. I have to assume it's to do with, like, a lot. the thing is, a lot of people... What are what are the, the milestones, that, or sorry, the... What are the resolutions that people have in a year? The biggest one is to lose weight, right? Uh, some people want to give up smoking. Uh, all these parties are going to be full of, like, drinking and smoking and people pumping each other, for want of a better, more soft terminology. So, yeah, to give up a lot of stuff before, all these exciting parties would probably be a bit weird. You don't want to be the guy that goes to your grands on Christmas Day and it's like, sorry, Gran, I can't eat that amazing dinner you've just cooked because I'm on a diet. Nobody wants to be that guy. But I don't know. Ooh, pew, pew, pew. Save that shit for the summer salads. I want stew and dumplings in the winter. Yeah. 
First we feast, then we fast. It's midwinter, no one should be dieting in the winter. Yeah, that's true as well. Dying in the winter sounds like a... I remember I had a mate and he, he was in a curling back in high school. He was a really chill dude and I really liked hanging out with him. And uh, he used to do curling, like winter, you know, like the winter sport, curling on the ice. And uh, he used to do, he had like a fitness regime with his curling team, it was quite serious. He was much fitter than I was. And I used to join him sometimes and do his, his workouts with him, like he would go jogs and stuff. And I would go jogging with him and he would do like, uh, he had like daily things to do, like crunches and sit-ups and planks and press-ups and all this stuff. And uh, he wasn't like super jacked, he was a really skinny dude. Um, but he was quite fit and he always had this 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 term with his team that always stuck by me and it was like, um, they used to train hard in the winter so that they could relax in the summer. And it was so back to front, but um, I guess in a weird way there would have been some sick payoff there where like, if you work through, I mean, he, his was a winter sport, so naturally his winter season was peak time for him. So maybe that's why he was training during the winter. But um, I thought it must have been a nice idea to like work through. If you try hard to get your body in shape through like winter, spring, it, it when it comes to summer, you will actually be in good shape for like, you know, not that you can go to the beach very often in Scotland, but if you were to go on holiday and you wanted to have like a holiday bod for the beach or whatever or try and get like a little bit more toned or even just a little bit fitter for the beach and maybe go down a size for your bikini or whatever then there is something nice about getting through the winter months and training it would certainly keep you warm and busy maybe take your mind off how depressing the winter can be so uh yeah i don't know maybe maybe that would have been suitable for some people i don't know i don't even know what my favorite anime is anymore says jesse probably my hero at least for now I haven't watched anime in a while, says Valkyrie. Weight loss. What a great one week resolution, Kappa. <laughs> Where are all these parties I want in? <sighs> Zangyo, Zangyo No Terror was really good though. Did you get a read around to reading 292, Jesse? I did, then I read 293. Oh, 293 is out, says Gajin BRB. I'll have to read some manga. Alright, I've done a terrible job of getting through this part of the game. I feel really bad. Hold on, I'm coming, you little bastard. Don't touch me, pigman. Oh, god, then. Can't get away from this one. Not sure if it's officially or not. Just saw people talking about it and got curious. I don't usually read the chapters till I buy the volumes. Oh, I, I, uh, Jesse, I don't know if I told you this, but speaking of, seeing as we're on the topic of anime, I actually started watching the, uh, me and Mrs. Wolfie started watching the Inuyasha spin-off. It's very unusual, I kind of wanted to talk to you about it to ask your opinion if you would seen it. Uh, what's it called? Is it Yashahimi or something? I, I don't even know what it's called. I started watching it, me and Mrs. Wolfie. She's, she's much further ahead now. I only watched the first three episodes. But I think she's up on episode 10. There's only a handful of, like, English episodes out, but... You wouldn't be do you wouldn't be worried about that anyway, I guess. It's very kind of a uh, there's a lot of nostalgia kick there, especially the first episode because it starts off with Inuyasha in that fighting, which is kind of cool. But when it gets into like episode two, there's a lot of like story that just isn't explained, and they just kind of like start off by like the characters are introduced, but you don't know why they're in the situation they're in or where the parents are. You don't know where all the important characters are that are normally tied to that universe. They just don't exist or they're gone from somewhere and it's never really explained in the beginning. And the first couple of episodes, they're just kind of fucking around. Like, they're doing like... It's kind of like old school Inuyasha where they're just like questing together, doing like little mini episodes. It's like a kind of monster the, of the episode where it's like, oh, the, the temple, the temple shrine demon. Hidden hidden monkey demon in the hot springs like it's, it's like every episode is just Some random thing and uh, I haven't watched much of it, but I was kind of expecting them to kind of set up and have a bit more premise for like what the fuck's actually going on But they just kind of like pull you along for a little while not explaining anything It's like yeah, but bro. Where's where's Sashomaru? Where is like Kagomi in that? Where are they at? They're not dead. I know they're not dead. Where, where the fuck they at? And they just kind of throw you the new characters and it's like, here you go, new new characters. They're starting their own journey now, which is good because it is a spin-off. You don't want it to be about the main cast. I I'm not saying I want that, but it's kind of like they just kind of throw you in randomly. 
I recently started watching the Castlevania anime, that's good, not amazing, but if you like games, you'd like the show. Yeah, that's what the guys were talking about earlier, Dumpster, actually, just before you arrived. People were talking about Castlevania. Uh, some of my friends have recommended it, but I've not seen it yet. I was thinking about starting Fire Force. I watched the first few episodes of Fire Force but couldn't get into it. Another concept we torture ourselves with, no one cares about your beach beer belly. That's important to some people, Serenity, though, right? For the most part, I think you're right. I think you're right for a lot of people, but some people do genuinely care. And some people do notice as well, so... I don't know. At the end of the day, if if you want to get in shape, even if it's purely in your mind of why you want to get into shape, making yourself naturally look good and get stronger and fitter and healthier is not a bad thing. You could definitely have worse hobbies. So, I don't know. You're kind of right, though. The spin-off, the final act or something? Oh, no. The spin-off is... Uh, sorry, the final act is tied to Inuyasha Dumpster. You're right, but it's not really a spin-off. It's like a, Inuyasha had a, a long-running show and it never finished. The anime never finished. I think the manga had an end, but the anime never finished. It got cancelled. So years later, they got some of the crew back together and made a OVA kind of round-off series. I guess you could kind of call it a spin-off series, maybe. It wasn't even an OVA. It was just... They, they made like a series that was kind of on its own. And it was just wrapping up the, the anime. They had like 20 episodes. They, sh they shoved a ton of stuff in each episode. So like one regular episode of this final season. This like 20 episode block that they did. Each episode had like three regular episodes packed in. But in like the same amount of time. So it felt really rushed to me. But um, this is a whole new brand new one, Dumpster. This is like a... This really is a spin-off show. And it's to do with the kids of like... Sushomaru and Inuyasha. Like all the children get together but they, they're... Some of them are related and they don't really know it yet and they're kind of working as a team. It's very heavily, uh, there's like a lot of girl characters though, it's, it feels like a very, like I feel like Inuyasha was already like quite a girly anime in my opinion. But the uh, one thing Mrs. Wolfie keeps, keeps pointing out is it's very heavily like girl oriented, there's like almost no male characters. Which is fine if if you enjoy that but one of the, the reasons I bring it up is because I felt like one of the exciting dynamics about the original cast was just... Uh, the relationships between the characters. So you had like Inuyasha and Kagome. This is really nerdy guys, so just forgive me for a second while I talk about this old anime. It's made in the, the, the 90s, 2000s, so bear with me, but you had like Songo and Moroku and then like Sashomaru and he had like little relationships going on with female characters from time to time as well, which was a bit strange. But anyways, the new one is kind of just like heavily one-sided and uh yeah, I feel like they've kind of lost a bit of the dynamic there. I don't know. Maybe they've made it purely for kids. But they're also slaughtering demons in feudal Japan, so I, I can't imagine it's purely for kids. Uh, not filler episodes, no. The final act was not filler, no. It was like uh, the actual manga, but they wrapped up really quickly. Kagome scolds Inuyasha, he fucks off, he comes back to save everyone. Was the format, yeah, pretty much. They, look, they go looking for a duo shard, and then they just pan out for as long as they needed to. That was the old show. The reason I liked Danny Asha was because I liked the characters. How are the new peeps? Yeah, like I said, it's the new peeps are kind of interesting and it's funny. It's got that, it's got a very old Danny Asha feel to it, like threaded into the new show, which is nice to see. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna watch tons of it. I probably will go through it just for the sake of like, I feel like I'm bound to the series at this point, so like I want to watch it for the sake of my old self. But it's a good thing this currently active. It's a good thing this current activity in the game isn't timed. It says Diesel, yeah, we're very slow at pass passing through, sorry. If w anyone played Breath of Fire 4, Sashomru always reminded me of Folu. Jockin. One of the, the sad things as well about... One of the sad things about the fucking... The new series of Inuyasha is like a lot of the actors of like or the actresses voices have changed not all of them but most of them so not most some of them some of the voice actors have changed and it's it sucks I heard the other day that Moroku's English voice actor actually passed away recently Moroku's Moroku's gone or at least his, his voice actor is that's such a shame Sashomaru's voice actor in the original series of Inuyasha actually went to, I think he went to CNN to do like sports or something. He was a voice actor in, in Inuyasha, he was Sashomaru's voice actor but then he got off the contract at like Sky Sports or something. He went away to cast like fucking football or some shit. So, so random. 
Um, hey Jack, were you aware of an Inuyasha PS2 game? It's something. No, I didn't. I. Your new familiar's name. Oh, his name is Sid. Uh. Sure. Uh, should we rename him Skid? I feel like we're putting a twist on these guys. Let's call him... Let's call him... Uh... <laughs> Let's call him Skiddy Bang. Perfect. Skiddy Bang. Yeah, nice. Sure, thanks. It's like Chiddy Bang, the music group that had one song that I remember. There's three whole familiars you know, uh, you got now, ain't it Ollie? Boy, look at that, we can evade attacks and all. Evade? Yeah, I suppose you could call it that, it's like defending only, you don't take any damage. The only thing is it's proper quick so you have to be a bit nifty with your timing. But then you're getting a pretty tasty, you're getting pretty tasty at the old fighting lark eh? in fact I might as well let you in on another little trick. What is it? If you do an attack at the exact moment when an enemy is attacking you, you'll hit back with what's called a counter-attack. Um, if it works, your enemy will be stunned. They'll just sit there and let you whack them even more. Tidy, eh? Uh, the perfect time to counter-attack is because the little attack bubble down in the corner will flash blue. Sounds complicated, but I'll do my best. So where are we going now? Back down to the... Now that we've got the growth spell, I guess we can like grow the mushrooms. I don't know if Skiddy's going to be good. Can, do I have any, uh... Oh, well, Skiddy, well. There's a spear for you. And I don't have any other equipment bits. Let's get him some levels. Skidders. <laughs> I'd give a spin-off a go, same with the Code Geass spin-off, forgot it existed. We, can do this. we haven't played a game that has allowed us to have these conversations in a while, it's nice. True. Where's Skiddy? So he is a star, so I don't want to use him. Plus he's o he's, o he's only a level 1 as well, so we'll send out this guy to kick the shit out of Pom Pom 1 and 2. Apparently something will flash blue. Oh, you can change target as well. How did I do this? How do I know how to do it? It says it will flash blue. Wait, was that it there? I don't know if I did it correctly or not. I own this game for one reason and one reason only. I could sort the... I own this game for one reason and one reason only. I could sort of romance the Shomaru. War bomb required or learned. That's good. Is Skiddy... Is Skiddy a... Oh, he is a magic attacker. Perfect. Well, what I can maybe do then is... Uh, Let's feed Skiddy some magic, shall we? Evasion. His invasion is quite good, I think. Let's give him some magic attack. There you go, Skiddy. Eat that, you little bastard. Hell yeah. Have another marshmallow dip face. Is that going to give you two full? Have another marshmallow. Have another. Eat another carrot dip face. Uh, okay. Accuracy, accuracy. His accuracy is really low, actually. That's kind of worrisome. Do I want to give him an ice cream? Apparently his ev evasion is really good, so we'll play to that strength. Oh, Pog. Take that. Oh, come on, really? That wasn't enough. Have another one. That'll do. I don't know what to do with skids. Lord skidaddles. Uh, attack. What oh, we got? Defense. Attack. Let's take take some more of that. You have some choco as well. Take another one. Sorry, I'm just feeding my creatures. Chitty Bang had one and a half mixtapes. It was good stuff though, says Drofig. I only know the uh, opposite of adult song that they did, which was basically... Uh, Basically a remix version of the song Kids by MGMT or whatever the fucking name of that band was called. 
Oh, you pretty chitty bang bang, we love you. No, not that kind of chitty. Ch no, not that kind of chitty bang. Chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, we love you. Bum bum, ba ba da ba dum bum, ba ba da ba dum bum bum. Bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Shag shag, chitty chitty shag shag. Sorry, that's not the words. Still need to finish Bungu Stray Dogs. Gajin, for all I know, dude, I don't even know what that means. I'm assuming that's an anime. Or a game. What a fucking, what a line. Still need to finish Bungu Stray Dogs. He's a healer and he loves cake. Erotic Evelyn says hi. Hello, Erotic Evelyn. Welcome. You have got a, such a fantastic name. Would that be Evelyn, the League of Legends character Evelyn, or another Evelyn by any chance? Uh, I think I want to send out Lamal. Go on, Lamal, get in that ass. I like how you, Erotic Evelyn, you have the name Erotic Evelyn, but then you posted a really nice, calm, relaxed, smiley emoji as you entered the chat. That is so dainty. Oh, I need that. Now the real question, are you singing the one from the original movie or Ace Ventura? Wait. Ace Ventura? Ace Ventura had a Chitty Bang Bang reference? Wait, really? What does this guy do? Tricks. Drowsy Drops. Bubbles send an enemy to Dreamland. How does the evade function work? I gotta try that out with the uh, Chitty Bang here. No, Evelyn is my name, says Erotic Evelyn. Oh, my bad. My B. Sorry, never mind. I had a really... I thought, you know, maybe we could bond over something there like League, but honestly, League of Legends is already toxic enough. Right. Can I use my spell here? What am I looking for? Uh, Encourages the shutdown. No. Farm, no. This? Bang, bang, chitty, chitty, bang. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> You're up late. I'm from Scotland too. Oh, Evelyn. Pleased to meet you. I am up late, yes. I blame the chat, personally. Oh my god, it's ten to three. I'm gonna sneeze again. Never mind. Saved. <laughs> Evelyn, it's good to have you here. In Glasgow! Oh, nice. From Glasgow. Brilliant. Do you have a Ouija accent, Evelyn? That's awesome. Pleased to meet you. It's good to have you here. Don't mind the chat. They're normally well behaved, but who knows. Yep, the second movie, I believe it was uh, improvised because Jim forgot his lines and started singing it like a madman and they kept that instead. I love hearing things like that in shows. It's always hilarious. Especially when it's like blatantly obvious. Jim Carrey does a lot of improvised things. Have you guys ever seen him doing the, the dinosaur from uh, Series of Unfortunate Events? You just need to get this in your lives. These guys, and I do it all the time, and Mrs. Wolfie gets so pissed off. It's when he starts pretending to be a dinosaur. I'm not even going to do it, but it's brilliant. I tried to tone down my accent when I was streaming LOL. Right, what, what am I doing here? This is... What does Evade do? How does this work? I think I'm dying. I am desperate to figure this shit. Does anybody know how this works? Oh, I need that heal. Give me that. So if I go... I want to time it. Ow. You fucker. Water attack. Oh, that fucking rocks, dude. Can we do that again? We're gonna die. I believe in you, Skiddy Bang. Nice. <laughs> Evelyn, what uh, what games do you stream when you're streaming yourself, friend? What uh, what games do you uh, you play? Skiddy Bang reached level five. Phenomenal. His dinosaur is great. Let's go back in a time machine. Time machine. Six o'clock. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. If nobody knows the scene, it's gonna feel really weird just coming out with that. Dancing Sonic was apparently improvised as well, from what I've heard. I haven't seen the new Sonic movie. 
Is it worth my time chat or nah? Don't know, I've never really needed to use anyone except the Mighty Might. Serenity, you you never played through this game and didn't try the other characters. You do know that the new characters are like super effective when they're first introduced, just like Persona, right? Like, I'm gonna guess that you didn't use Lamal. You just, you just fucking, you just headbutted the fuck out of everything that came in your way the whole game, didn't you? You just, you just went full. You just rubbed your face against everything until it died, didn't you? Where is the strategy there, Serenity? Nope, might is OP. Serenity. There's a concept of, like, strengths and weaknesses. You know that, right? Evelyn says, I haven't streamed recently, but I streamed Dead by Daylight, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy, Sims 4, Ratchet & Clank, and Subnautica. Nice wide variety of genres there, Evelyn. That's awesome. Uh, I've not played Dead by Daylight. Uh, Resident Evil is my jam. Final Fantasy is my jam. Mrs. Wolfie loves The Sims, as do a lot of people in our community. And Ratchet & Clank is like... One of these games that, for some reason, just throughout my life, I've never played Ratchet & Clank ever, right? I've never played it. I've seen it, and I know of it. But that's it. And then everybody, as soon as I bring it up, everybody's like, Jack, Ratchet & Clank is the best series of all time. And I'm like, really? Like, why is it so fun? And then you guys are always like, Jack, just play it immediately now. Drop everything that you're doing. Just turn off the stream, go play it now. And I'm like, is it that good? Cleverly headbutted everything in my path worked for me. You do you. Oh yeah, I have to fix all my Sims CC, says Jesse. Jesse, when you say that, do you mean fixing your dirty wicked whims mods? You filthy bastard. You and Gajin. Schlongs of Skyrim in the Sims 4, I know it. Classic. Where's Nai as well? Nai's gonna join right now. Bet you Nai appears in a crack of thunder. She's like, did someone mention wicked whims? Springlock. Okay, Kappa, we're not doing that. Feels bad, man. Evelyn, how did you, uh, I've never also, Subnautica is on my to-do list as well, uh, always looks like a fun time, I've never actually given it the time of day though, and I feel kind of bad about it, Jesse was talking about Subnautica recently, Skilltree, um, but I've never actually, never actually took it for a spin, uh, where am I going, this looks like a boss arena, What does this guy do? Healing tier at level 8. That must be what we need, right? Healing teardrop falls, restoring a small amount of health to one ally. Learned at level 8. Dude, how, how far... That is 100% a boss fight. I'm gonna go and get Jimmy more levels. Skitty. Skitty bang bang. Subnautica is a weird combo of relaxing and terrifying. Yeah, I've saw the... <laughs> I've saw the clips of Subnautica, actually. You know when that there, there's like a big monster that lives in the water. I don't know if there's more than one, but when I've saw videos right, and it's like some dude or some woman sitting in their chair, just fucking, they're like cruising about in their little underwater hovercraft, and it's like really there's like a soft, gentle purr going on, and the machine is like the the sub the submarine like cruises around. And they're like, and then they'll turn around, and then this fucking big giant dragon thing will just slam the fucking camera. And then they just fucking lob the controller up in the air as they as they get terrified and you know need to go change their underwear. I've saw the montage clips. It's, it seems pretty entertaining, Let's do it. but I've never actually thought about jumping on it myself. Evelyn, how did you how did you find the stream? Just out of curiosity, were you just browsing Nino you know, Kuni on Twitch or how's things? I'm gonna use Cutlass. Uh, hopefully soon, Gajin, my men look so odd in the shower now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Not gonna deny it. Did you get Subnautica in the sale? I did not, know. Give it time, Jesse. It'll get a fix. Ratchet and Clank is pretty good. Well, the skin update in DID breaks something in the... The skin update did break something in the nether area. Oh yeah. What is your fucking dick mods not working properly anymore? Guys, somehow I'm not I'm not sorry for you, okay? Oh Jack, no, my my sex dungeon mod is broken. Feels bad, man. Now I have to fix it. It's like bruh. No sympathy here. No, you were in my recommended list, says Evelyn. Oh, cool. 
I don't really know how the, the recommended thing on Twitch works, but I guess that's kind of cool. It's good having you here. What uh, what is it that you do, Evelyn? Are you do you stream full time, or are you do you work, or are you, are you a student? What's what's the dealio? Sorry for grilling you, by the way. You can just tell me shut my face if you want. I normally just ask people questions like this when they join. And amongst the chaos of my chat. Watch this. Uh. Twitch could at least recommend you someone good. Brilliant. You're, you're a fucking genius. Yeah, excellent. Love that. Kajina will ban your ass so fast. Literally crane kick you out the door. Diesel Kid says, Alright, Mr. Wolfie, it's 10pm. I need to feed the cow. Get in firewood and get to sleep. I have to be up at 3.30 to milk the in-laws. Oh, hold on. Let me just start that again. That did not come out correctly. I have to be up at 3.30 to milk at the in-laws. If you were over milking the in-laws, that would be... Whew, Diesel, that sounds like you'd probably need more than, you know, eight hours sleep for that while. Have a good rest of your morning. Thank you, Diesel. Really appreciate that, my guy. You have an excellent time as well. Get some sleep, man. Thank you for being here, as always. Hell yeah. G good luck feeding the cow. I've never fed a cow in my entire life, but enjoy. I just assume as a hobby, I might try it again soon, says Evelyn. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. GG's. When's Jack's basement mod? I heard the whole wolf pack is down there. <laughs> she took- wait, hold on, what did I miss? Serenity said... She took one look at the day glow orange and the Xmas jumper and thought, that's the very feller for me. The day glow orange. Are you talking about my ginger mops or any? Can't tell if that's it. Right on the money there, Jack Kappa. <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell if you're memeing me or not. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I'm always sceptical at this point. Skiddy bang, congrats on leveling up, my guy. Let's uh, let's let's grind a little bit, guys, just because I'm enjoying talking and fighting. Milk the in-laws? Listen, I already apologised. I tried to get it back in. Shut up. Ban me. <laughs> you're like J-Cram. J-Cram's a bad influence on you guys. Listen, I will. I'll do it, Gajin. I will do it so fast. Totally different things. Sorry, Diesel. I apologise. Theoretically, you could make a sex dungeon, but it'd be a lot of effort. I just want my Sims to be normal with a hint of sub not, with a hint of substance. Now I'm just tripping over all my words. Subnautic abuse, brilliant. Substance abuse. Jesse, that's a little bit fucked up. Jesse and Gajin, do you guys ever make a Jackson? Do you guys ever make a do you guys ever make a Mr. Wolfie Jackson? Do you make him like really attractive and really smart and really good at everything he does and then just make him walk around? Being totally friendly with everyone. Probably takes over the neighborhood as VIP number one. President of a uh, Simoleon Lane or wherever you guys are living. Although knowing you guys it'd probably be like Sex Street City or something. Filthy bastards a lot of you. One small word, massive questions to be asked. Listen. Don't call me out, it's late. Your flaming locks, that's your unique selling point. Wait a minute. It's not my charming personality. It's not my handsome, really strong jawline. My uh, award-winning smile that... Okay, I'm just making this up, but it's none of these things. It's, it's just being the ginge. No, but I could make them get hit by a car. What the fuck? Kajin? Kajin, are you okay? I'm gonna try and send out Skiddy Bang. I don't know what Skiddy... Can Skiddy... You told me this guy was a healer. How do I evade? Where is the counter-attack thing? So this is a magic user, right? And... Okay, you know what, this isn't working out. I guess that the evade is just like a guaranteed dodge. 
Can we get this and this? Woohoo! All my family are Scottish and, and Irish, but I can't actually think of any redheads. Oh, I don't know if that's... That sounds like a blessing, Evelyn, honestly. I have a lot of Irish friends. It's cool that you have uh, Scottish and Irish family members. That's pretty cool. I have tons and tons of Irish homies in my life. More than I can count, actually. It's kind of weird. I've surrounded myself with a, a pack of angry Irishmen. They're not angry. They're very chill, actually. We can do this. No, but I uh, I don't think you'd want to live in my Sims world. Would probably end up a drug dealer. Why are, why do you guys not have happy sim lives going on? I feel like when I make my sim my sim character, all he's doing is getting to the top of the music tree, and then I'm buying a big house and and tiling my kitchen. What are you guys fucking doing with your sims? I feel like we have totally different playstyles going on here, guys. Like the first thing I do when I move my sim in, when he's got like five k to his name and you know, no job. I buy a computer and a bed and a fridge, and then I eventually save up for like an easel and try and start selling his- I try to sell, sell his paintings for like more than 50 sims, simoleon currencies, whatever those are. What are you fuckers doing? What do you mean I'd become a drug dealer? You got prickly when I called my Stardew chicken after you. Wait. Sorry, I don't even remember that. Wait, what? You named your Stardew Chicken after me? What did you call him? Fantastic Jack. Super Smart Jack. Jack Jack the Best Chicken. Did you see the mods for the New Worlds? One briefly also saw the Open, wor uh, the open World mod, which looks cool. That's the one I meant. Couldn't remember the name. Could also make Jack a mare man who is also a drug dealer. Why would you make me a mare man, guys? Why Why do I need to be a mare man? Can't I just be a regular dude? As a kid, I would make me and my family as sims. Then I would have one of us set the fireworks indoors and watch us all burn to death. That's normal, right? Absolutely, Evelyn. Abs like, I'm not even just... I'm not even lying. Like, when I played The Sims when I was younger, there was two things you could do. Three things. There's three main objectives to The Sims 1, okay? Four main objectives. I've just thought of another one, right? Okay, the the, the obvious ones. You get everyone in a, in a room together. You use a, a cheat code to delete the door. And then you, like, set, like, lots of wooden desks everywhere and a fireplace at the end of the room. And then the fireman can't get in. That's literally, that's, that's the first thing you do on The Sims 1. Right? So you close the door and you set fire to the room with all the tables in it and all your family with a fireplace. That has to happen. Uh, secondly, you have to put someone in the swimming pool and delete the uh, delete the ladders. Thirdly, you have a baby. But when the social worker comes, again, you take the door away. Uh, even better, you put a fucking... You get the social worker on your property, you put a wall around them, like a box wall. And then again, you use a cheat to delete the door. So that the, the fucking social worker is just like... Trying to get out this fucking tiny, like, two meter by two meter room, right? That's, that's what has to happen. And then also you have to just... You get the magic lamp. Did, I don't know, did they get rid of the magic lamp in the later games? I don't think they had one of those in Sims 2, and I don't know why they took it away, because it was so fun. You get the magic lamp, and you save your game. And then you wish with the magic lamp, and if anything bad happens, you just load it up and pick the other option. It's literally all you do in The Sims. Nothing else is important. Those are your key objectives. If you weren't doing that when you were younger... I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, funnily enough, I called her Jack. The chicken. Wait, she was a girl? Wait a minute. Usually what happens in a new save game is I make a family. Between three and five sims, everything starts normal. A kid turns into a teen, I get bored and contact the drug dealer to become an alcoholic. Or become an alcoholic. You guys are twisted, man. Y'all need Jesus. Mareman is strangely fitting. I don't know why. Drofig, don't you encourage them. I need you on my team here. I can swim really good though. I'd be a good Mareman, I promise. Made Mortimer goth mad and slapped the shit out of Bella once he found out she was cheating on him. Then she murdered him. Mrs. Wolfie always tells a story of when she had me as a sim in her sims game back in the day. 
And apparently I got eaten by a cow plant and then abducted by aliens or something. Apparently, was there, was there a fucking cow plant that used to eat fuckers? It's like a Venus flytrap, but it would eat humans. Does that, is, does that make any sense to you guys, or am I just making this up? There's no way I made that up right. She told me I was eaten by a Venus flytrap plant, cow plant thing. I thought she was lying, but I think, I think it actually exists. Usually a teen gets pregnant and someone dies. Heather recreates P5 uh, and FF characters in Sims. Six hours of character creation. I lose the will to live around about the third hour. <laughs> does she just make the family and then never play them? Mrs. Wilfie does that. She makes characters from shows that she watches. Or like animes. She'll make two characters, download the mods to get all the hairstyles, move the characters in, probably make them bang a thousand times, and then like we'll just move on to the next family. Cassandra Goth then got depression and overdosed on drugs. Fighting the social worker to protect your baby was super satisfying. <laughs> yeah, the baby that we were neglecting for weeks, Strophic. I quite agree, yes. Building and making and character making are what keeps The Sims 4 alive, also mods. He's pale enough, could be a vegetarian vampire. Uh, yeah, no, actually, this is fine. There's still a cow plant that will eat you. Yeah, chickens are all girls. They lay eggs. Boy chickens are cockerels. I feel we need to have a birds and bees chat. Listen, if I see a chicken, I'm assuming it's just a chicken. I don't even try and identify its gender. It's just a chicken. Do, do male chickens not lay eggs? No, I'm kidding. Don't answer that. Listen, I just see a chicken and I think, hey, there's a chicken. I don't even see it as like a... Like a I don't even try... You know, you know what I'm saying, chat? In not so many words, you just you just know. Let's use this little guy. Water ball. Take it. Oh nice. Go, 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 go. Lamal, fuck that bitch up. What are you doing, mate? Getting a bit of Yes, cow plants eat people. You can name them now. I did make a modernized version of Fire Emblem Three Houses characters. Yeah, and I bet, you saw, I, I bet you just made them all bang. Gijin, I bet you moved yourself into the middle of that village and just made them made you bang all the characters. You guys are so predictable. Pretty much. I think Mrs. Wilfie and Heather have the exact same playstyle. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. I feel like I... Maybe it's just the guys and girls things. Maybe the guys just, like, want to play the game. As I would m maybe want to play The Sims. You just claim the career paths. That's what I get excited about. Getting promotions, baby. It's about starting from nothing. Getting up the up the career path. Getting that bonus. Making the decisions. Growing. Earning money. And then you start to extend your one room bungalow apartment. That's got like the bathroom, the kitchen and the bedroom. All in one room. You then expand it, dude. Kitchen. Extra bedroom. Upstairs. Swimming pool room. Gym. Music room. Fucking, you start building out into the garden, you get plants, you get a gardener. And then you make, like, an upstairs swimming pool room, and I don't even know if that's possible in the modern day, but that's what I used to get a kick out of when I was playing The Sims. I feel like you just make, I think you guys just make all your fucking Sims bang 24-7, is that right? Mad bastards. I was going to make uh, My Hero Academia characters, but all the custom hairs for them look like trash. Hmm. I don't know how easy it is to download mods for these things. But I know that sometimes Mrs. Wilfie sits down to play The Sims and she gets right into it. And she'll download a mod that will like clash with her other mods. She'll download a hairstyle that's like she really wants but it won't work, so she'll spend like six hours trying to make it work. Get it to work, and then eventually just like play the family for five minutes and then turn off. What a mad lad. I love the mod of Kingdom Hearts 3 hairs compiled into one. Jack, you can't possibly tell me you never made your dream girl and banged her in The Sims. I absolutely did not. What the fuck? Listen, I might have shared a couple of beds with Rihanna and Rihanna from time to time, but... Or Rihanna, oh dude, I did that thing again. Rihanna. Okay, it may have happened once or twice, but not often. 
That was two very different answers I realised I just gave. It was like, no, never. Okay, maybe once. No, I don't even remember. I don't even remember fucking... I was literally just climbing the careers, guys. I was just climbing the career path. Not everything I do in The Sims 4 is buying people. The zombie apocalypse mod is pretty fun. I think I got a new ability. Did I get a new ability? We pricks reach level 12. Healing tier. Does healing tier... It's only in battle, is that right? Let's try this and see what it does. Uh... I always end up top of my career path with a stellar house and zero friends priorities. Yeah. That's definitely the dream. Sometimes, like, when I was younger, I used to be terrible at mismanaging my friends in The Sims. Like, I, I used to always get really upset because I would make a friend with someone. Like, let's say I needed, like, two friends for my career progression, right? Let's say I was on, I got to, like, the fourth level of my military career and it was like, you need three friends for the next promotion. It's like, oh, fuck. So I invite Bella, Bella and Mortimer Goth over. They turn up, or like I talk to them on the phone for like 10, 10 hours, and then they're like, okay, we like you 40%, we like you 50%, we are friends. I'm like, hey, that's brilliant. But then see if you don't get them over repeatedly. Your friendship thing declines fucking rapid. It was only in later life that I realised you could kind of... If you, if you bring someone over consistently, their kind of lower bar, at least in The Sims 1, it, I used to work like this, their lower bar would like extend, which is like their permanent friendship, and that would last a lot longer. But I used to get so annoyed about fucking making friends, and then it just it just wouldn't work properly. Like, they would fall out with me immediately. As soon as they left, then I'd be like, dude, my fucking promotion, bro. Uh, Drop Drowsy. Oh, I never put the new spell on. Holy poly. Water bomb. This is shit. Go a look at those hairs, cause those are spiky. Some CC are recolors that don't include the mesh and I often don't know a so it doesn't work and my mods always conflict with each other or an update, leaving my uh, me pulling left of what's <laughs> what's left of my hair out. When it finally works, I'll play for an hour, cause I'm damn tired. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, okay, so new character. Tricks. Let's get rid of that shite. Healing tear. Teardrop falls restoring a small amount of health. Let's try this. Uh, okay, if I can find one fight to try and then we should be good. We'll go fight the boss now. We're probably like mega over leveled at this point. They come and eat your food, break your toilet, and then get upset and then fuck off. Yeah. That's an interaction I know all too well, Sereni. I know all too well. Let's uh, bring in the big guns here. Skiddy. Let's try this. Skiddy, you can water bomb that fucker at the back. Okay, why don't you just go and chop him as well? Skiddy, you really don't excel in martial arts, do you? The o this kind of character is only going to be... Okay, that was pretty good. Ow. I feel like this kind of character is only going to be good if they can one-shot. Because look, if I use Water Bomb, it does insane damage, but then after that the follow-up is like... Hmm. I don't know if Skitty's going to be good or not. We'll see. Sims resources also is uh, so great, but I hate the waiting period for each mod. Real life right there, is a serenity. <laughs> what, phoning, phoning up your mates? As soon as you hang up the phone, they hate you. <laughs> or something else. <laughs> Real life right there. <laughs> what a comment. Oh, it's fucking true, though. It's fucking true, man. God bless, dude. I'm terrible at keeping in touch with my friends. Some of my friends have tried to keep in touch with me and I just never 
It's not that I ignore them, it's just I miss them and then I just don't go on the platforms that they message me on and then I realise like fucking eight months later that they've been messaging me and I'm like, oh shit, I missed that. Totally fucked up. I feel guilty afterwards. It's not like I'm trying to be a cunt, it's just... I don't know, it just happens sometimes. For real, in my CC downloading sessions I have hundreds of tabs open and every time I see Sims resource I cry a little. Sounds about right. Recommended for you. And what a nice recommendation that is. Click. Right, I think there's going to be a fight here. Mr. Drippy, it's a fountain. But it's all dried up. DD me. This ain't too pretty, is it? But now we know what the problem is, at least we do. This is the spring of life. Uh, the reason the fairies have scarpered and the tree that familiar egg was in is all withered is because the spring here is dried, has run dry. Of all the low moves, who would do something like this? What's wrong? I've got a feeling in my lantern that the culprit is about to appear. Oh. Here we go. Fight night. We're going to use magic on this fucker. See? Oh, hooves. A centaur? Oh, never mind. Is that the goat man who trained Achilles? He's fucking huge. Gladiator, guardian of the Golden Grove. Dude, if he's the guardian, he must be under the bad guy's control, right? Uh, I like how he waits politely for me to get my character out. Should we send out Skiddy Bang? Water bomb. Oh my god, did, did that get interrupted or...? Uh, Skiddy! Heal! Oh, we can dodge that super easy. Pa-pow! Can I evade? Hey-hey, hey-hey! Okay, we can't evade that, apparently. What about, uh... Monkey Kid? Psych up! Go wild! Oh, we're doing so much damage. Okay, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. I need the health! For visions. I'm gonna have a nice sandwich. Okay. Oh god. Sandblast? Miss! Okay. Skitty, go. Ow. Water bomb. What's he doing? Oh, I think he's getting mad. That's not good. Healing tier. Oh god. Ah! Is this where my range comes into play? Oh, is he fire now? Oh, I think he takes extra damage, is that right? Hey, hey! No, don't do that! That's not gonna work. War bomb. Healing tier. Woo! We're insane, Skitty! Oh, wait, you're in cooldown, are you? Frostbite? Okay, that was pretty good. Provisions? Sandwich. Dude, this guy's gotta fucking die soon, right? Frostbite? Oh, what's he doing? I've got a bad feeling about this Ollie, he looks like he's about to go flipping ballistic. Put your guard up, man, quick. Uh, oh no. Defend! Ho! Oh. Hold on a sec, Ollie boy. Wait a minute, what the fuck? That was close. I was almost in a, in a mode where I couldn't defend. Take this, you big bully. Oh my, Jesus. Now's your chance, man. Okay. Dude, normally the chance doesn't last for that long though, right? Come on, Skitty, you're new here. Hit him with a water bomb. 
Okay, that seemed to do absolutely fucking nothing. Go wild. He's almost dead. Nice. Oh, there's the golden thing that would have given me the special attack as well. Bit fucking late for that to turn up, surely. Captain... <laughs> Damn fucking Captain America, okay. <laughs> Captain America. Alright, good, good XP for that fight, not bad. I've got... I've never seen more value of a Capri Sun in my life. Okay. Spirit of the Glade, nice. Lamau reached level 12. Fuck yeah, dude. Skiddy Bang reached level 9. Skiddy's gonna go on and do great things. You obtained a page describing Gladiator. Okay. Fuck off, mate. You pussy. Got him. The Avengers movie looking very different. Wasn't the, the same after Thor left the roster? That wasn't any old creature, Ollie boy. That was the Guardian of the Forest here, apparently, yeah. Guardian, you mean like the Guardian of the Woods? That's I, that I do. Like I said, life force can make things pop up all over the place. And in places like the forest, the desire of inhabitants to protect their home gives birth to massive Guardian beasties, see? Don't you think Shadar? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I've been thinking about that. We healed the tree and the egg with a spell, didn't we? Could we maybe get some of the spell to restore the spring of life? Okay, let's do it. Uh, we need to go to Quicken Growth. No, Rejuvenate. This is what we need. Probably defend on power moves. I almost took it in the face. Cross design does some, includes some of my favourites and I'm like, how? Jesse and Gijin talking about all kinds of uh, Sims modding tools. I won't risk losing you, book. Not after master. It is indeed. And now the Guardian and the Swing are back to their normal selves. The fairies won't be far behind, tidy. I'm sure, I sure hope we can meet some fairies the next time we're here. Yes, sir. The beauty of, uh, at the heart of the Spring of Life has unlocked the story in the Wizard's Companion. That looks like a lot of writing. Cool. Um, are we going this way? Maybe I should go back and save. There's a heel right here. It'd be silly not to pick it up and grab it. I won't risk losing you, Book. Not after losing Master. Okay. Save. Boom, the add it. Cool. Nice suit. I think what we'll do, guys, is get to the end of this segment and then chill. Thanks for uh, keeping me company today. It's been pretty good. Stream has been cozy. I've just realised how close in this Nino Kuni game is compared to the second one. Feels like you're very kind of right in the ass. Um. Okay, where the fuck? Oh, this is the desert rift to get to, is it? Um. Hmm. Can I save on this? Oh yes, yeah, save. Perfect. A newborn creature. Perfect. Um. I think this is where we chill, guys. We've been live. Yeah, we've been playing the game for seven hours and eighteen minutes. A lot of it has been us talking and chilling but I can feel you know underneath your tongue guys you've got that little bit that connects your this is quite a rough topic so if you're squeamish maybe don't listen but you know you've got that that uh, bit of skin that connects like your tongue to the bottom of your mouth that feels like it's sore so I feel like I should chill because if I burn that out too much it's going to be uncomfortable I actually damaged that before and it sounds weird but I do a lot of talking on stream and if I do it for too long like I feel like parts of me starts to fall apart normally it's my throat but sometimes Occasionally, my tongue as well, so I'm gonna try and rest that a little bit. Not like we have anything better to do, Kappa. <sighs> I'll take it. Jesse, fuck you. Okay. Guys, that's us. That is us. We had some uh, good support today. I don't know why PayPal and the donations weren't working for some of you guys earlier, specifically Serenity and Jesse. I don't know why it was not working, but um, don't worry about it. 
it seems to still be okay. So hopefully there's no problems with that in the future. And if there is, I'll look into trying to figure it out and see what's happening. But thank you to Serenity for the 12 month resub. Serenity, you've been a hero ever since you joined. Been so, so kind and we're never going to be able to ever repay this. But thank you so much for all your support and kindness. Eugene also hosted us, Riley hosted us, White Boy hosted us. We had Rainmaker swing by and just gift 1500 bits out of nowhere, which was top notch considering Rainmaker done the exact same thing the day before. Serenity gifted two subs, one to Ground Zero, one one zero five, and also to A underscore Dry. A, A Dry? For one month. Brand new subs in both cases. Welcome again, Ground Zero and uh, A, A Dry. I don't know how to say that second one, but we'll figure it out in due time. I also had a donation from Wanyan for five pounds, which was very kind, helping us test our uh, helping us test our donations to see if they were working. And then also from Gijin as well, donated a fiver. So thank you, Gijin. And thank you, Wanyan. You guys have been super, super kind. Really appreciate all the love tonight, guys. He's been top notch. I'll be back tomorrow with more uh, Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni's been alright so far. Uh, about as chill as I expected. So thank you to everybody. Thank you.